Hello, George. Everybody, and welcome to the Sons of Shadowlight episode 98 for the 13th of May 2023. I am your host, Bezik, and today I am joined by special guest George. See, he's literally just sat down now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, hopefully, I don't know if anyone, everyone in chess caught him when he tuned in, but George has also brought along a friend. Hello, this guy. Hello. Hello, Jack from the other side of the house. <laughs> you know, he's been quiet all day. <laughs> no, he's like, oh, streaming. Yeah. I'm going to start getting louder. We're, we are also joined by the returning boat chef, Trim. Hello, Trim. Yar, me hearties. How do you do? I has returned from the seas. You know, this really makes me want to join the British Navy and hunt you down. <laughs> you couldn't fucking hit me even if you tried. Broadside of a barn, my dude. Nah, I'm not that wide <laughs> anymore. I'm on the sh I'm on the other side of the barn now. <laughs> uh Lord above. So you're just the narrow side of a barn now? <laughs> exactly. And that is a huge difference for me at least. I, I don't yeah. even have to open my pants to take them off anymore. I need to go buy new clothes. I'm wearing Please fucking Please keep your pants. pants on. Dude, it's hot outside. I'm not wearing pants today. You could have left it, me it, in. It's <laughs> pantless Saturdays here at the Sultans. Yep. The best kind of Saturdays. Just like every other day, right? <laughs> Reject pants. Embrace pantsless. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Hunter gods. <laughs> You are all welcome. I have returned, everybody. Yeah. See, that's why you wear trousers instead of pants. Yes. Speaking of trousers instead of pants, hello, Bleach. Hi. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. <laughs> well, if the, he's done, let's go to somewhere far more to the north, far colder and far less free. Hello, Arden. <laughs> yes, um, help. <laughs> <laughs> Send help. Or uh, guns. Yeah, I... Or help and guns. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, help with guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do appreciate that you are showing my uh, pick of the week for, uh, <laughs> yes. for my stream for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, la uh... Last but certainly not least, Eldritch Horror, Jonathan Crow. Hello, sir. Or well, hello, Crow. Uh, <laughs> He's sounding awfully quiet this week. <laughs> so, before we get into the shilling, we have the pick of the week. So, for this is the audience participation segment. What is going on in this picture? Wrong answers only, though I think all the answers are wrong in this case. I mean, he was clearly inspired by the My Little Pony guy who put the My Little Pony in a jar. What? Oh, God. <laughs> it's okay, Trim. <laughs> you don't need to know. Thank you. I don't want to know. You know, that, this, just saying friendship is magic now... Well, it was always cringe, but it's even more cringe now. Oh. Yes. It's like, while we wait for everyone... Well, ponies were good uh, to begin with, so, you know. So while we wait for uh, the answers to come in, we'll do the <laughs> mandatory shilling. So up first, Trim. Trim did art. I had time lapse. Yes. Yes. It's a cool thing. It's demon thingy. It is a monster, which uh, basically was inspired during my plane trip to work like three weeks ago. Yeah. Like, oh, I've been watching the Zelda trailer for I don't remember how many times. So I was like, hmm, I feel inspired. <laughs> Make monster made of stone. Why not? <laughs> yes. Nintendo discovers the Zelda trailer has 12 million views. 12, <laughs> 11 and a half of them from Norway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I got nothing. Sorry, I got nothing. <laughs> oh dear. Up next, Bleach has a channel, though they haven't released the manifesto for Bleach to rip it apart yet. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm very disappointed that I haven't been able to dive right in because, ooh, I've I've been doing some uh, extracurricular reading with that and. Yeah, manifesto? I'm... The 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 Tranifesto, actually, Tran? Uh 
context needed, but uh, Nashville. I, I can wait. Nashville pew pew. Wait, that thing made a manifesto? Oh, hell. They it, all it, manifestos. Come on. It, Trim, it, supposedly it's like three journals plus diagrams and all. You know, I'll leave that part out. But, yeah, it it's extensive. Oh, dear God. Yeah. It's it it's no small thing. That's that's I'm, I could have maybe like two weeks worth of content out of that thing probably if they don't redact it all. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yes. Uh, Adams. Well, I, I will say Twitter's giving me a rich bounty of things to make fun of and 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 possible deeper thoughts to go with. So. Yep. Yeah. So, Mister Adams. What have you been up to this week? About 5'8", and uh, coming up on my 500th video fairly, fairly soon. Yes. Uh, I'm finding that I'm getting way more engagement on YouTube, and I've discovered that they're actually algorithmically recommending me. Very lightly, but they are doing it. Sample. See what difference a thumbnail makes on Yes. I'm quiet, you. Now we just need to upgrade his production quality to the point where his reactive avatars isn't just a screen capture of fucking Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, did you get up to anything out of the ordinary in the last week, Arden? Uh, I actually managed to start working in the shed again, so uh, the last few live streams I did were extremely random, and uh, surprisingly well attended for things that were, in my eyes, extremely boring. I was t talking about the one that could have been immediately related to the other comment I made. Oh, you mean the gun stream? <laughs> yes! yes! On uh, Wednesday... <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. On Wednesday morning this week, you and Bleach were kind enough to join me to uh, educate my non-firearm educated ass on uh, on how guns go pew. Wait, you finally did the gun stream? We yes. finally got the gun stream done. Yes. Holy wait, shit! Wait, they, it's they it's nice to know that you're not connected to my notifications trim. They allow masturbation on YouTube now? <laughs> Have you never seen Did you know? <laughs> uh, by uh, Stein would like everyone like to know he's gay, yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have my wrong answer ready. In a uh, horrible case of mistranslation from English to... English to French. F? Uh, there we go. Trudeau mistakenly hears douche beer instead of douche bag. <laughs> <laughs> you can't send me something that fucking funny. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know, we're definitely, we're definitely seeing that article. Oh, fuck. Uh, our first cycle of the day has changed. But before we get to that... <laughs> uh... George and friends, please tell us about your sh <laughs> any plans you might have for content this month. This month, and I was like, this month. Well, we, as uh, Trim is currently drawing us some emojis for the channel, we should have memberships up and running soon. Yay! Um, I also have a collab planned with the Bickering Bunch to do Sons of the Forest, which I might co-stream or I might just be on their channel. But that's on Wednesday, so that should be good fun. Yes. And if Trim and Bleach can ever be available at the same time for four hours. <laughs> yeah. Four <laughs> hours? Those are rookie numbers. Trim's like, if I you want to do a 12 hour Valheim, Valheim stream. <laughs> it's like, uh, what, what are you going to play? I'm on the boat. For fuck's sake. Is Monday available? <laughs> because I suddenly found out that uh, I am free Monday, all of Monday. Um, we'll have a thing. I'm not sure yes. if I'm available on Monday. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll put it this way. Maybe, but it depends on how much I can punch through with my, my day job, so. Punch harder. <laughs> Dude, I've been punching as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Speaking of punching as hard as I can, Mr. Jonathan Crow, how are things going in the realms of your YouTube channel? Well, I haven't uploaded for about three weeks now. So, I wasn't going to come uh, out and say it. 
<laughs> uh, I've had a little bit of technical issues. Uh, I've just reset up um, basically OBS, so I've spent all of yesterday setting up OBS. Last Saturday, my entire computer just died, so I had to do a whole reinstall of Windows and try and fix everything. And yeah, so I've had a little bit of technical issues. So yes. uh, I'm hoping to get back with some series soon. I've decided I'm going to record some Undertale soon, and there's a few other games I've got listed because I don't want to get sort of trapped just playing Alien Isolation because it takes a lot of motivation for me to play that game because it does genuinely cause me issues. Wow, you're playing Undertale? Gee. I will be. And um, also, I know I'm low. I believe it's because I changed some of my vocal settings in the install. Let me just. Yes. Let me give you a boost. I should be able to sound a lot better now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that's helpful. I apologize. It's normally set lower for uh, audio issues. Yeah, spe- yeah. You, you don't sound like you're sitting in a well this time. Speaking of Crow, and there's no guarantee he'll do it, but I have found an excellent solution for my hating horror games problem with the Humble Choice Bundles. I just sent the <laughs> horror game keys to Crow. <laughs> and yeah. it, and if the problem gets- is, you sent... You sent me the second game, not the first game. <laughs> and they're like, I'm, now have, I'm obligated to buy the first game so I understand the storyline. That's a storyline? <laughs> yeah, that is actually quite... You, even you know, Jack Jacksepticeye actually appears as one of the voiceovers in the book, uh, in that game. Oh, I was not aware. Yeah. Top of the morning! Yeah, basically he plays an Irish character. Typical, Gee, really. Oh. Um, but yeah, I'll have to... I, I will be playing that at some point. Um, I just don't know when. Yes, but it gives me an excuse because I can't rate horror games in my humble lookout series because I don't like them. So everything is immediately a bias. Can't give them a fair chance. I can't. I can't give them a fair chance. So it's just unrated. Sent the key to Crow. Go subscribe to him. He might get to it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but then I can rate everything else, and I can tell you what I finally got done doing March, and my God, that was an abysmal fucking month for games. Garbage, 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 mm. garbage. Overpriced. And <laughs> yes, I may have skipped April for one, time reasons, and two, the games were just shit. <laughs> they were so shit I couldn't even make a good series out. But like for March, there was a good game and a triple A game. With like a hundred dollars worth of DLC. Anyway. Speaking of shilling, last thing to shill, Sons of Chardelay does have a subscribe star where for the low, low price of your soul, you can access special privileges. Soul? I, I, I thought you were an atheist. Well, I don't believe, I don't worship God, but neither does Satan. <laughs> I mean, we've already proven that God exists because we have already seen that God, uh, that Satan. Uh, well, well Satan. Well, well, Satan's going to go with beer, but. I suppose it will still have your soul, whether there's yeah. God or not. Yes. <laughs> and I need to feed it to the drop bears. <laughs> Is that chlamydia here? <laughs> no, it's Jack. <laughs> Ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear the word chlamydia, I always flash on. You always flash? On that Craig Ferguson, Robin Lee, he goes into the Scottish accent and he goes, Is chlamydia here, dad's here. <laughs> oh, I just dear. like the fact that your audio cut out and it's just like, I flash. <laughs> Long, Perfect. awkward pause. Yeah. Perfect. Whenever I hear chlamydia, I flash. Ah, <laughs> oh, 2023. <laughs> I think I just heard Stormy. <laughs> yes, and, and apparently uh, I took Stormy's soul. Damn I'm gingers. Why you? <laughs> oh, Lord above. Right, so, to finish off what I think the... she's choking on her coffee over there. Aww. <laughs> How cute. I just love the cackling in the background. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. So over on subscribe stage, uh, on the various tiers, for varying amounts of money, you can get such things as credits in uh, videos on the Sultan's channel. You get to vote in member-only polls, such as what our next uh, book club's going to be on, when we finally get enough decent suggestions that aren't just smut! 
More rain. <laughs> I mean, Maureen and Smut. That that that's basically just saying the same thing twice. I still think we should go through Colin. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in reading either Maureen or Smut. So, <laughs> are, you, are you going to rename her Smut Reen? Mm. Or we have just the power. Smut. Wait, or read Smut. Crow. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> that took you a while. <laughs> I mean, we do. The thing is, we don't do. Read thought... because that's a bickering bunch of things. So instead, since you've already been so very open about your body openings, why not? You mean his cloaca? Yes. Oh, can you guys? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a monkey reading program too. Just <laughs> can you stop talking about cloacas while I am trying to get people to give us money? <laughs> okay, fine. Hey, guess what will make me shut up about cloacas giving us money? <laughs> hey, don't want to hear Bleach and the rest of us talk about cloacas for three hours on end. Please send Des money. <laughs> Help him make the pain go away. Yeah. Ah, uh, dear. In addition to cloacas, you can also get such things as access to gaming hangouts or when we do public gaming things such as for example in the 100th episode special coming soon to a youtube channel near you the subscribe star supporters will be offered first access into the publicly open games such as cards against humanity and of course if you're a big spender you get to submit video comments to the songs of shadow and you get a whole 60 seconds unlike inferior competing podcasts yes <laughs> Because they're better. <laughs> and we'll actually react to them. Yes. We, we, we won't just go, ew, anime, and stick it in the corner. No, we'll stick it right in the middle of the screen and then go, ew, anime. <laughs> 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 well, please, we'll go, yes, ew, we'll man. publicly shame the weebs as God intended. <laughs> we'll pin it to our fridge <laughs> and be like, this is the fridge's shame. <laughs> No, no, we'll this is the one we keep the bad beer in. Yeah, yeah, we said we'd react. We didn't say we'd react. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so anything about reacting positively. And, 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 and then this when, goes on to me. And, and then when these guys are done mocking you for being a weeb, then Triminal, I will mock you before, because your wife who is weak. Yes. <laughs> we are not above being hypocrites here. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, dear. So let's go through and get the wrong answers for what the fuck's going on in this picture. So, let's see. Let's start with chat. Magu asks, is this the new Piss Wasser commercial for GTA 6? <laughs> I think it might actually be. I'm just disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bud Light's newest attempt to uh, get the real crowd they have always been after. Ah, uh, well, Callum reckons it's the Bud Light prostate exam. Well, their female um, representatives do need it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Prime Knight reckons it's the oh, new no. line of product from Bud Light, Beer Enemas. <laughs> I have no idea, no idea why they would choose Justin. His ass is already owned by the Chinese. <laughs> I mean, true. I was going to say, this is um, the new attempt to rebrand Bud Light, Castro Light. <laughs> oh! Stormy's so thinking this is the new Bud Light bottle opener. <laughs> Trudeau got a bit confused when he heard someone say Bud Light was shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bud Light, See, just no, like I... communism, no flavor. <laughs> See, the new I, I thought this was just uh, Dylan Mulvaney's next iteration as Bud Light spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> Head straight up Trudeau's ass. Yeah, sounds about right. Yep. No, it is Trudeau. <laughs> oh. Well, Trudeau... Yeah, we've never seen them in the same room before. Trudeau does I mean, look... He's got a black face, you know? So I'm sure he'd be happy to do woman face. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he'd be happy to do black woman face. <laughs> oh, he, he's he's going to go... Uh... I just lost her name out of my mind. Sarah woman Silver. Seattle. No. Sarah Silver? Woman... No, no. Woman Seattle pretending to be black. Oh, uh, Rachel Dolezal. Dolezal, yes. He's he's doing Dolezal face now. 
Ah, there we I, go. Yeah, just. I think I responded while I was saying Rachel Dolezal. Yes. So, what was your answer to this anyway, Ard? Oh, uh, mine was that in a horrible case of mistranslation uh, from English to French, Trudeau mistakes douchebag for douche beer. <laughs> Uh, same oh, Are you saying that Trudeau's like old Greg? He's got a mix up downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, uh, hey, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that one. <laughs> Bud Light's newest, uh, Bud Light's newest taste, booty beer. Oh, that, that is that like booty gag? Booty judge on there. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, let's jump into our first article for the day. And oh boy, it's a doozy. So, how black is this pill? It's fucking hilarious. If it were, well, it's it, it's tragic and hilarious. Oh, I can get into the tragic and hilarious. Yeah. Is it going to be tragically delicious? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we fucking go. Burning down barriers. Female firefighter conference causes out of control forest fire. <laughs> they they set the fire for this. Yes. Purposely to prove that women could do firefighting. Yes. Oh, why am I reminded of that 80s song? We didn't start the fire. No, <laughs> the women did. <laughs> You guys know that uh, women at work thing, uh, or uh, I don't know. Uh, th there's these skits in Loudwood Crowder, uh, Loudwood Crowder, where you have women doing the typical man jobs, right? And they always fail at it. This is basically that main to real life. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. Training exercise aims to build allies by showcasing the value of gender diversity and inclusion. And the value of gender identity, diversity and inclusion is apparently a colossal fuck up that nearly killed a bunch of people. Three houses damaged. Could have had people in them. Could have burnt them down. It's oh, okay. that's just it spreading diversity, diversity if they burn burn them down. Yeah, it's okay. They it, died it, it's diversity. making them black, right? To be fair, the diversity, mm -hmm. inclusion, and equity virus is basically oh, like shit. a big fucking forest fire. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> alternator comes in with the sickest bone <laughs> and says, "We didn't start the fire. It was always burning with the women voting." <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, the oh fuck. Takes. There goes the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, YouTube, that was a joke. We don't genuinely believe these horrible, misogynistic things. Despite, <laughs> all, despite all the evidence, we refuse to acknowledge it. <laughs> That's right. We're a I am equitable. sorry, Jonathan Crow, but I do not believe you when you say that. <laughs> and now we're done so for racism. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I just love the, the, the context sentence there. Banff National Park in Canada where South American <laughs> migrants have been fleeing to escape lawless squalor of big American cities. So what do the Canadian women do? They burn them out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, uh, accidentally I actually... based? <laughs> I thought it was um, a troll article at first, so I yeah, it's it is dying. It's actually on CBC, uh, CBC News as well. Yes, it, it is actually oh, true. Um, except <laughs> the way CBC News decided to talk about it was Parks Canada to review uh, to complete review of prescribed burn. Hmm. No mention of the women doing it and the reasons yeah, behind controlled burn. I prescribed just, burn. Just a review. <laughs> Yes, the Compound Meadows prescribed fire excursion is now classified as under control. Regrettably, during the men in. Dur regrettably, during this incident, there was a loss of infrastructure and valuable personal items belonging to members of the community. Parks Canada wishes to extend and seek condolences to those community members for loss. Yes, at no point in the article do they mention that it was a women in firefighting exercise. Yep. No mention about the exclude, you know, ink equity and inclusion or anything like that they decide to make it very clear that this has nothing to do with women this is just a fire gone wrong yep you know what's funny that 
you actually, instead of making all one or all the other, you instead make a workforce where the people's individual strengths strengthen the whole instead of being like, no, we're going to do this ideology date and not fuck us all up. Well, the problem... Up, Trim, is, uh... Take the diversity. The, the, okay, the, the problem, Trim, and is then, when you hire based remote. on merit, apparently women, you never hire women. I'm waiting for Disco again, to come in and just media. yell at me and throw something oh, in my head. <laughs> well, I think... Get women. But in a lot of these jobs, you get a smaller pool of women applying in the first place. So you're obviously going to get a lesser percentage of women unless you start saying, well, we'll just take all the women that apply. But this is the problem with meritocracy. It People have individual freedoms to make choices, and those do not match the diversity quotas that people want. It never will. Mm. Unfortunately, freedom of choice leads to disparities like that. Yes, How many women want to work on a fucking oil rig? Probably not many. About 20% got... of the workforce yeah, uh, 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 oil rig are women. When, when you say workforce, you're going to need to redefine terms, though. Uh, the people who work on the rig. Yes, I know, yeah. but that, I, that's not what I was getting at. Oh, sorry. When, when you say people who work on rigs, how many yes. of them, the women, are actually riggers as opposed to ancillary staff? Oh, that is, well, even less. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then in comes the problem where you say, well, we need we need 50% of of these workers to be women. Yes, but despite the fact that only one-tenth of the... We have such the... a small pool of women who are actually applying in the first place that we just have to scope off any woman who drops an application for them. Yeah. And if you start doing the same thing with the men, like, we need to accept every man who drops an application for them in, you're gonna get some fucking idiots on the male oh, yeah. side too. Well, we've seen yeah. what happens when you do that. It's called the NYPD. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, they can get what they deserve in so many, many horrible, terrible ways. I think oh, yeah. what bothers me most about this is that Parks Canada's article, the, the one that you have from CBC, completely omits anything about the the reason behind it. So again, it's the media again going out of its way to lie to you by not talking to you about what's really going on, just uh, completely omitting bits of information that are important to the context of the articles themselves. Yep, mm -hmm. it's almost as if they're deliberately hiding it. So yeah. that... it, it took me a while to actually find any major sort of organization <laughs> even covering the fire, let alone talking about the original reason. Yep. Yeah, this uh, this reminds me of a piece I covered not too long ago about a uh, a shooting instructor for a police service in the states uh, who was injured by a fellow officer negligent discharging and they point out in the story that it was a male instructor to mention the gender of the person who had shot him yeah did, wasn't that the one in australia just last week actually it might have been yeah but yeah so. that, yeah male sergeant wounded by and then they refused to tell us the gender of the other officer yeah that's it like why'd you have to mention the gender of one so that you wouldn't know the gender of the other? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Diversity! Yes. Sorry. Quite convenient that they always mention the, the gender and skin color of someone who is of the um, the out group. Yes. Yeah. If you're it's, Caucasian. This cause really annoying me, though. Because, like, if you are good at your field as, you know, a female or person of color or whatever if you are genuinely good at your field and there are people who are but they get a job everybody's always going to question did you get there because you were good or did you get yep. there because they needed a quota like you have your achievements your merits actually undermined if you could have got there on merit it, spe spe Which, <laughs> speaking speaking of annoying yeah speaking of how some people are good at their jobs Jane Park, the female fire management specialist who helped organise the conference, described the group of women who accidentally started the first fire as the cream of the crop. That's terrifying. 
Yes. If these are the well, best... I'm, I'm, they certainly creamed the crop. If, if, unless yes. their goal was to burn out the illegal immigrants. <laughs> the worst thing about it, though, on your point, Disco, is that when you have really good people in their job, woman, man, but then you have incompetent people come along that are being hired for the sake of, oh, we need the diversity, those people fuck up. It then tars the entire group with the same brush. Oh, women are incompetent. Women can't be firefighters. Yeah. Women can't do this. <laughs> Yeah, but it does annoy me because, you know, I'm in STEM and mm. the fact that, you know, I could get any job and with with the the grades I got, I probably could have got quite a decent job in the industry if I hadn't went freelance or went, you know, into, into indie. But it, there always would have been the question over my head, despite how hard I worked for my degree, despite the grades I got of if I wor worked into a workplace, like... Did you get here on merit, or did somebody just need to check a box? And yeah. that's horrible. Mm -hmm. The other thing is also introduces self doubt. Like you, you have to question yourself whether it, you're just there in that uni as a diversity quota. I, I mean, imposter syndrome's like, bad enough in the IC field yeah. already. Now add in my diversity and equity and inclusion. Yeah, yeah. Because ultimately, you know, the damage it does to women like disco in the workforce is irreparable because then, you know, ev every move you make is questioned and yeah. the value of your work is always undermined because of, you know, some bimbo who just got the job because she looks, you know, good in a pencil skirt at, at an interview mm -hmm. versus, you know, a woman who can go in blindfolded, program something and, and walk away and there's no bugs. Mm -hmm. And the, the the biggest problem is they they don't even hire them because they look good in a pencil skirt. Do, do your do do you do you, does your so called gender tick this diversity box? Oh yes. Have I currently got enough women on the workforce? No. Okay. Let's throw the CV in the bin. All I needed was the pronouns. On you come, and it's like, well, you just undermine everybody who actually puts the effort in. Well, who remember? Just... Who remembers when in a, I think it was New South Wales or somewhere else in the southern parts of Australia, they decided they were going to do blind hiring to promote diversity. So they removed the pronouns and the names from resumes, and then they found out the women yeah, weren't getting hired as much. <laughs> then the women, they found out the women weren't getting hired as much, so they got rid of that. It's funny. This is also one of the reasons that CVs in the UK typically don't have. Um, pictures on because that it's basically illegal now in the uk or it has been for a while to ask for a photo of the person who's applying for a job i, I think uh, in, in case you are prejudiced against their appearance yeah i think in most places it's illegal for, to do that unless it's for like something on camera but you're gonna get people now who are gonna put their fucking pronouns in their bio probably just to get the job because they're like oh well they're not going to hire a man because they fucking hate men. So, but I want this job and I want the money. So I'm going to say I'm a she, her and just whatever. Yep. Well, there's one thing I want to point out that uh, in a kitchen, that's the least, uh, well, it is actually one of the more gender diverse areas I've ever worked in. It is also the one that is most hostile toward that kind of thinking. Because the stress level and the way we work, yeah, it's, we have it's the almost worst as if being a laser everything. useless suck of shit stands out in a kitchen. You can't just wipe it, slide it under the rug like you can in a reg in a corporation. Oh yeah, and and the frustration with what we have to deal with. So many people just use horrible jokes, and the thing is, you can't find anyone who has that California mindset in a kitchen, at least any of the kitchens I work to, because the shit we joke about, I can't even hint at it on YouTube safely. <laughs> I, I sat down with a, a head chef from another boat yesterday as I was waiting for my plane ride home, and he says, like, oh, dude, the shit I say, if, if we had one of those HR departments in Norway, I would have been fired years ago. <laughs> But uh, crucially, remember, only men can prevent forest fires. <laughs> oh, and Stormy says that she got a job. Yay! Hooray!
Congratulations. Yeah, you know, I, I, I gotta say though, with the the migrant crisis on the U.S. border, I sure want these women firefighters down there taking care of business. <laughs> <laughs> they have no. a job to do. Exactly. Not even sorry. No, 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 no. Bleach, bleach. Tram. Better. Tram. YouTube. What? I, I'm I'm just saying God can't do all the work in New York. <sighs> Tram, no, just saying. Oh. Use the inside voice. I got bapped again. Honestly. Use the inside voice and just chuckle quietly if you want to. <laughs> no, we said chuckle quietly. Oh. <laughs> I'm being repressed by my own team. I was going to say yes. that sounded very maniacal for repressed. <laughs> well, I, I think he went with sexually repressed. <laughs> Oh, oh, so oh, like a female oh, firefighter. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> it's going to set the bell on the fire. Put the matches down. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, well, we've we broken the trim again. <laughs> uh, 36 minutes to a broken trim. Is that a record? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, sadly. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I dear. love being here. It, it, it hurts. The black bills hurts, but it's it's always a laugh. Speaking uh, of, yeah. Speaking of, what did Elon tweet at CBC? Well, according to fucking Broad again. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the whole drama with the uh, how government funded Twitter actually is, or. Uh, CBC actually CBC? is. Yeah, so yeah. Rem rem uh, remember when CBC quit Twitter because Elon was evil? Well, Pepperidge Farm remembers. And t CBC came crawling back like the pathetic fucking losers they are. Oh, yeah, uh, because guys. it's such a massive platform. It's such a, just a ridiculous, oh, we're going we're gonna to boycott it and lose all of our viewers where we're getting most of our fucking interactions. I just want to say sense. this. Uh, fucking called it. Yes. Like all the people who oh, said yeah, they were really quitting Twitter. Time. Yeah, so CBC will resume some activity on a handful of Twitter accounts. It will significantly reduce our overall Twitter footprint, blah, 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 we're a bunch of losers, and we realise that we've lost a bunch of fucking views because we suck, and Twitter's the biggest platform in the world. Also, half of us are addicted to this platform, so we can't really stop being here. Even when we said we would never come back, we were always on the platform, just with our alts. Mm, I mean, with recent changes, I might be getting rid of my Twitter blue. We'll see. Uh, yes, re recent changes. Yeah, I've heard rumors that Elon yeah, has shot the bed. When that's also on. the reason I have a Truth Social account now. Mm. <laughs> so, the, the, the tweet in question... CBC News says to Twitter, Wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's inclusive and diverse. <laughs> yes. You, you, you've got an African American there. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually from uh, Africa, too. Unlike these exactly. other African Americans. He, he's the truest African American. It's really impress. It's really impressive for the African Americans that don't even have ancestors from Africa. <laughs> you, you you mean like uh, no? <laughs> Never mind. I mean, on a long enough timeline, we all have ancestors from Africa. So, well, from what I've heard, the first humans came from Belgium. There, there are no humans what? in or from Belgium. True. <laughs> Besides, they can't yeah. even make up their mind if we started in Africa or somewhere in Southern Europe or wherever. And, and to be real, it probably wasn't Africa. <laughs> well, at least not the bits that they like to think. The really deserty parts, it wouldn't have been from there. When when evolved from tree-swinging monkeys. There's a reason we Maybe have... Ghana? I don't know what was in Ghana. But it'd, need, it'd have to be somewhere that historically ha actually had trees, because we're evolved from tree-swinging apes. You know, binocular vision, hands, vestigial tail. Where's my vestigial tail? Bastard it's, evolution. It's on your ass, but it's really, really small. 
It, it, it's inside your film. ass, technically. Yeah, technically. <laughs> technically. So I've seen pictures of kids being born with tails. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can still get vestigial tails. Yeah, it's almost as if we're evolved from a monkey that had a tail to balance as it jumped from branch to branch. Yeah. And in some movies, no, 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 no. I was gonna make a black a Black Panther reference, but well, let, let, at least it. at least we know there'll never be a black Tarzan because Disney would never have a black man acting like a monkey. I mean, Black Panther. That black one scene <laughs> where uh, where uh, Martin uh, gets uh, hooted at. Yeah, I, I'm oh, so yeah. apparently base apes actually um a monkey. Oh. And people keep trying to get him to evolve, but he keeps hitting the B button every time they try. <laughs> X for doubt. We we talked about you last week, monkey. Damn you and your banana stealing wise. Has he got closer to his banana tattoo? No. But th this is a good t time to actually go back and look at the clip that we did that we got from last week's i just want to get that up because this is the vi this is the first of the new style of segments thesis is banana why modern art sucks <laughs> <laughs> So this is I, I I enjoyed that section yes. immensely. So, so, so I did art it apparently because <laughs> I I I up I released the video, then looked and it's like, how the fuck do we have five comments? Oh hi art it. <laughs> but no, let, let I need to explain this to Trim because Trim wasn't here. So some idiot does made some artwork, which is literally a banana taped to the wall. Okay. But the banana keeps rolling, so they need to replace the banana. But the tape keeps loses its stickiness, so they need to replace the type. The tape. So is this the same artwork? It's not the original. It's not the original artwork. No. It's not the original artwork. It's Theseus's banana. Huh. And here I thought this was just some kind of sexual joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> the joke's modern art, and we're all. Yeah. Well. Fuck modern art. Huh. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, this is the new style of segments I'm going to be trying. Nice. Rather than just clipping everything, I'm going to try and grabbing the good parts, because do you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to listen to you assholes for another eight hours? <laughs> it's painful. I've tried to join you on, uh, you know, earlier during our uh, podcasting, like the first few, and it's like, eh, fuck it, we're lazy. Yes. Ah, but yes, monkey ate the banana in the I artwork. Think it's only fair recompense for putting us through so many black pills. <laughs> <laughs> but in that case, Black oh. Disco, she keeps sending them to me. <laughs> I just uh, always play the state of modern I just art. Just them into these DMs over the course of a week. <laughs> just slowly black Bill Bezik and then unleash him on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. It's so like we're the ones that the plan deal is with to them. cause a mass shooting in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> For legal you know, reasons, I, I can't answer that. <laughs> There's this, this, a, this a basically a tin can with a pile of shit in it, and apparently it's now <laughs> worth more than its weight in gold because of the artistic community thinking, oh, that's so creative. Yeah, oh, God, the pretentious it, dickheads. But the artistic Wait, community needs to... Oh, I can't say that on the internet at all. <laughs> you mean they the need money to go laundering community? One. Yeah, the money laundering <laughs> community. That's they should 42% themselves. Tram! Can't say that. <laughs> what? Forty-two percent of people dance. Uh, Trim, stop it. Really well. <laughs> stop it for fuck's sake. <laughs> that forty-two percent's not high enough, boy. Oh, God damn you! <laughs> I hate modern art. Okay, sorry, I can't help it. Magic, I think you need to get like, remote shock colors. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, know, I do. Don't threaten Trim with a good time. Put them on the panel members and oh uh, no, and whatever would I do if that happened? No, no, I'm so scared of shock collars. Well, we didn't need to know your kink, Trim. 
Trim. Yeah. Oh, you hate seeing Trim. nothing. You yet. live. You, you yeah. you're a sadomasochist. Trim. <laughs> I'm a chef. Trim. You live. You live close yeah. to Sweden. I have a credit card. I can have the ugliest hooker in Sweden there in an hour. Nasty. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, did somebody just say her first name? It's like, we're always telling you probably do it for the lols. I know, he was. Uh, he, he's probably suiting up right now. I could just call Toss down and be like, look, I need you to put on a dress and some high heels and go to Trim's place. And oh, film God. it for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. We could have for the opening segment. Oh. I mean, just that alone is worth yes. it. Yes. Uh, speaking of, this, this is probably a good time to bring up the other thing that I'm considering. Based on how quickly content devolves, and just how everything's interlinked. It's all lining up. Get out the whiteboard and the string and the markers and the sticky notes, because everything's interlinked, and you can barely talk about anything without crossing into the band subjects. I'm thinking we might have to go with the suggestion of just a streaming to Rumble, and then clipping out to YouTube later, because that way we can say whatever we want, and then uh, I can just sit there and go... Okay, where's Trim and Just Mute on the VOD? <laughs> I get no love. Susan doesn't like you, Trim. What, what you need is, like, clown music to play over it for YouTube clips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That song was originally meant for a Soldier's March. And to the Gladiators. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, there's something for you to, all to Google later. Sorry, coming up with useless random facts again. No, no, that's on point here. <laughs> this is the Sultans. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, part of the court. Yeah. What are you doing if you're not coming up with useless facts? If you haven't gone on a wildly unrelated tangent, are you really on the Sultans? No. Ah, uh, dear. So back to the actual topics of the day. So India has decided to ban open source messaging apps for security reasons. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yes. It's it's not like this could possibly tie into what we were talking about last week with the gov with the federal government wanting to require ID to access social media and Oh, if you can get ID to access adult co adult content on Pornhub, why not adult content on Twitter? Can't have... Okay, one, there's porn on Twitter. We all know this. But two, like we, we can't have children being exposed to adult ideas such as freedom and the First and Amendment and things like that. You but think they India would have... exposed to Drag Queen Story Hour. Ew. You yeah. think India would have better things to do than fuck about with you know, things like this. There's so much wrong in their country as it stands. Well, That's why they're focusing on the, this. Yeah, but th this mm. requires them to all just sit there in their ex air conditioned and collect a paycheck. Yeah. Actually, solving India's air problems would require, you know, effort. Well, I just wish India could would pay their doctors more so they don't keep fucking coming here. <laughs> yeah. Which is also a problem with all the governments that keep letting in skilled migrants. You don't think India could use some doctors, you fucking psychos? <laughs> Maybe then there wouldn't be so many dead people in the streets. Maybe if India had any doctors, the doctors would tell them to stop shitting in the street. I'm assuming you have the article on what the UK wants to do with doctors. Oh, I've got the article on what the UK wants to do with doctors. <laughs> Bad to go. Bad. Bad. <laughs> You're making me hurt inside. <laughs> oh, yeah, dear. Are but hey. Going places, guys? All the way to hell. Speaking of going to hell. What about New York City? <laughs> no, the other one. So the, the dickheads in the UK government keep poking the fucking bear. 
Oh, yeah. Literally. You fucking clowns, what are you thinking? What? The, the, Why? The bear drinks vodka yeah, and wears a fur hat. Yes, which is why you shouldn't fuck with the bear. He's drunk yeah. and warm. Yes. Hey, do you know a funny thing? <laughs> a little bit on the side, but do you know when you... The Ushanka, the typical Russian uh, hat? We call that bear pussy in Norway. I'd like you to say that to a Russian's face. I have. <laughs> Several times, and he I mean, laughs, and then we clean oh, our that glasses. Well, need to know. <laughs> well, well here, here's something interesting. So the, the Russian word for the side, you know, well, we call it an overseas cap, and the little side cap that's kind of split up in the middle, it's called kalotka, <laughs> which is also slang for vagina in Russian. There we go. <laughs> so you're wearing, yeah, oh, you're wearing your kalotka today. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's gone wrong if you're sticking your head in there. <laughs> so, Don't mind the ration itch. So, so the blithering idiots in the United Kingdom have decided Which to... Which ones? <laughs> That's quite a few. The, the ones that have access to long-range missiles and are just giving them away to Eastern European shitholes. Those ones. Yeah, they've decided to give long-range missiles to Ukraine. So now Ukraine has the capability to launch strikes within Russian territory. And Russia is understandably rather pissed off about that. Can't imagine why. Hmm. I, I, it's I almost think... like this is spiralling into a world war. Yes, it's almost I as if was... they're trying to push it into one on purpose. I think Monkey to said, fair, said war it well is in one of the servers is that this is kind of bordering on the Cuban Missile Crisis in the 60s. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, a reverse Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. But this is actually probably what they want, though. A war is profitable for a lot of reasons, so you just destroy another country or two, spend a bunch of money on the fucking weapons, do some invention of some new weapon. Yep. Uh, well, and, and, money well, well they've, they, they've seen after mm. Iraq and Afghanistan and the associated bullshit over there that no matter how badly you fuck up, how much you lie, how many innocent people you kill, and how many of your servicemen are slaughtered for your stupidity, nothing will happen to you. So why wouldn't they do it again? The, there's probably this underlying desire to take oil from Russia anyway. So they've got all those resources there. Ooh, maybe we should have those resources. Yeah, God for. Yeah, I, I, I think that's nice that's oil pipe you have there. You, to be honest. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've got the war profiteering shit that that goes on in every conflict, but you can even manufacture conflicts like the war on drugs and things like that domestically in countries. I think this is more about the fact that Russia is a nationalist country. They're trying to return to a lot of their you know, imperial, you know, Russian imperial ways. In in many, you know, you saw it in. Ossetia, and with the che not the Chechens and, and places like that, where Russia isn't playing by Western rules. They're not playing by, by let's all, you know, be in this balance of destruction if economically we're not all tied together. Well, well, Russia's that, a very independent country, that, and that's, it. that's why Ru they want to destroy Russia. Putin does not seem to want to be part of the shadow world government. He want, just wants to be the actual world government. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't fucking blame him, though. Mm. Honestly, I, I think they're going the right way about things. I think UK would benefit from a similar sort of mindset to the Russians, isolationism. Actually have our borders defended and not let ourselves be involved with this stupid German-EU project, well, well, which is clearly not benefiting yeah. us. I, I mean, all Russian state media needs to go do is stick the rainbow dirty butt monkey on TV and go, this is what England's allowing. Do you want to be like England? Yeah, but the Russians don't believe that that's real until you go over and tell them, unfortunately, it fucking is. They think that's propaganda. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. That's it. Like, how stupid do they think we are? No, no, no. We wish it was Russian propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's just one of those... Na nationalism and you know, is a threat to... Global peace, how we call it. And, yes, the global agi uh, agenda, at the very least. Yeah, and, and now global peace doesn't mean lack of conflict. It means focused conflict on nations that aren't complying. Yes. 
and it seems like they seem to desperately want an actual shooting war. They seem to be hell bent on pushing Russia to the point that Russia has no choice but to declare war. And how in the Russia wins? Oh, same. Yeah, fuck it all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not supporting oh, oh, oh. any of the sides here. I'm just sick and tired of this whole shit. At, at this point, I'll put on the hat and be an orthodox Christian. I'm fucking done. Well, no. Why I say what I'm saying is that um, basically we're in this position where we have these globalist shills running pretty much everything. The government's pretty much uh, all of these people are politicians that have gone through a regime that has basically trained them to be a cookie cutter politician. So they're all basically perfect models of the WEF fucking shill. So there's no way that the Britain that we want can ever come about because we basically have politicians that will never allow it to. Um, the only way that will ever happen is if basically all of the politicians lose their jobs and are replaced. You're not going to replace them without some massive upheaval, and basically a war is that massive upheaval. And that's why they hate Putin, because Putin is Russian old guard. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He, he was trained by the fucking KGB. We know what, he, what Putin is. Putin's... A, Like, like uh, what, what do they whine about Putin? They, he's a nationalist, imperialist, psychopath. Yes, and that's great for Russia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, and, and, and that's what Russia culturally demands. And really, a lot of Eastern European countries are you know, culturally like that, where a strong national identity is important and demanded of a lot of leaders. I so. mean, it should have been demand. It should be demanded of all leaders to, you know, be for your own country than anything else. Oh, but that would incite conflict. Yep. How how dare right how, how dare President Trump? I mean, Putin put his country first. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and that's 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 really I think, and I it definitely looks like Chat gets it. Um. Yeah. That's really what they want, and the, you know, the fact that you know you get all these illegal immigrants flooding into countries means that the the nationalism gets dampened down dramatically. Yeah, not only that, but a bit massive war would definitely put off a few people wanting to immigrate to these areas. They'd be like, mm, maybe I don't want to blow up. Hmm. Ah, but see, well, they would never be sent to the front line though. So they think. Yeah, I was well, going to no, say I'm, that. I'd be willing to bet. Oh well, we're taking in these refugees. We can't turn them into soldiers to go fight. Oh, uh, true. Anymore. That's probably. A, oh, the United Nations says you can't ask refugees to be soldiers or some bullshit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the problem it, it, that wouldn't be the problem. The people would, it, it, if it escalates hot enough to the point that, like in World War Two, we had the Luftwaffe actually bombing us dropping bombs on houses on a regular basis. Immigrants aren't going to want to sit around in those houses and be bombed. No, yeah, they'll all just it, fuck it, off well, back home. That point. Because, and, and this is something I, I think is a huge problem with the way we fight wars now, is it's done so remotely, mm -hmm. where not just geographically, but, you know, bomb by wire and things like that, where drone strikes and so on. Exactly. So there's no realness to a lot of the conflict for the civilian populations. And the politicians are civilians. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, un, until, you know, you get... Well, they certainly haven't served enough to get, get, get citizenship, have they? No. 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 And I, I think it, it's like, oh, well, you know, there, there won't be an incident ever on our soil. Yeah. And that, that is the most awful hubris. I say, as they poke the nuclear bear. The drunk nuclear yeah. bear. Yep. So, Poland having... won't, be between England, won't be between England and Russia, just like every other country between Well, hey, Russia will be like just, just well, like for no. the last 70 years, Poland's surrounded on all sides by communists. It's just that some of them call themselves the European Union. Mm -hmm. The other thing I find interesting is that 
America goes on about how, oh, this Ukrainian war thing is really awful and bad. They're spending 20 years at war for sheep farmers. And it's lost. Like, yeah, because lost, we, didn't, yeah. we didn't win. We, we didn't fight to win. That's that's the thing. Well, no, you, where... you were fighting for a regime change that helped the empire of America. That was simply it. Yeah, and like, fuck that I, up I, colossally. I'm... Look, if you're going to yeah, go, go and get... Because nobody fights to win. No, you need to fight to win. If you're going to get involved in a foreign country like that, you need to actually fucking finish the job. You go in, you wipe out the scummy fuckers, and then you install them as a protectorate. Yep. Yes. I saw but something that funny. That would be imperialist and evil. It was and that's like... the kind of imperialism that's accepted, not nation building. Because hmm. you know, I it it kind of pisses me uh, off yeah, when I hear I people just say. Notice um, that I'm... the UK. Oh, I just noticed that the UK is naming their missiles after GI Joe characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Storm Shadow. Yeah. Um, but it, it pisses me off when I hear, um, you know, oh, it's American imperialism. No, it's us pissing away money thinking that that will influence people rather than actually going in and doing imperial <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like Trudeau, Trudeau Mark... sending, yeah. what, Sorry. a couple of hundred million to, I think it was Uganda for the... their environmental policy. Oh, God. Yeah, or, or you know, sending you know, money for education in, in Pakistan for gender diversity education yeah. like no, fuck yeah. that. that's not imperialism that Talk about that countries is... that still execute that it's still uh, not execute them they hunt them down and rip open the heads of uh, albinos because they believe they believe there's gold there yes it's almost as if they need some in british good old-fashioned british imperialism yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah and and you know this this nation building stuff it's it's not it's bribery, essentially. It's not imperialism. It's, it's almost bribery. as if that's exactly that's what's going on in Ukraine. Yeah. They're just bonging a new government for themselves. Yep. But they're just buying yeah. shares in Zelensky's little tin pot dictatorship. And yes, it is a dictatorship because he imprisoned the opposition. Yep. yep. And, and, and if anybody denies that... Yeah, you know, Zelensky is a dictator. I've I've got a you know some oceanfront property in Nebraska to sell you. <laughs> well, that's but I I think that's 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 the ultimate problem here is pe people that are in power think that money and influence works the same way everywhere like it does in the West, and that's. That's a bold face lie. Yeah. Well, well, just, just that's it. Just because Western politicians would sell out their own grandma for a dollar, doesn't mean that Russian politicians would. I'd sell out your grandma for a dollar, but maybe, but not a bush girl or whatever it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And and Katie Lane asks, uh, and hello, I think you haven't been in here a lot, um, but you know, wasn't Zelensky installed? But by the U.S. regime change, yes, the the color revolution yeah. in 2014. Yeah. Yes. Uh, was it not Maidan revolution or whatever it was called? Yeah. What what? Euro Maidan, yeah. 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 What what is it with failed, pathetic, useless at their fucking civilian jobs, losers, getting installed as fucking leaders of the world? See Canada, Ukraine, <laughs> France, <laughs> U.S. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, it would be right. It's not right putting America there because Biden isn't even a, isn't even alive. Well, Biden's not in charge <laughs> of the United States. No, man's EKG is a flat line. Well, Biden's not even in charge of his own diaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But, but he oh. is in charge of uh, the hairs on his legs that float in the pool. Uh, <laughs> and those blood and those blood vessels. I wonder, anyway, I like wonder if the hairs on his legs are plugs too. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> they have to be. Anyway, let let's finish up World War Three and move on to something else stupid. So, yeah. So these idiots are, are sending long range missiles to Ukraine for reasons because apparently they're going to help. And. Yeah, Russia's saying that it would require an adequate response from our military. Yeah, the best case scenario is that they just carpet bomb the general vicinity of where they think the missiles are coming from. 
do you want Russia bombing civilian targets? Because we know that Zelensky has gone hide his fucking missiles in between a, a hospital and a daycare center. Oh, he's going to use the Palestinian method. Yeah, I could figure that. Oh, we know, we know he's been hiding his troops in church and schools before. Oh, yeah. Didn't the Ukrainians take back a city recently? So they claim. I mean, I, I can say I've liberated a city too. And <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm, if I have CNN backing me up, then uh, who are you to say that I'm wrong? Did somebody say B2 Liberator? <laughs> I think it's a B2. Yes. I hope it's a B2. Anyway. It could be, could be. Um. <sighs> Callum Dayton's asking, how much is this damned war costing? He'd love to know um, yeah, how, how to boot under... Yeah, yeah. it's like, who knows at this point? Because this, this, is, this is only publicly spent monies. Well, let's let, 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 get a military contract. Let's, be fine. let's put it this way. It's more <clears> than <throat> enough money that they could have just sent the United States military into Mexico, made it a territory, wiped out the gangs, and then can narrow the border down to whatever the next bit is, which is like a tiny little area compared to all the fucking Texas. Yes. Don't don't give me ideas, Bezik. Oh, you know I desperately uh, don't want give to. Me ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, if you wanted to invade Canada, you well, only look, if, 100 if the... kilometers of the country. Hmm. I, if the Democrats desperately want all the if all the Mexicans to be Americans, there's an easier way to achieve this than letting them come here one by one. <laughs> we just take the whole country. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I think the Panama Canal would be a better, uh, you know, border for the United States. Probably, yeah. Since the United States built the bloody border. thing. Exactly. <laughs> and and then Jimmy fucking Carter gave it back. That little bastard. May, may giant rabbits haunt his dreams. Yeah. Swimming rabbits, even. Yes. Horny mm. swimming rabbits. Mm. <laughs> so, anyway. Or dolphins. They're really creepy. Speaking no, of... No, no, Trim. Anyway, <laughs> you, you, moving away from you know, Trim's you know. fish fetish. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but I thought you were the one that were after the mermaids, Bezzy. I'm more of a bird I'm person a, myself. Traditional mermaids, not whatever the fuck that thing in the Little Mermaid is. Dugongs aren't... <laughs> Wait, did, Crib, did you just say that you were uh, into birds? Don't involve me here. <laughs> Crow so disturbed his glasses fell off. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of the House of Commons, Mr. Traitor, sorry, yeah, no, that's right. Mr. Trader said, The donation of these weapon systems gives Ukraine the best chance to defend themselves against Russia's continued brutality. I guess the long-range air-launched cruise missiles with a range of up to 200 miles. Yes, those are fantastic for defense. Yeah. But no, no, let's supply so many supplies that we actually do make ourselves a party to the conflict. I'm sure that will go well. Yeah, well, we've, uh, Canada's already got soldiers over there supposedly observing and advising. Yeah, so does America. The last time Canadians America. went to observe and advise, we ended up getting into firefights in Afghanistan. Oh. I mean, it, it, it's or, a, sorry. Yeah, the Vietnam yeah. solution. Like, yeah, go, <laughs> go and you know, observe and, and influence and train, and then well, oh, well, don't worry about these SOG groups. Well, no, no, they're not going over. No, it, 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 it's well, yeah, we'll ignore them, but putting them aside, these advisors do seem to be along the lines of, hmm, you're not terribly useful. Can you go stand there in direct line of the Russian snipers so you can get killed so we can have an excuse to go in? Funny that. Like, oh, like, here's some advice for the Ukrainian military. Give up. <laughs> Leave it's us the fuck like, alone. It's almost like they believe that we don't see that there's a proxy war going on. 
and that we're believing all of this fucking propaganda bullshit. Yeah, like shit. If they'd at least come out and admit that it's a fucking proxy war, I'd be more okay with that. I'd just be like, why don't you just go to a full hot war if you're going to go to war? Do it properly. Yeah. See? <laughs> fucking around and commit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just don't conscript me, because I don't want to go fight and die in some Eastern European shithole over a no, cause I don't believe in. Particularly. Likewise. And notice how all the people saying, send troops to Ukraine, it's always the people who aren't eligible to be drafted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Send anyone but me. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. I want to see people die for what I think I believe in. If you kill but... everybody that we send... Then there's more things for me. Hmm. So send as many people as possible. Yeah. Hmm. And, and any idiot who's like, oh, but Australia and England don't have a draft. Yeah, we didn't have a draft before World War II and Vietnam either, you fuckwit. Yep. It so comes I, I, later when I, they start running out. I guarantee that there is a document sitting in a filing cabinet somewhere in whatever capital building that says something like the draft act of insert year here. Yeah, the, the Emergency Draft Act. Yeah, yeah. The, the Emergency Draft Act of insert year here. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget, I, and of I course, really serving politicians this. will always be exempt. And and their children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you have to have the next generation of leaders ready to go. Exactly. Oh, there, there aren't that many politicians who have children anymore. They just find a random kid they found adopted African. and groomed that's it no 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 we're, we're, we're talking children that will carry on the family legacy not for pleasure Je oh yeah no, no. Rem remember the 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 banging in biden's closet isn't the skeletons it's the small child that's trapped oh, God. <laughs> oh God. Uh, yes uh, the, the skeleton in biden's closet is always under five foot tall <laughs> Yeah. And it's not even a yeah, the, yeah, the small child, or as Biden refers to him, potpourri. Hmm. <laughs> How uh, did that guy manage to get elected? We can't still, answer that on question Rumble. on YouTube. <laughs> exactly. That's leading in for Rumble, guys. Because I have no idea at all. Anyway, and swear. before Trim, by the way, yeah, us into trouble. Yes. Yeah. Wait, what? You heard me. We've been shadow banned? No, just yeah. you, specifically. Oh. oh, that's fair. Oh, <laughs> and I, I see uh, R. Conley and Orthodox Ranger are in Rumble. Yes. Hello. And I think Orthodox Ranger is a newbie, so welcome. Indeed. Right, let's look at Good something party. Slightly, le slightly less depressing. <laughs> So the YouTube fuckwit who staged a plane crash is facing 20 years in jail. Uh, okay, <laughs> why would... What? I've not even heard of this one. Why in hell would you stage a plane crash? crash? What? Well, you take a perfectly good plane, then you jump out of it. That's not staging a plane crash. That's just crashing a plane. That, that, that should be classified as terrorism. Potentially, yes. Especially since he crashed into a national park. Oh my fucking god. Oh man. All right. That's Trevor Jacobs. Yeah, he, this, yeah this... no, he deserves yeah. 20 years. Fuck so, that no, he deserves, he deserves to be taken up in a plane and thrown out. Yes. So, he needs to be taken for him. 20 years away from the planet Earth and then thrown towards the planet Earth. I mean, I know he'll be in space, but it'll take him 20 years to get back. Ooh, we'll just launch him into yes. the sun and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> violence. He was trying to play, pay homage to Sky King. Oh, that's a throwback <laughs> reference. <laughs> but yes, it, it, it's it's not, not surprising that everyone's like, there's something odd here when the guy had a engine failure and had to bail out and then while he was lost and suffering from dehydration in the woods, he had enough time to walk to the plane, get his cameras before trying to find safety. Also, he had seven, like seven cameras, including a handheld GoPro on a stick that he took with him when he jumped out of the plane. 
I'm going to commit a crime, and I'm going to document every aspect of the crime just to make sure. And I'm going to be really, really surprised when the FAA is like, we're suspending your pilot's license while we investigate whether we're going to actually put you in prison for 20 years. Yeah, surprised Pikachu face. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Oh, Huge uh, influencer ISIS. There we go. A sw uh, that little a, a, curve, a, a he destroyed a fatal he swelling of the head. Piper. Yep. It was like, up, it, that fucking asshole. It was like 40 or 50 years old, Dave. Yeah. I, and it's like, Piper Cubs are really interesting little aircraft because mm. most of them you still have to hand yeah, yeah. Yep. It was really interesting as well because it was so old and had been through so many hands that the FAA just interviewed all the previous pilots. And they're like, you yeah. ever have any problems with the engine? Nah, mate. She was great. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, yeah, it's like the annual inspection was, uh, I don't know, usually pretty good on these things. Yeah, they like, have, you know, I interviewed the mechanic and everything, I believe. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I, in, in a previous life, I was training to become a airline pilot. And, yeah, so I've had private pilot's license experience in flying and stuff like that. And re, it, it's like, to have an engine failure in small aircraft, especially, you have to be shit maintenance. You have to be skipping your annual inspections. And basically, you just have to be a complete piece of shit to have them with the failure that he's talking about. Yes. Well, so to read the article from Al Jazeera, because apparently the best news about the West is from the Muslims. <laughs> That's not even hyperbole. <laughs> what? Hyperbole. Yeah. Oh. Shut it's up, bro. <laughs> Fucking bloody Australians. <laughs> Shut up, Australian. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway. So, an astounding piece of shit who bowed out midair and deliberately sent his plane crashing into the ground to bolster viewing numbers on his channel could be jarred for up to 20 years. Should be at least 20 oh. years. Is he going to stream from prison for 20 years, you think? Mm, yeah. Uh, ho hopefully, it, uh, it's only on his OnlyFans where it's like, oh, well, I've got my soap dropping video. Hmm. Yeah, it does seem to be the case. All of his videos will be soap dropping videos. So, in a video <laughs> seen by nearly 3 million suckers uh, titled... I committed a felony and filmed it. The useless sack of crap appears to experience engine trouble while flying over Southern California. Fuck California. Yeah. Oh, fuck the cities. You should have tried it over the There's some nice scenery. I crashed my airplane. That's the name of the video. Yes, I just said that. Well done. Yes, I, mean, I, I know you did, but I'm just... My brain couldn't really believe that, but it's actually that stupid. This guy makes me look like a fucking genius. Yes. <laughs> anyway. And I'm <laughs> fucking stupid. Violence is say they should put prison security cameras feed on OnlyFans, and that would fund the whole prison. Holy <laughs> shit. Hyper view in the holding cell. <laughs> <laughs> Today, yeah. Big Tyrone meets Nazi Nick in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more of a world star hip hop thing than an OnlyFans thing, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have been hard for him to get a pilot to come in and him just jump out of the plane and have the pilot land it safely. So, this intentional recklessness. I mean, what if it fucking killed someone? What if it just happened to just well, get the one person in the national park? He doesn't give a fuck. He's a useless scum sucking piece of shit. I want to get famous. I don't care yeah. who I hurt. Look at me, guys. I, <clears throat> I'm doing it for the clicks. I'm so hip. Yes. Well, well, I mean, he's certainly infamous fair. now. Uh, yeah, to be fair, I... What? idea that someone else could be... Adam, I think you need to turn your camera feed off. You We're know. getting no fucking... Oh, good God. Streaming through. You're just yeah, sort of revolting every it, now it, and it's again. It's like you're having massive trim hemorrhages in the middle of yes. your conversation. Sorry. <laughs> No, no it's it. not you, Trim. It, it, it's Arden. <laughs> is, oh. is this any better, or should I restart my yeah, computer? That's, that's a lot better. Oh, okay. better. Sweet saying your computer is not going to fucking help. It's your internet. Go shoot the moose that's no. showing on the cable. It's probably a whale. It's probably Gorlock the Destroyer, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
Oh God, that creature. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, what were you saying, Arden? What's that? What were you saying? Uh, nothing at all, apparently. Yeah, no, yeah. to be fair, the guy pro it, the idea that someone else could be hurt probably never Still a fuck guy. sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna restart I'm gonna restart and I'll come back. Okay. Okay, so the dramatized, sorry, sorry dramatic footage says sack of crap ejecting from the single engine plane, selfie stick in hand, and parachute. Okay. I, I, I object to him being referring to ejecting because one, you have to physically open the door, which takes a lot of effort. Yes, plus because get open and pressure. you can see, you know, the, the struts, he's got to climb over that. And it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> This is not ejecting. This is bailing out. Yeah. Uh, it should be dropped and, on his you know, head. Th there are reasons occasionally to bail out, as uh, Tristan Armstrong is saying to Bleach in uh, the Rumble chat. Yes, what? Oh, hey. Those reasons are not, not my propeller stopped turning when I'm that far above the fucking ground. I mean, t let, let, let's be honest. Yeah. JFK Jr. probably got what he deserved, according to the Clintons. Just, just saying. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, yeah. Uh, what the uh, fuck? How does that work? Again, dude, I, I have been around aviation since I was eight years old. I, I have, I know things that probably would make people's hair stand on end. But my point is, this chuckle fuck is absolutely responsible for doing this because oh yeah, yeah. especially yeah if i i haven't wanted to watch watch the video of this because i know exactly what happened he, he cut the engine he probably leaned out the mixture so much that it probably burned a piston if he did it too quickly and there was you know and he'd made no effort to restart the damn it, it seems well, i really hate it seems like he literally just turned the fuel off what yeah, I really uh, hate is well, he named it airplane, not aeroplane. That drives me nuts. <laughs> it flies in the well, it, to American English. Chris. It flies in the Fucking air, not wank. the aero. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, goddamn Brit. It's not. It's not a French aircraft. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so cameras conveniently placed all over the aircraft show its out of control descent into the forest and its eventual crash. The useless scum sucking waste of animal turds then filmed filmed himself hiking to the wreckage where he appears dismayed to discover the water he packed has disappeared. Ooh. The dislike ratio on the video is pretty bad actually. Not not Good. really surprising. It should be. It should be on YouTube anymore. What the fuck are they playing <clears> at? <throat> Since when was it in line with YouTube's policies to commit yourself film yourself committing a fucking crime and then profit off of it? Yeah. FIA should seize all the proceeds of this fucking video. Oh, and they should. Um, this is one of the rare cases where it's like they should. They should seize all the proceeds. They should seize his assets, mm -hmm. especially his, the aviation insurance, because that shit's not cheap. Yeah, the video and give literally. Give that to the national park for restoration. Yeah, park oh, service should sue the. Should did. take. Should sue him. I. This asshole should be absolutely fucking hammered into the ground. This video actually cuts out any part where it shows what he's done with the engine. Because in one minute, the, the propeller's working fine. It looks like it stalls temporarily and then carries on. And then immediately, it cuts to another scene where the propeller's not moving at all. Yes. Also, and he's just leaning out. Also, he not, literally leans out and rolls out the side. Yeah. Also, you'll notice how, for some reason, af after the plane stalls, you never again see from the camera that was over his right shoulder. No. No, you don't. And... I'll point another thing out. I have never known a private pilot that isn't, you know, basically someone who's super paranoid with a parachute in any light aircraft of this style. Also, it's a sporting parachute. Never... It's not an emergency chute. Yeah. Wasn't he wearing it at the beginning? He was already wearing it when he was in yeah, the Yeah, he was yeah. wearing it the whole time. Um, it, it, it was blatantly obvious that what his intention was yeah. and and that that's going to be something the worse. fia will be looking into as well they'll be interviewing anyone who's ever seen him get into that plane going does he normally wear a shoot no really no. how interesting 
Now, what would have been cool is if he'd managed to parachute his way back to the plane, got inside it again, started the engine and carried on flying it. Then I'd have been like, okay, cool video. Irresponsible, <laughs> yeah. but cool. So now, if, he, if he'd opened the chute, it would have... Uh, the, the plane would have been like, yeah, fuck you, I'm going at you know, 120 <laughs> miles an yeah. hour. So the dickhead makes his way back to the plane to get his water and his cameras, but we'll ignore that part, honest governor. So he get, he goes back and gets his cameras. Then he films himself bushwhacking, seemingly struggling towards civilization, giving regular updates about how thirsty he is. That's right, I'm really, really thirsty, so I'm going to keep talking. And how lost oh, he feels. He's, he's thirsty, all right. Thirsty for views. Yep. Finally, he stops to scoop water from a stream, and moments later comes across a vehicle and apparent salvation as night falls. Uh huh. I, I hope he gets uh, some parasite from the water. Yep. So, in the weeks the after the incident, investigators from the National Transportation Safety Bureau and the Federal Aviation Administration launched a probe into the crash and he was ordered to preserve the wreckage. Which is interesting because he'd already had it helicoptered out. You won't oh, get the parasite because he and is then, a parasite. And then cut up the plane into small pieces and dump the parts and rubbish bins <laughs> in and around the airport. Yeah, see that he dismembered the body and dumped it into a bunch of different dumpsters. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I, 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 I was around an FAA investigation for a transponder that got corrupted and accidentally went off, and it was it was like. The, the first thing this little airport did was once they got a call from the FAA, it's like, yeah, hey, you know, we, we've got this tail number there. Like, oh, well, it's it's in the, you know, it's in the hangar. And nobody was allowed on the tarmac until the FAA rep and the plane owner got there. And they're like, oh, well, it's, you know, it was a malfunctioning battery. Well, we could still find you, but because it was an accident, we get it and things were handled properly. It was shut down immediately. And I'm like, mm. oh. Yeah, they they have the the legal ability to do that because it's a federal license to fly in the United States. Yes. So this useless sucker shit told the officials they did not know how the plane had gone down. Yeah, he didn't know how it had gone down, but rather than letting the FAA investigate, he cut the plane up and dumped it. So then the FAA flogged, yanked his pilot's license. In a plea agreement, the useless scum-sucking piece of garbage admitted they intended to obstruct federal authorities when disposed of the wreckage and create the video to make money through sponsorship with a wallet company. The use of the, the complete waste of oxygen further admitted he lied to federal investigators and submitted an aircraft accident incident report that falsely indicated that the ex aircraft experienced a full loss of power approximately 35 minutes after takeoff. Ah, the fetid animal droppings also lied to an FAA aviation safety inspector when he said the airplane's engine had quit and because he could not identify any safe landing options, he had parachuted out of the plane. He has agreed to plead guilty to one count of distraction and concealment with the intent to obstruct a federal investigation. Shouldn't have accepted the I'm, plea deal. I, I think there's a, there, there's a further crime of destruction of proper public property yes. when it comes to crashing a plane into the forest. Yeah. Fuck. As much as I hate the EPA, get them in here too. Yeah. Let the EPA smack him with the long flaccid dick of the government. What? But what? Um, th th this guy, just, he, he needs to be an example. Yes. Yeah. He, he absolutely needs to be fucking hung by his feet, tarred and feathered, and then potentially ejected from a plane. Without... Uh, actually, he should be parachuted into Gen Pop. Yes. Naked. Yes. And, and afraid. Honey. Or or we tie him to a tree and crash a plane into him? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I want him to, to suffer from his he, indiscretions. He, he should spend a long fucking time in prison. What a useless piece of shit. Absolutely. You know you can get revolver scumbag. shotguns. Uh, yes. Yeah. They're pretty cool. They'd be illegal in the UK. It sucks. I really want one though. Yeah, it's gun laws in the, U uh, the rules on, on guns in the UK are as bad as the ones in Norway. 
if you have a semi-automatic shotgun in the UK, it can only be able to hold up to three cartridges. So dumb. So dumb. You better get good at speed reloading then. <laughs> well, this is why you get a, a shotgun that has a a simple slide similar to um, an underlever. Ah, hmm. uh, dear. So... Yeah. <clears throat> And this is just so stupidly reckless. It, it pisses me off, especially that there's one less Piper cub in the world. Yes. What a scumbag. They're not made anymore, are they? No, know. they haven't been made in like 40 years. They should be. They're a nice, they're a nifty little plane. And, well, and maybe they are. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go double check, but I'm pretty sure that... You know, because you had, well, there's like, you know, the Super Cub and a few other variants, but it, it's such a cool little plane. It's such an accessible aircraft for people, too. So, yeah, um, yeah, the J-3 was built between 1938 and 1947. So, uh. it, it, it's, it's been, what, 80-some 80, 80 years now? Just about. Yep. Yeah. The, not not only is this this a crime against aviation, it's a crime against history. Indeed. Oh. It's, uh, eh, it might have been maybe a no. It the the cowling is open. I can see the engine. So that means it's got to be. Yeah, because they started putting cowlings on the the Cub specials, and after that, so yeah, this is a just a standard Piper J three. Mm -hmm. yeah, so let's move on to generic American news, or as I like to call it, the stupid people are whining about stupid things again segment. You know, Americans about New York City. Yeah. Uh, well, let's start with a tweet from Ben Shapiro. So we're going... So, within hours of the Allen, Texas uh, mass pew pew event, the media were able to uncover suspected white supremacist motivations. Weeks later, they can't figure out the motivation behind the Nashville Christian school shooting. Funny There's only there. two fucking options for that one. <laughs> and both of which are mentally disturbed lunatic with a persecution complex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I so badly want to see the uh, the manifesto being released. And look, we know, we know that it was about a mentally ill person with a persecution complex. We also know that it wasn't because they used to go to that school, because they claimed to go to a school that actually had security instead. Yep. So what could possibly drive the mentally ill lunatic with the persecution complex? To commit a crime against people they perceive have oppressed them. Hmm. Gee, I fucking wonder. Mystery of the fucking century, right there. Mm-hmm. They were probably really nice people who wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> yeah, they were always the the kindest, most gentlest, wonderful human being I've ever known. Mm -hmm. And if you get the reference for that, uh, you get a cookie. It, you have to buy for yourself. Yes. Uh, well, how about we look at Musk? So, here we have an article from one of the useless, talentless hacks that works for Crowder. Elon Musk exposes, exposes, fucking Jesus, what's odd and very strange. He, he, he's replied to tweets and said three words. <laughs> Why is this a news article? Because Brodigan is an idiot. So, blah, 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 blah. Let's look at the tweets. So red hat libertarian librarian, yeah, fuck it, why not? Talk libertarian about fucking reaching. Yeah. Yeah, how the fuck is this an article? So I'm desperate to turn in an article this week so I can get paid. Without losing my job. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm contracted to yes, make Marku. <clears throat> I'm contracted to make seventeen articles a day, so I need to come up with some bullshit. Ooh, Musk is 
big news. Let me do an article about him. Ah, crap. He's only replied to two tweets. So, the red-headed libertarian said, so that I'm clear on this, a Jewish lady and a milk toast fence sitter radicalized a Mexican neo-Nazi from Russian website into slaughtering white Texas, according to the CIA operative who broke the story. And apparently the news is that Musk said very strange. Mm-hmm. Yep. Th 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 those old uh, Latinx neo-Nazis, they're, they're a real threat, let me tell you, boyo. Mm-hmm. And Wokeness says, Black supremacist mows down 62 white people at Christmas Parade. 18 months later, no motive. Trans terrorist attacks a Christian school and writes a manifesto. Six weeks later, no motive. Hispanic male shoots up a mall and kills several white people. One day later, white supremacy. Don't you love how white supremacy seems to just be full of blacks and Hispanics? Yep. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> This is a Leo segment of an article. Yes, yes, it oh, is. Oh, if you want a Leo segment, uh, somebody ping Disco and ask her what idiot she's yelled at on Twitter this week. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm sure I can find one or two. <laughs> Disco, Disco attracts retards, idiots, and sociopaths like a moth to a fucking flame. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I keep finding them. I'm like, oh, well, I can't not call them an idiot now. <laughs> well, the fun thing is, it, I mean, entertainment value for me. Oh, yeah, it's always fun. <laughs> I, 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 I've got a amusing Alexandria uh, update. Go on. Mm. Well, I, I'm, I'm being followed by more and more <laughs> Green Party members. <laughs> yes, I saw your little response to me earlier. Oh, that's I hilarious. I retweeted it to um, try and promote it as some sort of bad account, but I couldn't think of anything funny to say. I was just going to be like, get a load of this Joker or something. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, so, yeah. Green Party Chair Kent. Really? Uh, Fucking green, hell. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, trade Unionist. Green Party Campaigner Hayward Heath. Uh, let's see. And then, yeah, Green Party Peer Leader. <laughs> 2016. So. But, uh, so what I'm hearing is that the Green Party are just as much of a real person as as Alexandria. Alexandria. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of totally real people that aren't just NPCs doing exactly what they're programmed, the usual suspects are protesting a stupid crackhead again. Uh, I mean. All I can say is choo choo for justice, full speed ahead. <laughs> yeah. And touch the third rail. Oh, of course it's bloody Brody again. Oh, Christ crowd, you've got two writers in big and verd comments, and they're both are crap. Yeah, so, of course, the good old classics. So, the, this is the about the crackhead who cracked out and then got choked a little too hard what, that we covered last week. And yeah, the protesters are running around screaming. One of them is yelling at a New York police officer over the death of the guy. Look, the one time the New York police aren't to blame. <laughs> He's yeah. like, pussy, do something. N-worder. Yeah, you can tell exactly what colour the person who said that was. Uh -huh. And then, of course, the protesters are on the subway in New York City. Yeah, that seems like... Sorry. <laughs> that seems like an excellent way to get stabbed <laughs> by pissing off a New Yorker who's trying to catch a fucking subway. Yeah, uh, well, but, but they're, they're just so whipped. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, it's like... You, you see these videos on the subways of just you know, psychos assaulting other people, and uh, nobody does a thing. Because they're they're just, I think I've heard it as like you know, hamster syndrome, where they're just so inoculated to the violence around them that they just like, oh yeah, it's fine, that's normal, it's just the the cost of living in a big city. It's like, mm. well, in addition to that, there's also the why the fuck would I get involved? Because if the crackhead dies after I talk to them, I go to jail. Yeah, yeah. Where you know, it's like if if, if they pulled this stuff anywhere else in, in in the country you would probably have some you know like 
big burly black guy come up, slap him, was like, leave these people alone. And you'd have you know, some big burly white guy doing the same thing. And then, then they'll just be like, oh, shit, you want to go for a beer, but not a Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bud Light's not beer, never has been, never will be. No. Uh, up next, we have another article from Sadly Bright Again. New video destroys media narrative about Jordan Neely's death. Other passengers praise the Marine. Yep. Because, and, and remember, the Michael Jackson impersonator was arrested for trying to abduct an eight-year-old little girl. Yes, and also has an impersonator model called Jackson in like a decade. Wow. Yeah. To be fair, being I mean, a crack, was, being a cracked out dedicated pet, to be Michael Jackson. Being a cracked out pedophile, I guess suppose that is impersonating Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he took his impersonation really cookies. serious. I don't think they actually <laughs> ever really proved anything about Michael Jackson. No, just that he was a fucking lunatic. Which yeah, I mean he was definitely a weirdo, no no doubt about that. Uh, appar apparently a lot of it's related to abuse. Yeah. But yeah. it's still creepy, and I uh, still creepy, definitely, yeah. and that should be called out. Just yeah, it's probably yeah. It's, it's probably the, it's the idea of calling someone a pedophile when we haven't got proof is probably a bad move. Yeah, eh, eh. maybe, but at the same time, it's Michael Jackson, and I mean, I'm sorry, but when you're talking about sleeping with with kids and calling it precious and milk and cookies and all this shit, I don't really care anymore. Oh no, we you can call it weird. You can call it like shit like that, sure, but like I just for the sake of not getting sued. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Yeah, he probably has he probably hasn't been dead long enough that we can just say anything. But he's definitely a, he's definitely a creep. And definitely a lunatic. Oh yeah. So in regards to in so in regards to this idiot. God, Brodigan, stop trying to make fucking three paragraph articles out of one tweet. You'd shit at it. So blah, 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 blah. Useless idiot and waffles. And then says, so basically just quotes a tweet artist. Why isn't the media covering the fact that Daniel Penny was complimented by the other passengers and also put Jordan Neely in the cover position? Seems like key details to leave out. Yeah, but... Uh... I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I think it, it's one of those, it's like, trying to, to praise Penny for doing the right thing isn't going to carry any weight with the people who want to, oh, I say that on, on, on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but take Ill illegal, le yeah, illegal penalties against him, shall we say. Hmm. They they do seem to be encouraging vigilantism, and not the good kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So up next, well, I think we need to bring back the asylums. Yes, yes, we do. Um, and I've I've been saying this for years, and it doesn't have to be an institution like you know where you're you're locked up in your room all day. Whoa. But it needs to be a controlled place. Like a semi-permanent halfway house. Right. But it's it's isolated enough where these people can't just wander off and, and fuck around with the neighbors. Put, you know, take them to a place where, you know, put them on a farm. Teach them skills. Teach them how to, you know, grow crops. Teach, teach them the basics of life. Where they can be productive members of their little community. Well, when they go completely, uh, you know, apeshit, they're not going to be causing harm to others. Yeah. Well, it's patently obvious that some people shouldn't be allowed in society. Not because they're evil, but because they just can't control themselves. They just cannot yep. function appropriately. And they should be yeah. in some kind of secured facility. And whether that's a 20-acre work farm with less focus on the work and more on the mental health aspects, or whether that's in an actual secure ward slash asylum. Yep. 
like there's um, levels to know, this shit and it's in, uh, there are a lot of people who it would be safer for them and for everyone else if there was an eight foot tall chain link fence around them at all time yeah yeah uh, it's, you know, I've, I've, I've had to go into a, you know, a mental institution for work and got to observe you know ba basically i got to observe how they were it's like well this person yeah they're they're high strung and they could be a risk to themselves but they're just sitting there kind of staring out the window versus the other cat who's just like completely batshit crazy talking about witches coming to take his kidneys yes and yeah and like, well that guy needs to be locked up the other one could be out at a pretty you know, like not a prison farm but a farm with close supervision when it's needed but mm -hmm. they can also go off and yeah you know, take a walk well, around the property and stuff yeah, like well, that well that's it they're, maybe they're after my, maybe after the 20th time the mentally unstable crackhead has to be arrested they should spend a couple of months or years secured yeah in some kind of restorative secure mental facility like this, um, this, this guy, whatever his name was, probably would have survived if he'd been secured. Yeah. If, yeah, if, if and, he'd and been I surrounded think... by trained, equipped, professional mental health guard dudes, rather than just roaming free on a fucking subway, maybe he, they could have just been like, get the rifle, sedate him. Yeah, I'm, and and that's that's the thing because when I you know because this place I went went through a walkthrough with, it's like they they had various levels and there were the you know the people who were clearly mentally ill, but really were the mo some of the most docile people I've ever seen. Yep. Hey, Trent. And it's like, what do you know about Bostway Prison? Uh, not much. Oh. What, so, what's the match you do know? Not all. Uh, just that it is a prison. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. What's the point in having a Norwegian on the show if he doesn't know anything about Norway? Oh, you tried to say a Norwegian word? Write it down so I can see it. B O S T I Y. <laughs> huh? Repeat that. I couldn't hear. B O S T I Y. Or at least that's how Tristan Armstrong's spelling it. Let's see. Bustoy. Bostoy. 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 Well, Tristan says. Yeah, the, uh... Bostoy. 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 What? Bostoy. <laughs> that is the world's best prison. Well, tell us about it. Well, it's a prison that is very, from what I remember of it, I don't know much about it, but it is a prison that is um, very focused on uh, rehabilitation. So instead of being like uh, keeping them all uh, placed in uh, padded cells and shit like that, they, unless they need it, the there's a heavy effort on making them ready to rejoin society. They get to educate them into something. They get to, uh, they get people, professionals who help them work through their issues. That's yeah, basically what they can do. Right. Yes. So we'll, we'll just go with what Tristan said because, <laughs> instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, well, I'm not, I'm I, not I, big I, on prisons. So Tristan. I've actually watched. Yeah, I'll I've actually watched the documentary about different prison styles. I'll, I'll let me just read Tristan's comment. Yeah, uh, I believe it's got like really um, good rights for non reoffending as well. Yes. Well, if you let me read the, com the comments real nope. quick. <laughs> no, nope. nope. mm -mm. nope. I refuse. <laughs> Fine, I'll just serve and mute the lot of you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. So Tristan said, follow the Osti. <laughs> Prison model in Norway, select an island, build a small town on it, put all the nutters there. No prison, just an island they can't get off. Yes, but what about the 1915 insurrection? Mm -hmm. What? 
Yeah. That one flew over my head. What? Rebellion occurred in May 20th, 1915, when 30 to 40 boys rallied ar- around four youths who had escaped and been recaptured. The group refused to work, armed themselves with farming tools and stones, cut the telephone lines, and burned down the barn with <laughs> stolen matches and cigars. I-, I would point out that there's a simple solution to prison riots. Shoot them all. <laughs> yeah. uh... Oh, wow. It gets, it gets wilder. Uh, <clears throat> when instructors and guards failed to quell the riot, the military was called in, and over 100 troops stormed the island. <laughs> Say, shoot them all. <laughs> Is this a training well, exercise, Sergeant? Not exactly, Corporal. <laughs> you know all that pent up aggression? Now's the time. <laughs> this is a lot no, of fire boy, exercise. Use live ammo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I, I, I was saying I watched a, a documentary about different prison styles all over the world. Uh, one of them was from Australia, and I think it was Bastoy, or however it's pronounced, was presented as one of the ideals because basically they're essentially given apartments and essentially kind of left to their own devices not completely obviously there's still some oversight but it's much uh much more like being in the real world than it would be in an institutional setting Hmm. yes i think that's probably reasonable the first couple of dozen felonies yeah, but maybe after yeah. you, maybe after you complete your hat trick with like twelve felonies, maybe then we just lock you in a concrete box for the rest of your life, if you're lucky. Uh, Bez, is Casuarina one of the uh, prisons in Australia? I don't know. We've got we're, we're trying to Americanize our prisons. Oh, okay. hold, hold on, Arden. No, don't you mean Australia is the prison in Australia? <laughs> well, now, yeah, but it's no, the prison. Always oh, has been. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying to remember the name of the documentary for Not a Bobcat there, and I can't quite get the name of it. It was on the National Geographic channel, and they did mention Casuarina, which, yeah. if I recall correctly, is an Australian prison. It might be. I'm not familiar with it. Um, case, rem- yeah. I keep in mind that Australia is almost as big as the United States. If you knock Alaska off, Australia is as big as the United States. But our prison system is fucked. It's like the worst thing of every possible system. <laughs> it's called the Constitution in Australia. What Constitution? Exactly. Yeah. Now our, our prison system's fucked because it's all about it's all about special privileges for the prisoners and not about actual <clears throat> punishment or rehabilitation. It's just, oh, you'll get three hots and a cot, pr- library access, internet access, TVs. This, that, and the other. Like, I've pulled it up before where I've looked at the list of rights that prisoners have, and it's more than the fucking actual regular population has. Wow. Arden is correct. Uh, Casarina Prison is in Western Australia, Uh, located in the Perth suburb of Casarina. So there you go. Yes. uh, For reference, that's about as far from me as what what is it what what uh what what's the capital of florida bleach what uh not Fort Lauderdale or Tallahassee 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 Mm. well well, that's not even the one I was hoping it would be uh anyway so for reference (laughs) it's about as I'm probably wildly misestimating here, but it's about as far from me to where that prison is as it probably is from Tallahassee to Washington. Washington State or Washington, D.C.? State, I think. That's the one, like, the top left being weird and California-ish. So, so, you want want to go with Seattle, then? Ah, Seattle. Well, Seattle's got a lot in common with Adelaide. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, it's full of. I can see that. It, it it's full of the gender pervs and streets full of shit and criminals. So. Mm. Yeah, I'm I, I I'm guessing somewhere between well, say Washington D.C. and San Francisco. About the size of it. Remember Although, to well, put a flower in your hair when you're in San Francisco. San Francisco and get can napalmed fuck right off. 
There we go. So, speaking of California and other assorted shitholes, California is playing for reparations to black residents. That's right, we're going to take money from white people who've never owned slaves and give it to black people who've never been slaves and may not have ever come from Africa. <laughs> Wait, seriously? I thought that was a Babylon B article. No. No. Oh my fucking God. Fuck yeah. the Guardian. It, it, it's more like, oh my fucking tax dollars. Yep. Oh. Because I, I, California is going to be like, well, we're running out of budgetary problems. Here, can we have some federal money? Yeah, so blah, 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 blah. St. Floyd, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the task force voted in Mark 2022. Fuck, that's fast. Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry. They mean March, not Mark. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Mark 2022. That's that fast. Pay faster. Uh, so, would that, would that be a approaching the speed of light, I wonder? Yeah. So, the reparation. Oh, the re they're going to limit the reparations to Californians who are descendants of enslaved or free or black people who are in the US by the end of the 19th century. Well, at least it's the 19th century. <laughs> oh, for yeah. fuck's sake. So if you were in free, free, why not just anyone who's ever been enslaved? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's so dumb. I'm, so if, just if it was be black anyone, and you get money. Pretty much, yeah. Because uh, if they'd done anyone who was enslaved, I could claim that money. <laughs> Taxation is slavery? Uh, well, no, actually, I, I had an ancestor who was... She was taken by the Creek Indians as a slave, sold to, you know, sold out of slavery to a man that she eventually married. So it was very, um, kind of weirdly Star Wars-ish, but, yeah. So, cool. they, they reckon, some economists have projected that the state would owe upwards of $800 billion, or more than 2.5 times its annual budget in reparations. I have several questions. It's okay, it's not our money. It's the plebs' money. Well, I, I wonder how much of that 1.2 will be taxable income. <laughs> oh, that would be fucking hilarious, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, I, 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 I see it yeah, because you've got state income tax and federal income tax. So yeah, th th these people getting the reparations are like yeah i'm getting a big payday like, actually you're maybe getting less than half of that yeah also didn't california never have slaves correct it's always been a free state so that, what exactly do they owe money for <laughs> uh, diversity <laughs> a, a, a state that has never allowed slavery is going to take money from people who've never owned slaves to give to people who never were slaves. Yeah, that makes sense yeah. in a cl fucking clan world. Because I think, yeah, it, it, was it the Missouri Compromise? I, I, I want to say it was the Missouri Compromise where California, yeah, because it was part of California being admitted as a free state, was part of the problem with uh, what was going on because there was, you know, California and was it Kansas or Missouri? Because the Missouri Compromise, then that yeah, makes sense. Um, where they were trying to admit one free and one slave state to, together, so there was a balance between you know, representation, essentially. And so that eight hundred billion—that's a cautious estimate, and lawmakers should award more. And it includes two hundred twenty-seven billion dollars for excess drug arrests since nineteen seventy. More Gibbs, guys. More. Oh, two hundred twenty-seven billion for more. excess drug arrests since nineteen seventy. Well, if that's what you give a shit about, how about we find everyone with a weed conviction, remove those, expunge all of those, and then give them money? How about that? Oh, that would actually be just and fair. No, we can't do that. Yeah, that would include white people, so that's not allowed. Oh, no. <laughs> and what if yeah. you transition to black during this period? 
Well, the good news is they can't stop you. Exactly. Because the state of California has set up a taxpayer-funded program to engage people to report if they believe someone has said something mean to them because of their identity. (laughs) Quick, everybody call each other. No, never mind. (laughs) So, Bleach, when you go to California and claim to be a black woman, black female lesbian, if they say you're not, well, just uh, sue sue them for a hate act. So uh, oh, it was God. the compromise from 1850. I I, I want to correct that. Yes. So yeah, that that's all intertwined. Um. And yeah, I I think it's important to to note that there's historical parallels because they're really pushing this. Oh, slavery! It's like, well, California was never a slave state. Oh, ne- never. Oh, I'm gonna make a dark joke here. So. By YouTube. Oh, Marcus oh, says that's, that's a dark joke in and of itself. Marku says that mm-hmm. Cali never allowed slavery, but they always allowed abortion. Well, that's why they didn't have need slavery because they already aborted the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, my. There goes the YouTube channel. <laughs> it's okay with Besic does yeah, the rest of us are supposed to stay under control, but you can do what you want. <laughs> no, no, that's because Besic owns the channel. It's okay when he eats his own channel. That's fair. Uh, at least I didn't come straight out and just say it lo- in a really bad way. <laughs> well, yeah, you you did say it right out, but mm. you did say it. Hey, at least I wasn't calling way. for sp- certain groups to be executed like Trim earlier. I haven't done that ever. Yeah, just now. Okay. <laughs> but if by and likely by we mean the last mean half right hour. Now. Yes, right now, <laughs> in the last two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, speaking of, uh, wait, which is, what state San Francisco in again? Is that ca- still California? So yeah, that is in fact California. Oh, good. Yep. What? In, in a huge win for the San Francisco economy, by just some useless sack of crap is, un- is announcing legislation to limit use of guns by security guards. Congratulations, San Francisco. <laughs> You're all going to fucking die by as a if, coked up lunatic. As if you didn't have a massive problem with shoplifting and looting with the armed guards. So now you're going to take the arms away from the guards. And when the guards go, fuck off, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and then they're going to complain when all the companies start pulling their stores because they can't have guards to protect them. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that. Oh, well. Yeah, human life is more important than property. No, no, it's not, and we're not the ones who made that decision. If you think my property is worth more than your life, I'm not going to disagree with you. Exactly. <laughs> this guy looks an awful lot like Keith Olbermann too. Ah, uh, or, or or as I've started calling, uh, Keith, Keith older ma'am, because mm. of those god awful. <laughs> Just granny glasses that he wears when he's <laughs> screeching at the YouTube videos. Yeah. Welcome, uh, Earl Testiculis. He has arrived. Sup? Bu- uh, yes, we can read, Trim. Yeah. So let's see what the response to this brithering idiot. Oh, hey, here, the AK guy's here. <laughs> Human life is more important than probably you said. Brent Harris says, no, it isn't. Human life that's willing to do harm to other humans to steal property is worth far less than my property. <laughs> yes, and that guy builds a case for a living. Yes. I would suggest that you leave him alone. A G Prime just says, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my uh, one of my fondest dreams is to move to the U.S. so that I can legally own a firearm and then visit Brandon Herrera's factory and go, hey, would you mind building something for me? <laughs> I want him to build the abom- build abomination from Monster Hunter yeah. International for me. Kevin Dalton here says human life is more important than personal property. Quotes. Perhaps criminals should consider that before putting their lives on the line to steal someone's personal property. That's the decision they mm-hmm. made. Yeah. They say how, how many uh, how many muggers have shot people and clearly disagreed with your statement that human life is more important than mm-hmm. property. Well, that's it. They're the ones who made the decision that their life was worth less than my property. I also think that my life is worth less than my property, and I'm going to violently object to that. (laughs) 
You want to uh, know how you get more knife crime? That is how you get more knife crime. Yeah. But um, if there, there is one in there. I don't have about. that kind so, of a problem. Yeah, they, they say human life is more important when they mean we want our armies of drug addicts, homo, homo homeless schizos, <laughs> and child molesters to be able to attack your neighborhood without getting written housed. What you almost said also applies, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's why I, I, I went down that hole. And then I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, this is probably why we need to just transition to Rumble Army and then just cut those bits on the bottom. Oh, you made the worst unintentional joke, or very intentional <laughs> joke, about transitioning to Rumble and cutting bits off. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck, if only that was on purpose. I see our friend Jonathan Wong is in. He says this is an open invitation to armed robbery in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. I swear I'm following him. Why is he down there, Twitty? Fuck's sake. Ah. Uh, do, 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 do. What next? Oh, yeah. <laughs> People are utter dumbasses and completely suck at governing. <laughs> you finally noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Rock Veteran 8888. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyone who puts their stupid personality type bullshit in the, their bio. Should not is the same kind of idiot that believes in horoscopes. Yes, I mean, isn't that what's right beside the personality yes, type? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I, yes. I hate the whole. Oh, look, yeah. my bio. Look at me. I am my identities are bleep bloop blop. Yeah, don't care. Ah, <sighs> have some shells. Yep. So my pronouns are get and bent. So I think for a change, we're actually leaving California, but we're going to go somewhere else that's Democrat and really stupid and has the completely wrong Chicago. solution to crime. No. We're going to Maryland. Oh, oh God. God. What is Maryland? <laughs> oh, Maryland yeah. is a place <laughs> where people are given driver's license based on their kill ratio. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> as far as I'm determined. I love you, Trip. <laughs> Sounds uh, like I gotta go there for you know. I'm not saying uh, I have a great right, trip. Trim, trim, you you would be eaten alive because their their average driving is your road rage on your worst day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so anyway. So the inbred Democrat fuckwits in charge of Baltimore have decided they're going to sue Kia and Hyundai for inadequate security systems amid auto theft surge. So, Can you repeat that, please? I'm not sure I... The inbred Democrat fuckwits that run Baltimore have decided to sue Kia and Hyundai for inadequate security systems amid auto theft surge. Yeah, they're so saying they cars are should suing... literally be unstealable. So they are suing the, car, the companies making the cars because their cars are getting stolen. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. Rather than, you know, I cannot, stop the criminals. I, I cannot find words to describe how utterly uh, mentally disabled that is. They're probably going to come in and say something along the lines of, oh, they're not making the cars hard enough to steal. Yeah, no, literally. That's, that's exactly what well, they that's said. One of the quotes is, these cars should be literally unstealable. Yes. And do you know what no, happened? That possible? <laughs> and and even if it was... Even if the cards were literally unstealable, we've seen what happens when you make cards harder to steal. You get more carjackings. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have found the word for how mentally disabled this is. This is peak Democrat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of peak Democrat, Seattle, St. Louis, Milwaukee, and several other scum fucking shithole cities are suing oh. the companies as well. So the city of Baltimore has added its name to the list of cities to so car manufacturers Kia and Hyundai for not doing enough to prevent its cars from being stolen. It's got keys and it's got fucking chips. What more do you fucking want them to do? <laughs> wow, this is uh, uh, I yeah yeah I I honestly didn't believe this would happen. I mean I've suspected it once, but wow, yeah, right. Uh, I mean, it 
Baltimore is such a special place, especially around the Inner Harbor. Yeah. yeah. So that that I'll, I'll put it this way: I I got in a fight with a New Yorker on I think it was uh, Sargon's uh, you know page back in the day, and me being naturally antagonistic towards New Yorkers like oh, you don't know what cities. It's like, dude, and I just lied out my ass. It's like. I'm from Inner Harbor, Baltimore. You want to come down and fuck with me? <laughs> yeah, that shut him up really fast. Ooh. So they're, they're whining that Kia and Hyundai don't equip their vehicles with industry standard vehicle immobilization technology. Without these features, vehicles can be started without a key. A fluid that has been the subject of numerous TikTok videos demonstrate the ease with which these cars can be on. Oh yes, it's not the shitbag scum sacking youth. That use TikTok. It's the fucking car company's fault. I mean, you can't sue the Chinese <laughs> government. You know, but you can sue the American company that holds TikTok. <laughs> oh my god. This oh, is but so they don't want to screw up international relations. They, they want their Chinese overlords happy. Yes. Uh, the, the press release ding, states ding, that ding, auto ding. thefts in Baltimore are up 95%. Kia and Hyundai is representing 41% of all stolen vehicles. I mean, is that all? Yes, apparently. Right, so 41%. Sorry, the low-range bargain cars are getting stolen more. <laughs> Anybody remember the Dodge Neon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. It, or oh or the, uh, the, the Dodge Aries K car. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember those. Well, I, I, I've got a solution for Hyundai and Kia, though, to stop people in Baltimore stealing cars. Stop making autos. Yeah. Or, no, stop selling just them in Baltimore. Selling them in, selling them in Maryland, yeah. Mm. No, and no. Measure points out, and, and this is what I picked up on, too. So they're big mad that cars don't come with factory immobilizers the state can use to shut off our cars. Oh, yeah, that well, makes well, everything better. Well, uh, Biden, the butt puppet, but, has already put that into law that cars after whatever year must have that. Mm hmm Yep. Yep. That, that's, uh, um, that, that's terrifying when you think about it. That's, that's just, it's all about control of your mobility. Yep. Uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. So the idiots are whining that this has left people. residents vulnerable to crime and significantly burning out police resources. Well, maybe if you'd stop playing catch and release with the shitbag teenagers that keep stealing the fucking cars, the problem would have solved after you executed the first couple. Mm -hmm. yep. here's, here's the thought. Try bait cars. Oh, wait, I bet you don't do that because that's intentional. Entrapment. Yeah, well, pretty much. That does seem to be their argument of being spike cars. Like... Yep. Bait cars are not entrapment. Of all the things that are entrapment, bait cars aren't. <laughs> nope. It's not like the cops are sticking a sign that says free car on the side of the fucking thing. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Minneapolis, shithole. Cleveland, shithole. St. Louis, big shithole. Fuck New York. Yeah, New York, <laughs> Seattle, Seattle Atlanta, Grand actual Rapids shithole. of all places. And Denver. Yeah. I'm, what? Hold on. When, what when what the fuck is, is this writing? Atla Seattle, New York, Seattle, Atlanta, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. What? Uh, I, I'm that, that that comma. Well, it, it, it that's actually semi correct. Yeah. Just because for I, some reason it's considered correct to put a comma between the city and state. Yeah. Sure, but if you're going to list city, city, true, city, but... city, 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 city. City, state. It's not exactly good reading experience. Well, no, well, it's it's like, oh, it's Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's like, or maybe they're saying Grand Rapids and the entire state of Michigan un under Wichmer. Who knows? But, I mean, it could be the entire state of Michigan. Like, I get why they're doing it. There's multiple Grand Rapids, but <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't like that comma. There needs to be more. There no, needs to be more. Se there needs to be more semicolons. If you're going to do a comma there, you need semicolons over here. Yeah. Yeah. Or they simply could have put Michigan in. Oh, or, or they could have used used the good old Oxford comma. That would have helped. Hmm. But 
But that would require being competent when writing articles. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. Notice how I'm not saying a single thing when you're talking That's about fine. writing. Yeah, because you're illiterate in three languages. <laughs> Only two, Bessic? <laughs> Only two? He's illiterate in all of them. Yeah, there we go. I can he's, bear he's those. A, even the ones that don't have alphabets. <laughs> yeah. He's a true polyglot. <laughs> what? If he knew what that meant, meant he'd be very insulted. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not even. I'm not gonna Google it. I'll probably write it wrong. <laughs> probably. I'll probably just get on Polygon's site, and I'd hate to give him the click. Oof. Holy shit! Uh, Callum points out there's three ends in that sentence. There and, is. And, and. Oh my good <laughs> god! Huh. I'm, and, and the and the two thrown in there. It's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, uh, uh, um, many, why are Minneapolis, Cleveland, and St. Louis in one group, and New York, Atlanta, and Grand Rapids, Michigan? And all of Michigan. <laughs> uh, and yeah. another. Police have report. Why, why is that a comma there? The police have reported substantial year-over-year -year increases in Hyundai and Kia theft reports through April. And an Because <laughs> people are writing the way they speak. Yes. So if yeah. they pause when they're speaking... They put a comma in. Yeah, so it all it's telling me that Fox Business and Mr. Andrew Miller here is not very good at the old English. Or even the new English. <sighs> I was like, is Bezik growing as a writing? As a writer? No, Bezik is growing as someone who has to read shit writing and gets really confused when it's written poorly. <laughs> I know, I know, I read properly, which means that bad writing is read improperly. It's like, uh, reading, 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 brain stops, record scratch, what the fuck is going on in that sentence? <laughs> Why are you reloading fucking page? No, fuck off. Don't autoplay your bullshit. Not interested. <laughs> Please tell me oh, shut office. up, you dumb whore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord above. Anyway. Yeah. For a second, I, I, I thought like, Disco uh, the, the chimed in and you just told her to shut up. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I grew up when people could reach under the dashboard, pull wires, hot wire in seconds. We never blamed the car maker, but the car thieves went to jail. How times have changed. Yeah. 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 So. NBC is a whining and the comments are fucking hilarious. Oh god, I love that second comment. I'm going to sue Kohler because my wife uses too much water taking bubble baths versus my preferred shower. Kohler should have added a fingerprint pad that would only allow her to take two baths a week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, it gets better, though. Companies like Kohler, Kia, and Hyundai are negligent for not controlling my wife and the car thieves. Uh, the, here's, oh, my stuff, wife and the car thieves are, are not to blame because they just can't control them. Here's another person that was clearly educated yeah. educated in an American school. What the fuck is thief apostrophe S? Thieves. Yeah. There's yeah, some... That's not how you pluralize. Uh, unless it's that's also thieves. not how you spell thieves. And th yeah. the, the car it, it thieves the what? Is the car thief, uh, is your wife the car thieves? Yes, I think so. I mean, he can't control his wife in her bath. She probably uh, can't be controlled in other aspects. But the, too. Yes, the plural of thief is thieves. It's almost as if it's an old English word that's. Because you know, that's English for you. A thousand years of someone else coming in and going, changing it now. <laughs> Only a liberal would blame car makers for the car thefts. Speaking of liberals whining. This one's fucking hilarious. Mm. NBC News. New conservatives took over a Colorado school board and then adopted a right-wing group social studies program. Did not reapply for grants to pay counselors. 40% of the high school's professional staff won't return next year. Notice that they said professional staff, not teachers. Uh-huh. In, in the bullet point directly after the word counselor, I also want to point out how they use the phrase 
took over as opposed to ran for and won election two. Mm -hmm. I ran <laughs> yeah, on a platform like of not molesting children. Yeah. No, no, don't say that, Spice. <laughs> and, and Earl in the chat is attempting to really get your goat. He's saying words like thieves, smurfs. Well, smurfs is actually correct. Yeah. Knives and wives. <laughs> Oh, and that pissed Disco off, and she left. <laughs> oh. She's coming for you, Earl. She is coming for you. That's right. Oh, uh, Lord, she coming. Earl, sa <laughs> Earl says, the fuck is all this? Why do you want to see the word cunt in two senses? Exactly. Why are they using all these apostrophes <laughs> and commas when they could be using the word cunt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they could have been using that for the, the, the names of cities, too. <laughs> uh, don't be sorry, Callum. Thank you for pointing that out. The bad writing there. I didn't notice the three ands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, here's one for you, chat. What's the plural of disco? Or what's the plural of George? <laughs> There, there is no plural of George. There is only George. <laughs> yes. So I, we, we, there's only one great George com uh, united in their Georgeness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Disky. Earl wants to know what color does a Smurf turn when it's choked. <laughs> Let's <laughs> find out. The plural of disco is discos. Well, but by type says the plural not, not of disco is munchkins. I prefer this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Discography. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. oh god. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's CSG. Shit, you must be up at a weird hour, dude. How are you doing? He says it's a rare night. He's still kind of sober. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it mu it must be one of those poor weeks. Yeah, we all have those. <laughs> Mm. Some of us have 52 of them. Anyway. Yep. You like the comments on the last article, Bleach. Well, you're going to like the Twitter responses. Oh, yeah. Some of these oh, are glorious. So, scrolling past uh, NBC whining. <laughs> oh, boy. That uh, sounds like a real education might be happening again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second one down here on the screen is good. When you say right wing social studies, you mean kids have to read the Constitution instead of gender queer? <laughs> <laughs> Some idiots. Sl look, look at this, Rita. The state of two right wing ideologies of social studies, and the comment section says good about time. Yes, you fucking idiot, because the right wing is not child molestation. I, I like uh, I like Don Volts. Uh, okay, got it. Now, what's the bad news? <laughs> I, I'm willing to bet that if you hover over their uh, nickname, you'll find pronouns and probably some sort of dietary restriction. Oh, here we go. Trans flag, pedo flag. Sorry, gay flag, pedo flag. Crown dolphin. Right, so there, are... Wait, so, there oh, we go. Oh, oh. It was, it was like, I'm a history nerd. No, you're not. If you have as much understanding of history as Trim does of the clicking tongue. They have oh, as much table. understanding of history as Trim does. <laughs> That's unfair. <laughs> you're right. Trim can at least learn. <laughs> yeah. Trim is teachable, yes. Yes. And, uh, he, he can be uh, housebroken. According to Caffeinated Century Gnome, also we had to refer to Disco's child as Disquette. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. The American Revolution happened because of taxes, didn't it? No, it, it's because Queen Charlotte was partially black, so thus racism. <laughs> oh! At least according to Netflix. There we go. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh. Hey, guys, did you know that one of the greatest Viking girls in history in, the Scan in Scandinavia was a black stonk woman? Of course. Yeah. Why, why would you ever she suspect just was born. anything else? You yeah, she was it. born out of nowhere. She came from one of the Sami tribes, too. No, no, all the Vikings were black. 
Yeah, but then the evil Sami were white for a period. But then after the Sami conquered, they became suddenly became white. Don't you mean split. white? No, no, I said white, but they became no, no, no. white afterwards. Yes, yeah, oh. white comes after the 16th century because the racism wasn't invented until the 16th century, according to the actors of Cleopatra. <laughs> Uh, burn it all to the ground. And stuck with New York. No, no. I, New, New York is where we send all of our refuse. That explains the smell. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I've, I've always heard New York described as smelling like piss, vomit, and anger. Wow, there's so much anger you can actually smell it. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, JD of the Woolly, greetings. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Bezek, this oh. one for you. What, what is this podcast about? <laughs> uh, we are like the Seinfeld this... of podcasts. We're really about nothing. Yes. <laughs> So I, I I like this one. Um, so you you get this back and forth. If uh, let's see, yeah, this is extremely dangerous to our Marxist revolution through educational indoctrination. Democracy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is this podcast about? Well, it's this weekend's stupid writ large. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. There you go. <laughs> it's this weekend's stupid, but for eight hours. <laughs> It's this culturally stupid. inappropriate slant. There yeah. we go. The, this week in stupid meets eight out of ten cats does count down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically asking us what this podcast is about is we don't know. We have no idea. But we're having fun doing it. You're, yeah. you're welcome to, to have fun with us as we just completely cringe out on the world. Welcome to the podcast, though. Yes, I'm sure you like the ASMR. Oh god! <laughs> if you if you and don't, so this is... an Australian, an American, or Norwegian, a Canadian, Newfoundland, a, a, and a, a geographically misplaced of... Australian. Yes. 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 I'm sorry. The Eldritch Abomination, and and sometimes a Scottish chick. All meet up in a bar, which is this place, and we just start rambling. No, no, no. We 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 see a newspaper and we violently react. Yes, to to the point where we might need some sort of uh, intervention medically. <laughs> well, yeah. well, if if uh, Disco and Monkey was still doing white pills, that would be the intervention. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, uh, that, I don't I think there's know. enough white yeah. pills in the world. True. The problem with white pills, though, is it was only six hours after Sultan started, and that just wasn't enough time for the black pills. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we were getting some black pill uh, build up it, it's basically Residue. the first thir three hours is lubrication and then the remaining three is the actual act of the suppositories <laughs> going up so. yes and I, think, I think at this point they're depositories <laughs> speaking of New York so and Seattle they can't be kept in <laughs> Oh dear! And uh, no, 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 JD. Uh, we're we're not London based. Uh, we're we're basically spread all over. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And and, yeah, and, so... and in fact, that's kind of a point of pride. If all we need is someone who was actually in Africa to cover just about every populated continent. <laughs> yeah. So I am the only one who actually lives in Britain, as you can probably tell from my accent. Uh, I live near Bath, uh, but I'm technically an Australian. I just escaped. <laughs> and uh, I've been living large in the UK. We, since, we keep trying and, to catch uh, him, but yeah, he's a slippery bastard. Yeah, <laughs> Australian Border Patrol suddenly shows up and crows the door. <laughs> like, what the bloody hell are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a license for that residency, mate? <laughs> oh, Prime Night got a pretty good uh, summary. It, it's Fishing, moaning, and seething about how the world is swirling down the abyss. Yeah. That's not a bad one. Oh, you're from yes, Somerset it's... and Africa. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I actually live in Somerset myself, so yeah. Although you spelled it very, very interestingly. <laughs> <laughs> he, he spelled it like a, a, a version of, of what we have in the states of Kentucky. Yeah, it's usually spelled like this. Somerset. Somerset. 
Somerset. I don't know why it's spelled that way, but it is. Uh, it's it's because that, it's wrong. It probably has something to do with the same language for 2,000 years. Yeah, yeah. It's typical Britain, really. Mm. God damn it, it's so warm, it's 22 fucking degrees! <laughs> Violence, you missed an hour. What were you doing? <laughs> were you asleep? Were you she was enjoying you? life. <laughs> 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 she made the healthy choice of hitting pause and walking away for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. C- yeah. CSG over at Rumble's like, it's 12.57am, the pub shut, so I came home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's the lie. <laughs> oh dear, so let's finish off a couple of these comments and we'll go look at something that's just straight up hilarious. <laughs> so... Dave from Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he is he does fling. <laughs> uh, like so, Tim Ackerson or Atchison or how the fuck would that be pronounced? Because I Americans do it weird. That'd be Ackerson. No, no, no. For for a Yank, that would be Atchison. Yeah. Ackerson. Mm. Achung. <laughs> it's just Ackerson. Tim Ackerson. Yeah. So he says, "I know academic education serve indoctrination about the sexual kinks of adults." And the leader is patriotic and doesn't hate America? What? How can uh, this be? Excuse me? Th- this is not part of the modern system. No. Oh, the little Marxist gender band of teachers are upset, poor things. <laughs> oh, I would oh, like Earl. more of that, please. <laughs> yeah, well... Earl, sm- our, our language, the British language, English, is so mongrel it's as mongrel as our genetics it's quite amusing really well well that's it i mean you've got actual oh, nor- pure blood mongrel damn it no no the the truth <laughs> of the matter is that german. english is french the german last actual norse Latin, greek english english is the last vestige of british imperialism and it's the one that worked the best yes the, the the main reason the english language is so strong across the world is because it adopted so many different roots in different times and evolved with mm. time that's what keeps language alive it has to constantly evolve i, I wish well, it does have strong german <laughs> well, this is one of the problems the french have with their constant purity thing with their french language it, it prevents their language evolving and growing with the people that use it mm. Yeah, yeah, and, but, and oh, like, yeah, at the same yeah. time, and uh, like I kind of get where it... they're coming from. Like some words need to die, like d- yeah, <laughs> to well, some degree. That. But at the same time, you then end up with the problem that the Welsh had, where the language dies out because yeah, it's just true. not useful to use. Yeah, you you also run into the issue. I so, sorry, what in Canada? A language that sounds like you've got your head under water and a cat up your ass <laughs> isn't useful. <laughs> Wait, we're speaking about Bergen now? <laughs> no, we're no. speaking about, we're speaking well, about as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're... Taking Bergen. swings at Morgan when she's not even here. <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, she's, she's got a having nice fun. fancy day, so she can take yeah, it. Yeah, but she's Dutch. She can have a hand anytime she wants one. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's the Belgians. That's the Belgians, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, one, one of the issues... That. <laughs> yeah, Crow, Crow brought oh, up no. French. Like, Crow brought up French, and one of the things I found living in Canada... If I get any sort of official government documentation, there's always the French listed first, and it can be a page of text that'll fill half my screen, and then the English is like two sentences. <laughs> Violence is because... like saying "good God" in French. <laughs> bon dieu. Yeah. Bon dieu. Dice vault. Oh, I thought it was mon dieu. No, it's not. That means my mon god. Mon dieu is my god. Oh. Yeah. Bon dieu yeah. means good god. Oh. Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many French on the boat this gonna be. during the summer. I, it's insane. Look, I the, the last something. thing that needs to be said about French is make Normandy British again. They say le bon temps roulé. So I, I figured out anniversaire. the Belgians have the, have figured out the answer remember, to what does the sound <laughs> of one hand clap and sound like. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, Lord. The sound of one hand clapping is one hell of a backhand. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the Belgians have figured out what that sounds mm. like. In Congo. Oh, God, I missed what you were getting at. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's so wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Earl says make France German again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's how we ended up with the bloody Netherlands in the first place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's not do that. 
We don't need more places. Uh, to, to address what Not a Bobcat said, if you ask everyone in the world who speaks English who's the first language how to pronounce slash spell things, the overwhelming majority will choose the American version. Yeah, because, uh, uh, well, that's not American, that's Hollywood. <laughs> and Hollywood's got nothing to do with yeah. America. And also, it, that's yeah, still right. wrong. I need to have the, the TV English beaten out of them. Because you'll find that people on TV really? never sound like the general populace. Even from the capital my, city. My father still gets very annoyed at me whenever I pick up on any sort of Americanized word and, and use that instead of the English pronunciation. Because there's a lot of words that I don't actually hear English people use because a lot of English people don't have a very good lexicon. So they don't use more complicated words. And then I'll hear one of my friends who happens to be more educated, who happens to be an American, say it in a certain way. So I pick up on that instead. And it's, like, it's very frustrating because I'm like, how am I supposed to learn the words if I don't hear people speak them? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like a yeah. them. Yeah. But there's absolutely no reason that kids for the last three years are having language difficulties, but we'll ignore that. To later. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come back absolutely, to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I always find it very amusing because American English is basically very unmodified in a lot of its cadence from the 1600s. In it, in a word, tea drinker. Sorry, I did that in a right Bristolian accent. Uh, we, I live near Bristol City, so when we go Bristol and like go around with the tractor and drive up there, it was like quite good, you know. We'd go over there and bring all my farm pals. We go out and clubbing. It's way good. Have, have you been injected with some sort of tranquilizer in the last five seconds? <laughs> no, that's actually that's pretty much I, I... the local accent. Uh, everyone talks oh, okay. a bit like that. They're like, oh, this is basically what Somerset sounds like. We talk like that. So, like, oh, hey, my lover, what you doing? I'll be on. They, they all sound like they're from the Fable games? That's awesome. Pretty much, yeah. No, that's actually... I, I sound quite received pronunciation uh, compared to a lot of people in the local area. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, let's move on to a different Michael Jackson imp- parody, shall we? <laughs> that sounded London. What? So, we're moving on. <laughs> Hee hee! Yes. Jamona! <laughs> Sounds like a new land accent. Try again. I have to it, yeah. Oh, not this woman. Oh, God, she drives me nuts. Well, Hello, ignore hey. her. She's Welcome irrelevant. The important part is that someone's done a Michael Jackson parody. E. Jean was not Trump's lover. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she's just a one. Uh, <laughs> you are my she's lover. just called a son at my I have. Yeah. Uh, I can't, sadly, I can't play that. <laughs> but yes, that that's fucking brilliant. Uh, yeah, Dom at Dom Lu- underscore Luker at D O M underscore L U C R E. If you want to go find him and see that video. Yeah, he's uh, a pretty good memer anyway. Oh. Apparently. And, and to, be, to be fair, uh, Newfoundlanders do tend to use my dear, my lover, and things like that at the end of sentences and stuff a fair bit. So, so how often do you say that to Stormy? In all fairness, uh, you probably got it from when we colonized Canada in well, the first yeah. place. It's a very British slang. Yeah, There's well, a lot of British slang in Australian language as well. Yeah, Newfoundland started off as a penal oh, colony uh, in the 1600s. So. He, uh, half of Australian language is based off of actually Cockney. Yeah, exactly. Because well, funnily well, enough, most of them are prisoners. Yeah, my, most of the prisoners coming over spoke Cockney. So all of the Australian mm-hmm. rhyming slang is based off of Cockney slang, rhyming slang. It, some of it's just gone in a different way. Like, uh, what's a good one? Trouble and strife. A wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can say that, Earl, but it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking about the Essex accent now. <laughs> yeah. Or the Toei yeah, accent, yeah. anyway. Yeah. The only way is Essex accent. Oh, I'll tell you what. God. One of the best yeah, accents in the bedroom. One of the best actions in the bedroom as a Brit is definitely RP. Ooh, yes. Brilliant. Wonderful. Ooh, crikey. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing? I finished. <laughs> I have reached climax, my dear. Uh, what do I've right. to? 
I, I've, I've <laughs> achieved culmination, my yeah. dear. No, but actually, in, in gen on women, it can be quite nice. But it's quite pleasant to listen to. Um, but it, it depends. The, the thickest of accents are usually awful. But what's really weird about Britain is that you literally don't have to travel far and the accent completely changes. Yep. Uh, like an hour drive yeah. down the road. The CSG over well, on Rumble is telling us some more, <laughs> such as <laughs> Dead Horse. Why do you think some some dead horse is, Trim? Uh, sorry, I've been a bit distracted by these guys, but uh, what? what's a dead horse? Crow, do you remember? God, no, it's been ages since I've done Cockney slang. Oh. Dead horse. Dead horse. Divorce? Oh. No, it's sauce. As in tomato sauce, specifically. Oh. I, you, you need some dead horse. That one I wouldn't have got now. I, mean, I, I remember what septic tank is in Cockney. <laughs> dead horse? Oh my god, base no! Oh yeah. my god. Bone for telephone. Jack, yeah. Jack yeah. the Ripper is here, guys. See, I didn't grow up so much with the, the Cockney stuff. I grew up with weird sort of yeah. things like put wooden hole, which meant shut the door. <laughs> or kept the Jesus on. Christ, based. <laughs> the puddle land? Oh, that's back and tackwards. Do that too. Yeah, my my granddad did that all the time, so I picked up on that quite a lot. Right, so let's have a look at uh, just a little bit of what Trump's been up to. So yeah. the idiots yeah, at C yeah. the driving them nuts. the the idiots at CNN got Trump on to do a town hall, and Trump absolutely roasted the stupid bitch. And she deserved it so rich. Oh, yeah, every bit of it. Yeah, I'm not going to go look at all of it because like, the Lotus Ears have covered it and it's been all over the internet because it's fucking brilliant. Yeah, I watched the uh, the Crowder stream. Of it. it was glorious. Yeah. Now, I'm, I, put, I put that stream on my watch later, so I don't know what's going on here. I just know that everybody's fucking reading it. Yes. Um, the, the left ha has turned so hard against CNN... You you think they'd be out there with actual pitchforks? Yep. Seriously? Well, CNN. Yeah. If they could, if they could lift the pitchforks, there probably would be bleach. <laughs> yeah. Well, if they, they even knew where to find a pitch, Yeah. They even knew where to find a pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh. Pitchfork. Do I find J that in the cutlery drawer? JD of the Woolly Ass. Oh, do God. you know the lyrics to My Old Man, The Dustbin Man? I used to. I used to. That was one that I heard a lot as a kid, but. I haven't heard that in decades, probably. Oh. Let me guess probably that you've memorized the lyrics for Waltzing Matilda. probably shouldn't sing it on YouTube. <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't. Uh... You haven't memorized the lyrics for Waltzing Matilda? No. <laughs> Sorry. What kind of Australian are you? <laughs> <laughs> One with obtangy bobbies. <laughs> One that wishes he was American. <laughs> Amazing yeah. grace, how sweet! <laughs> yeah, I hear it. I Guys, we need we need uh, the funding of the Sultans of Shadowlight to complete our prime objective to uh, establish a compound in the estates. <laughs> that is yeah. the secondary objective. Primarily, we need to get you over to America so you can start the project by transitioning Besic from a oppressed Australian to a free Texan. Yes. Imagine and Australexian text, sort of, you know, Austria. I don't even know how you, you know, like Tex Austro Texan? Australian with Texan. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how you would even put that together as a word. Texas Australian. I'm not even going to try, dude. I'm Australian, try. yes. Well, perfect. Yeah. It's Australian, yeah. Well, as, uh, as far as Australia <laughs> and cultural food guys, it's what, the Pavlova, and that's about it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, Nearly all of Australia's cultural food is basically the British stuff we brought over with us. Uh, to be fair, you have the Anzac biscuit. That's a bit unique. Oh, true. There is that true. one. Wait, I you was... can bring what some witchy the... grubs across. What about the <laughs> no. snakes and bugs eaten by the uh, Aborigines? You know, the true... People who, yeah, never in... grubs. People who never invented the mud hut don't get a say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, uh, yeah, the Anzac Biscuit's a big one, though I was thinking more mealy kind of things, but yeah, Anzac Biscuit's probably one of the most culturally relevant piece items of food. Which, the recipe, the recipe of which is actually enshrined in law. If you want to call something an Anzac 
It's either cookie or biscuit, or possibly both. You must meet a very exact recipe, otherwise our version of the FDA will come and kick your ass. I loved making Anzac biscuits as a kid. It was one of my favorite mm. pastimes. Oh, it's great. And they're they're actually a really fun biscuit to make because of all the rolled Not only that, but they taste fucking awesome. Mm. They're really oh. fun. Like, oh, just great. Enlighten me. It, it's Enlighten oats me. held together with, sh with sugar, sugar, and sugar. Mm. Oh. So diabetes. Oh, we used to it's... use golden syrup in ours yes. for some reason. Yeah, it's not supposed to be golden syrup. It's, is it golden syrup or something else? I can never remember. It, I think that, it's just because we couldn't get it in England. Yeah, the, the, it's some kind of syrup. It's either golden syrup or something else. Actually, I can. I'm on the internet. Why am I confused? Yeah, because you <laughs> want to be. I don't know. Wouldn't be molasses, would it? No. Oh, it's desiccated coconut, caster sugar. That's uh, uh, golden syrup. It says on okay, BBC it is food, oh, okay. but then it's BBC. So yeah, I think well, it I'm is. I'm very absolutely... offended by this recipe. Unbleached all-purpose flour. Damn them! <laughs> <laughs> we got a triggered bleach. Run! Yeah, he's bringing out the Mauser. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find the actual oh recipe. The, the Mauser four bore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imagine the size of the toggle on that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, hey, no. Kentucky Ballistic shot a four bore rifle a month ago, I think. See, but you're, yeah, you're, he's you're done thinking, a couple of videos. You're thinking Luger with the toggle. Mausers don't yeah. have the toggle, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, sorry. I keep getting those confused. I'm just going to smile and nod. <laughs> nah, that's a good choice. <laughs> I want my medicinal M1 Abrams. It's for mental health. I want my emotional support, Davy Crockett. I would just no, like an M1 no, no, Garand I'm... for the, the dopamine hit of the M1's ping. Oh, the yeah. ping, yeah. I, I could just send you an on-block clip, Crow. No, I and want... you just throw it around and, you know. I want the mechanism as well so it fires it out, you know? You can't just let it, like, throw on the floor or something and chuck it around. Oh, you have to gosh. have it ping. And preferably a dead German on the other side. I wonder if I could get that under a UK firearms license. What, the M1? Dying, then. Mm. I would say... Okay, here we go. Not, but here I... is the official Anzac biscuit. It is not a cookie. You cannot call it a cookie or the government will actually come kick your ass. Yeah, <laughs> cookies are literally a, an American thing where they call biscuits cookies, but cookies are a very specific and, kind of biscuit. And, 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 and the states are biscuit something weird that's got nothing to do with baking whatsoever. Yeah. A biscuit is actually oh, no, no, a it, it's scone. completely baked. <laughs> a, a biscuit in America is a scone in the UK, basically. Mm. Well, I, no, okay. it's it's not really. It pretty much is scone, the same recipe. Scone, no, no, they're not. No, actually, they're not because not it, a biscuit in in the United States has no sugar to it. Ew. Okay, that's bullshit. Uh, Nothing is in America has no sugar in it. That is a bold-faced lie. Uh, you come from the diabetes. I don't remember country. whether scones even have yeah. sugar in them. Oh, CSG sure also, also reminds us lamingtons. I mean, uh, lamingtons are another um, Australian American confection. Scones typically have a, a little bit of sugar in them. Not much, we, but a little bit. Three it's tablespoons of caster sugar for 350 grams of self-raising flour. So it's it, it's a scone. Yeah. Anyway. Move, You're move. just wrong. Sorry, Bleach. <laughs> Talking Ooh, about Anzac not biscuits. Not my family recipe. The, the ingredient... You've probably got a nicer recipe, let's be honest. Yeah. So anyway, Anzac biscuits. <laughs> two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of golden syrup, a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, a cup of rolled oats, a cup of desiccated coconut, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and three quarters of a cup of plain flour. So when I said it was sugar, sugar, and sugar, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> yeah, no. That they are so goddamn fucking good. Fucking delicious. Oh, imagine what? taking dark chocolate, melting that, and putting two. Of no, those, uh... no, that's a you that, don't that's need it. actually you don't need it. They... that's actually a crime. It's Stop a, yeah, making I'm... Anzac Milano's trim. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the Anzac biscuits themselves are good enough on their own that they don't need anything extra. It's also like, illegal. So... It's perfect. I'm yeah. gonna what? make this shit, and I'm gonna fucking do just that. You better make a video of it. I want to see you doing a video of it. Send him this recipe. I want I want this. This must happen. Okay. And no, he, he needs to make Anzac biscuits, though. Not whatever the fuck abomination he's thinking of. Oh, I'm going to make <laughs> Anzac biscuits, and then I'm going to take two of them together, melt chocolate, and... It's gonna That's going to make it taste like trim. 
I know. I have I have a question. Golden syrup Why are they brown called Anzac biscuits. Because it came from the Anzacs when they were overseas. Yeah, <laughs> well, they were made to. They were made to. They they were made to send to the Anzacs. I don't know if they were included in the. Oh, okay. I, Isn't it called scones? Well, fuck sake. Called scones, isn't well, you so let me I, finish I a sentence. No, <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Sorry. This debate. <laughs> Sc sorry. Scone or scone? When I say scone, I think of one. So I think of one single scone. Yes, you can have a scone and scone, scones. I'm talking about <laughs> many of them as a plural. Scones. I just call them scone as yes, a plural. Yes, because so scone sounds stupid. The real stupid. thing is. Scones just sounds so, stupid. I, I just found my family recipe and. We put buttermilk in it, which is slightly sweeter, so we avoid sugar. Ah, so you do basically do exactly the same thing, because it's it's technically still got sugar in it, buttermilk. It's just lactose, not instead uh, instead of it, it, It's not milk. granulated king. I'm still yeah, trying to answer all. Arden's bloody question here, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. No! <laughs> Fucking children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're not my real dad. Uh... He's the best we got! <laughs> So, I don't know, where, where did we get to with explaining to you why it's called an Anzac biscuit? Because people at home were making them to send overseas. Yes, I, to the Anzacs. I was okay, good after that point. Okay, so you actually heard that over Trim and that cry whining about yes. scones. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Australian accent does have a way of being penetrating. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like being in the penetrated buildings. by the tongue, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Silence, you dirty heathens. <laughs> Oh. oh dear! Right, so incredibly creepy, Anderson Cooper. Yes. So after, after <laughs> the town hall, they had what did they call it? A post game. Chills. And, and oh, no, okay. because CNN got absolutely f their asses handed to them again. Oh really? I didn't see this. Oh yeah. This this is good. This. He won't stop talking about 2020. <laughs> well, why do, do you well, keep asking? You asked him about 2020. We didn't fuck up. They fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> God, CNN are fucking I love the idiots. fact that they can't control this, though, because it's just an audience they brought in and they haven't double-checked it, and it just it makes them look incompetent as all hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, anyway, I'm afraid I have to get going because I have to go for dinner. Okay, bye-bye, Craig. And you have to go <laughs> be wrong about biscuits. <laughs> I I will have to come over and we will make biscuits together and you'll see how much more superior my biscuit technique is than yours. <laughs> you know what? When we have our eventual meetup, we'll have a fucking bake-off. Yeah, fuck, that would be amazing. <laughs> and for off. those of people who don't, like, I, I hope I've explained why I use scone and scone interchangeably. I know that's a huge point of contention in the UK that causes a lot of family rifts and people murder each other over it, so. <laughs> I didn't know scone was the thing. I've just heard scones. Yeah, there's gone and scone, and there's a huge debate about which is which. And I always use one as a plural and one as a singular. But Let's call that's them not common. Plural. No, but fuck to, you. To be, <laughs> to be fair, about 150 years ago, two men did come to fatal blows over uh, how Newfoundland was pronounced. That's right. It's New Finland. Yes. No. Yes. No. All right. It's anyway, guys, thanks for having me. Happy no, I was going. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye. Bye. And they're biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> you they're always have the like last this. word, don't you, American? <laughs> well, of course. Uh... He's got oil. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> well, while you're at right, right, while, while, olive oil. While, while you're while you're in England conquering them for their olive oil, can you take just a quick swing by Scotland and do something about Hamza Yusuf? Who's defending his juryless rape trial scheme? As the boycott grows. What the absolute Rape trial scheme. Do I do I want to know the context here? Yes. yes. Hamza Yusuf is defending pedophiles. What? Well, yes, but that's not what this article's about. 
Hamza Yusuf is also oh. defending pedophiles, but th that's not this article. <laughs> I mean, I I honestly, how can this thing be considered anything other than basically a, a, a quizzling? It can't, because apparently they hate England so much that they want to get rid of everything, including common law traditions such as juries that have been around for six to eight hundred years. You know, this guy only uh, needs to do one thing, and he's quizzling, and that is to try to take over the world, but with a uh, take over his country through a fucking radio. Yeah, it's not just even a quizzling; it's uh, a quizzling. Yeah, at, at Trim, he already did that. He's been on TV multiple times, and he's taken over his country. Okay, so he is quizzling. Wonderful. Shoot him. Yes. So Trim wasn't here in, last. In mineshaft. In mine in the mine shaft, yes. <laughs> mine shaft. <laughs> mine shaft. Anyway, to explain this to Trim, <laughs> firstly, Sorry. Hamza Yusuf does defend pedophiles, but that's got nothing to do with this particular one. Hamza Yusuf and his collection of psychopath, actual fascists have decided that they want to get rid of whites. Yes, they've decided that they want to get rid of juries when they're trying men for rape. Why? Because they're not Why? convicting, and because they're not getting enough rape convictions. <laughs> I wish you could see Trim Size right now. <laughs> um, I suspect it's very, 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 very colorful. Yeah, yeah. it's monochromatic, probably. Red. Yes. Yeah, oh, I was right. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I just. Uh, whatever. Yeah, that, those he are dead so eyes, beaten. like a doll's eyes. <laughs> he looks so beaten. Oh, it, it, so it, it, it's like he's already <laughs> so dead. <laughs> oh, God. This is he's so... already dead. Stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, Med Medger makes a good point. Yeah, who needs a jury at a rape trial? Not Hamza yeah. Yusuf. Oh my god! Speaking Don't of let which, him be the first one to be tried with this yeah, shit. Yeah, speaking of which, Hamza Yusuf raped me. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. He got me too. <laughs> um, he he raped us all. Yes. Yeah. He, he raped us when he stood on stage and was racist. Hang on. He to be like fair, white... I was going to say. To be fair, we can legitimately accuse Hamza Yusuf of inciting racial violence against white people. Yes. Because of how he talks about them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I mean, the guy makes a fucking Californian, uh, Californian college student seem like he tolerates white people. Well, at least no, they're, no, they're he, not. He, at least California a... hasn't gotten rid of juries yet. Yeah, he he makes a Californian college student look like a white supremacist. Yes. Oof. He makes him look like a Larry Elder. Yes. I I I. I... Sorry, I I want to say things, but I don't even know if Rumble can fucking handle the shit I want to yes. say. <laughs> Sorry. Dear God, this is the most stupid thing! Yeah. So, huge sack of shit has defended plans to pilot juryless rape trials after lawyers and Aberdeen joined a boycott. They've accused the Scottish government of a deeply troubling attack on the judicial system. Yeah, no shit! Lawyers in Glasgow and Edinburgh have already said they'll refuse to take part in the pilot, which was proposed as part of a new justice reform bill. Yeah, right. The government has said there is overwhelming evidence juries are affected by preconceptions about rape. Yes, so we'll get rid of the jury and replace them with a judge that will do exactly what we tell them. Wouldn't you, you mean like be to get a better jury or, you know, inform them better? Or search through who would... Well, the problem is, Trim, duty. juries do inconvenient things like believe that you can't retract consent six months later. Mm. Yep. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, so you can't prop right. up retarded charges yeah. and hope it goes through exactly. because of people who... Live Ju juries might also yep. believe that if both people are drunk, maybe it wasn't right. Yep, of course. And, yeah, and I, I think it's it's really worth pointing out you remember all these, you know, bench trials in the United States where some pedo would get like five years? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's that's exactly what they're going for. Because 
Yeah. Oh, well, he was still convicted. Yeah, but he got five weeks. Yeah. So yeah, well, he was still convicted. Thing. Just uh, on a side note, what kind of country is Hamza Yusuf uh, originally from? Shit, fuck a stand. I'm just going to um, leave it at that and let the accusation... Hamza Yusuf's from a country that do- goes the opposite direction on rape trials. They just don't have them because they don't believe that rape's a crime. Like Hamza Yusuf. I was, I was going to ask, is uh, Scotland not a country that has the good sense to say you have to be born there to run it? No. No. Oh, idiots. I think Canada... Scotland up is also a country that has juries of... What was it? 15 people and only requires a majority to convict? Yep. Oh, yeah, simple majority, yeah. 8 out of 15. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 8 out of 15 yeah, no, to really. convict He's definitely Scotland. not from Kekistan. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Scotland can never be independent. The whole country will go Mad Max with Well, that's the thing. Years. If Westminster doesn't come out and slap this down, what's the fucking point in them? Yeah. In fact, Scotland should be forcibly given its independence. Rebuild Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> <laughs> build, Finish Hadrian's Wall. Build a wall and make Scotland pay for it. Put some turrets <laughs> on the top, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, let let EU pay for it because we all know as soon as Scotland leaves the fucking UK, they'll run right to the fear. I mean, uh, father of. Mm-hmm. Fatherland of EU, the the right day, the motherland. I mean, you mean like they did back in the 1930s and 40s, where they were convicted for possibly collaborating with a certain uh, variation of Germany? Uh you mean yep. the, the SNP that keeps having their leaders convicted of treason? Yes. I mean, it does right, sound yeah. like a German uh, three-word thing. Just saying. Uh, the... Yep. Uh, it, it it is rather. 14 reasons why Scotland is going going to hell. Yeah. (laughs) That and some of the accents. (laughs) Yep. So, the change to trials was proposed by Scotland's second most senior judge, Lady, Lady Dorian, well, fuck off you dumb cunt, in review that informed the Victims, Witnesses and Justice Reform Scotland Bill. Justice Secretary Angela Constance has claimed that low conviction rates for rape and attempted rape are hampered by the prevalence of preconceptions. Yes, preconceptions such as innocent until proven guilty. Yep. Hey guys, can I just make a stupid joke be- to avoid uh, 42 ing myself? Not if you ask. No, and stop okay. talking about 42 ing hey yourself on Bearcat YouTube. Cat Gate. What kind of thing happened there? What? <laughs> Meerkat Gate. What's a meerkat? Look at the picture. I have no idea what this is. It's a in Scotland. Trump. I know, but what happened there? It's a gate. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah, that, hey. that's what he's on about. Oh, hey, they. Are you sure we can't still remove him? Tristan Armstrong over on Rumble says Canada does not require MPs to be natural born citizens. We even allow dual citizens to be MPs. And yeah. there's nothing to stop a dual citizen from becoming prime minister. That's true. Yes, uh, much like Nadiev back in well, the nineties. Well, well that's all, apparently there's also nothing about having a non-Scottish citizen who's the child of a communist dictator as the prime minister either. Yeah, also true. <laughs> I mean, the bastard love child. I mean, what? <laughs> I don't think there was any love there in that inception. Well, oh no, no, there was a love of evil. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Prevalence of preconceptions such as innocent until proven guilty. In most recent figures, conviction rates for rape and attempted rape were 51% compared with 91% for all other crimes. 51% is still quite high, actually. What's... Yeah. Also, consider that in rape cases, you have to not just prove that intercourse occurred, you must also prove that it occurred without consent which is where things get a bit tricky. Because in all other crimes, all you have to do is... <laughs> in murder, all you have to do is prove that the knife penetrated the body. <laughs> in rape, yeah. not, not only do you have to pe- prove that the penis penetrated the body, you must then also prove that they didn't have permission. It's not like mur- anything else where all you need is b- actual fact. 
<laughs> like all, all right predicates on the opinion of the victim. Not to mention, yeah, not. It, it, it really pisses me off because it cheapens actual rape cases doing this. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, Scotland. Yes. I, means... I was actually going to get to that point as well, Tristan. Tristan says that every crime non-value strict liability also requires the prosecution to prove intent and mens rea. Yes, which is why rape where both parties are drunk is some proper bullshit. Like, where's the fucking mens rea? Yeah. And, you know, violence points out actual rape leaves ruses. And, and I think the other problem is you, you've got to encourage women to go get a you know, rape kit done. Because... Not all actual rape requires bruises. Rape can be accomplished with just the threat of violence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or just general intimidation yeah. where it's like, well, okay, it's easier for a Int woman to submit. Intimidation, and... impl which is just the implied threat of violence. Yeah. And, but yeah, like, I, ass I assume that there is probably more damage caused any time it's non-consensual because if the <laughs> reasons that we won't go into. Well, well, I, I think it should be, you know, th there's forcible rape and yeah. kind of rape through intimidation. That, yeah. that, that's... Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That violence has definitely lived a life. Yep. Yeah, there's that kind where it's actual violence and then there's the threat of violence. Like the crap, like the Pakistani shithead that pulls a knife on a woman in London. Doesn't need to actually use the knife. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think yeah, it's it's just one of those taking away juries for this sort of thing, which is really the most devastating accusation to have to make or to be made upon, and it's like, yeah, this is. The reason why the convictions are probably only at 51% is it can be a very gray area. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing. Like, any time a woman turns around and goes, oh, I got drunk, I, I went to the club, and then the next day I woke up having had sex and I remember nothing. D does that actually yeah. mean you were right? Or does that just mean you made a but choice? You con you intentionally made a series of bad decisions, or or it could have been something where things were escalating. She passed out like while they were getting ready. He you know finished off, and then it was like, oh shit, she didn't remember. She didn't remember anything because she was blackout drunk. Yep. And that's um, the thing. If they don't remember anything, how can they prove it was right? Yeah. Uh, or or it could be like, well, gee, you know, somebody saw them going at it. Yep. And, and okay, you and all, like, you've proved that sex happened. Now prove a negative. Hmm. Now prove that consent didn't occur. Yeah. What yeah. happened to uh, just adult people just being fucking adults and taking some responsibility? Well, people like that don't vote Democrat. Oh no. right. Sorry, yeah. I keep or, or SNP. SNP. You know, the Scottish Nazi Party. Mm -hmm. Democrat, SNP. The, the National Socialist, Socialist Party of Canada. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. We, call, I, we, we, we call those anybody in Parliament these days. <laughs> I just call them mosquitoes. Yeah. So, blood-sucking fiends that you wish would die and they only come around once a year when you're outdoors? Mm-hmm. No, uh, they're one. always around. They're always trying to suck your blood, and they are always making a really annoying noise that drives you insane. But enough about Democrats. Yes. So anyway, so after the Aberdeen Bar Association confirmed it was during the boycott, Mr. Yusuf said he heard their objections loud and clear and then proceeded to ignore them. But he said he remained absolutely committed to working with legal professionals on the pilot because convictions for rape are far too low compared to other offences. That's right. It's not about whether they're innocent or guilty, it's about whether they're convicted or not. Because God uh, fucking uh, forbid. I'm sorry, yeah. Proving a burglary 
is far easier than proving rape. Well, that's it. To prove a burglary, all you need to prove is that the defendant was there, <laughs> functionally. Yeah. Also, no juries. Judges aren't fact finders. Juries are fact finders. And ra all and rape trials are all predicated on the finding of one specific fact. Was or was there not consent? And it's the jury's duty to determine that whether that exists beyond a probable cause. And and I I would also say you know, what num you know what, how many cases will get determined based on yeah you know, social justice now in Scotland for rape than previously all of them just all of them yeah. every man in Scotland except Hamza Yusuf and the other unwanted immigrants yep uh, and so I I. I so the First Minister said, we know through the weight of evidence, show us, that exists just how many rape myths, rape misconceptions, stereotypes exist. Would you like to d display any of those for us to see? In fact, in fact, if you're so concerned about rape myths, rape misconceptions and stereotypes, why don't you fucking educate people instead of making, <laughs> removing r fucking juries and the, the burden of proof and the in concept of instant and proven guilty, like fuck. Somebody find Blackstone and we'll fucking wrap him in copper and make another generator. We'll hook it to the same grid as frigging Orwell. That, that, that following sentence, that's not in the interest of justice. That's right. In the interest of justice, we will abolish juries. What? And when we're done with that, we'll ju abolish juries for other crimes like murder and treason and hate crimes. Treason, huh? I wonder why they are obsessed with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. This is just this is bad news all around. Yeah. The SNP leader said more than eighty percent of trials already took place without a jury. So that's why they have a ninety percent. Oh, all I, all trials. 16% of criminal cases were heard by a jury, while 84% were less serious or summary cases. You slimy sack of crap. I mean... What the, uh, so you could have a summary judgment on a criminal act, or it, it could be it could be a very serious crime. We're not talking, ab we're not talking about a $300 fine for sniffing farts without permission. We're talking about a crime yeah. for which life imprisonment is a possibility, and you want to do away with juries for that. And, and again, the way they're they're framing this, it's like you you could have someone who in, you know, has a summary trial for murder because they just plead no contest, but it's a summary judgment, hmm. and they're they're putting yes, that in all the same actual category all actual of like shoplifting. all actual trials must be heard by a jury. In, yeah. in common law, I think it's if the prison sentence is over or a fine is over something or other. But in the States, I'm pretty sure it's, fuck you, I want one, so give me one. Uh, basically, yeah. I, I'm, now, you can also go for you know, a bench trial, which that's, that's fine, but typically the, the defendant is given the option. Hmm. They, it's they not just determined by yeah. some fuckwit government board mm. uh, in fact for a, a lot of things because i've been following some cases like assorted auditors in the states who keep getting railroaded with bullshit charges and it's like oh we'll do a bench trial <laughs> no just because you didn't offer me a jury doesn't mean i can't demand it fuck you yeah and um, and that's you know one of the reasons why yeah, the constitution so damned important is we avoid this bullshit that Scotland's pulling by saying, no, I, I want a jury trial. Yeah, entitled. Like, this is for a traffic ticket. Yeah, <laughs> that's what entitled means. It doesn't mean must. It means they're entitled to it, which means upon request, it must be rendered by the state, a jury of their peers from their state and district. Uh, on today's episode of Dear Americans, please learn more about your fucking legal system than some random idiot from Australia. <laughs> uh, remember the uh, the election night stream that we did with uh, 
Oh, it was Jack, and I can't remember um, his wife's name. Where uh, you just ah kind of... uh, yeah, those guys. <laughs> yeah, where, where you just kept blowing them away. Where they're like, oh, "How do you know so so much about American Constitution?" It's like, I wish most average Americans knew half of what you knew, Bez. It's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. They're like, hold on a second, didn't you say you were Australian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yes, a nice dream. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> It, yep. it must be nice so, to have human rights. It, it It's extremely nice. And, you know, I'll, I'll throw this in, you know, question to chat in general. Um, when when we have our presidential primaries here in the U.S., if uh, if, if it's more than just like a one-off, if anybody wants me to, to host a stream, I'm very happy to do so. You should. Host many streams. I'd love to be there. So... Yeah, because I, th but th th this is just so disturbing <clears throat> to see that the Scottish criminal courts, not civil courts, but criminal courts, want to do away with jury But systems. wait, it gets worse. What? Oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> hey, there's also oh, okay. going to be public reviews of decisions made by trial judges participating in the juryless rape trials. That's right, it's not even going to be a judge. So the judge deciding whether you're innocent or guilty of rape is going to be publicly reviewed against by the government that is upset that not enough people are getting convicted of rape. Wow. Holy shit. That is evil. That is evil. Yes, it is. Holy shit. We, we are back in 1940s here. But we're in, on the wrong side of the channel. I'm, I'm reasonably sure that Germany had a better legal system. In the 40s. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, it was a stacked trial, but still, at least it was... At least they had to bribe a jury. Not, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Holy shit. the lawyer said, Never before have decisions that the Scottish criminal courts been subjected to this type of review by the executive. So it's clear it will be, and it will be clear to any impartial observer, this proposed plight amounts to a deeply troubling attack, both on the criminal justice system, but also on the independence of our judiciary. Yeah, that's right, because the judges are going to overconvict because they're scared that the government's going to go, what's that? You're not convicting every man that comes before you. Oh, you, conv you, know you, it, you convicted that horrific. Pakistani out. No, you're you're, you're racist. A racist. Yep. You should convict that guy who just had a bit too much to drink, you know. But uh, that guy who uh, of a indiscriminate uh, race. So, Mister, and I'm gonna have to read his name because oh, it's fucking nice. Mister Woodward Nutt <laughs> argued juryless trials would lead to a loss of safeguards. The Scottish government are proposing an experimental scheme that replaces juries with a specific name trial judge who will feel we feel inevitably. Who will, we feel inevitably, be subjected to public scrutiny and thus pressure relative to his or her decision-making, he said. That cannot be fair, that cannot be appropriate. Well, they're not interested in fair, they're interested in convictions. Yeah. I, it's going to make every, every, every Scottish court into a kangaroo court. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm, it, it's not even to the level... It, it's, it's a show trial. It's a Stalinist show trial. Yes. And... This is why. In fact, I think I think I, it's I think it's worse than a Stalinist show trial. Yeah, it it really is. Because <laughs> at least that was for political gain. This is just for we need to bump the numbers up. Yes, literally. And th this this is that moment where if this gets enacted without any resistance, and I'm not just talking token resistance. This is the day that the Scottish courts are no longer courts. Yeah, at that they point, a... at that point, the rule of law has failed. The social contract has been broken, and the Scottish are that they they are bound by natural law to revolt. Yeah, yeah. I'm. That's the only solution in cases like this, because. When you don't have a judiciary that is, in some ways, shielded mm -hmm. from public scrutiny, 
in this way. Now, bad convictions are bad convictions and need to be called out. Yes, it's almost but as when... if that's why you have 12 randomly selected members of your community stay between you and the judiciary. Mm -hmm. Almost as if that's the point of the system. Funny that. Oh, you were saying. No, um, but yeah, I'm. I I just I'm really hung up on the. This is why. Yeah, yeah. We 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 Americans are very arrogant about our constitution, and for damn good. You should be because you should be. Just, uh, just the first and the fourth are far more protection than any common law country has. Yeah. And, and the fact that we have left that unmodified for over 200 years mm -hmm. is a testament to we saw the problems that were going with the English you know, common law system. We figured out the solutions to fix it, and then we left it the fuck alone because it protected people much better yes. than what you see happening in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Now, so, who's heard of the Spectator? Uh, as in the the magazine? The shitty feminist drag, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. how badly do, do you need to fuck up the increasing rape convictions that the feminist drag the spectator thinks you're an idiot? <laughs> I'm interested. Oh, in this should be out. juicy. Go on. From the spectator.co.uk. Lawyers are right to boycott harms the use of juryless rape trials, says Joanna Williams. <laughs> and I'm just going to get up what she's written before. Where was Stella Creasy when other mums are being harassed? Labor's lessons for boys plan is a sinister sideshow. The truth about Britain's entitled strikers, how trans ideology took over our schools. Okay, so they've actually violently based. <laughs> well, that's not what I was hoping for, but I will take it. I was actually hoping that it would be some regular run-of-the-mill feminist guy. As much as I hate men, I do enjoy the rule of law. <laughs> but no, no. Well, it, you know, Scotland is full of turf, but, so it doesn't really But me the that. Spectator is an agency that is regulated by the UK government, and they've published it. So even the Spectator must think that uh, <laughs> this article has something to it. I, I'm surprised that you know Hamza is not going. Oh, well, she's white. This is this article's a rape, a rape crime, a race crime. Yes, uh, Tristan Armstrong uh, says the Westminster Parliament slapped down the SNP when they tried to redefine gender. Would they not slap this down as well? At least while the Tories are in power. Dear God, I hope so. Otherwise, England's also fallen. What makes you think England is still standing? I mean, well, it's propped up on the back of immigrants, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to say, guys, but uh, the good old nations are all dead. Yep. Only half of America still stands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So much for the common law. So much for the social contract. Well, if they want to, br if they if they want to break it, go ahead and break it. But when the consequences come around, don't start bitching and moaning. Yeah. So the the, the this article by Joanna Williams starts. What is it with Hamza Yusuf, Scotland's first piece of shit, has plenty on his plate? Police are investigating the SNP's financial affairs. Feminists are pushing back against his plans for gender recognition reform, and now lawyers are boycotting the pilot scheme for joyless rape trials that is vocally championed. At some point, this stops being simple misfortune and instead suggests serious political miscalculation. No, he's just evil. Yeah. <laughs> Don't muddy the waters. There, he's just no evil. It. So, criticism of the Scottish government's plans to try right cases without a jury has been building. Now, with at least seven legal bodies having voted to reject the proposed changes to court proceedings, a near unanimous boycott looks likely to render the pilot scheme unworkable. Good. From Bud Light to Maybelline makeup, calls for boycotts are two a penny nowadays, but this action by lawyers deserves public backing. Trial well, funny enough, those boycotts have been very effective too. Yes. So let's keep this rolling. We will actually come back to the Bud Light boycott once we go to Rumble, and we can laugh at them more freely. 
Oh yeah. my god. We we got we got some white pills on the way. Thank fuck. And Earl's off to celebrate the second amendment by building a range. Have a good one, Earl. I'm so jealous. <laughs> uh, so trouble. Uh, but but what are you je more jealous of? The range or the crayfish boil? Range. We can have a crayfish boil here. We've got basically crayfish True. in Australia. Norwegian well, we have lobster. Are superior. Well, I mean, I could I can literally walk. For no, five no, no. In, in, a, in, a a water. in Australia, I'm pretty sure what we've got actually is a crayfish or, or, or close enough to. What is it called? A yabby or something? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Matt, Matt, now I'm curious. Does, does it try to poison you when you eat it? Uh, or, or is it not really? It's, it, it's like the It'll only thing that you. doesn't poison you when you eat it. That That really? is the common yabby, an Australian crayfish. Bigger are those? <laughs> yabby. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's definitely crayfish. Yeah. That, that... Or crawdad or... Yep. Or basically wannabe lobster. Mini lobster, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh freshwater typically. <laughs> no, no, yeah. that's that's got lobster claws out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I it's close enough. No no. I just wish I could build a range in the backyard. I hear ya. <laughs> anyway. I mean, I'm looking forward I, to the I compound. Can... We're gonna have a massive fucking range. Oh I the compound using my neighbor's house as a backstop, but I don't think they'd like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh oh. The Sultan's compound's going to have a proper bloody rifle range, by which I mean the back the backstop's going to be five kilometers away. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I? What? Oh, the backstop is going to be somewhere over, over the rainbow. The rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, this has turned into oh, a very. Oh, uh, I have so many things I, I'd like to say about that that I just can't on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, all, no. all I can say is I hope someone right clips it. that from chat and then uses that as a video comment. Yes. <laughs> uh, hey, can you write what you wanted to say in the in the chat window? <laughs> I want to hear it. Okay, I'm just typing this in. Okay, Earl, you're going to have to explain what SF stands for there because I don't think it's San Francisco. <laughs> there you go, Trim. Oh, special. <laughs> for, oh. Okay, yeah, he he's he's doing a uh, special forces shoot house. Oh, oh that, okay, that's so it's cool. Uh, it's uh, basically a training house. Yeah. So yeah. Are, are, nice. are you doing um, lights, or you're going to do it dark? Special feces. Jesus. Oh, uh, it, it. He he's going to have to clear corners after he's flung poo. <laughs> Uh, dude. <laughs> so he's going he's gonna to build a monkey house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, God. man. I, I remember the last uh, shoot house I did. That that was fan-fucking-tastic. We, we did it with... Um, we, we did two runs, and one was, you know, they made us switch over to Airsoft. <laughs> so we actually had to go up against each other after doing a couple runs live fire and yeah uh all, all i can say is i'm very happy i uh shot a guy in the ass with airsoft because <laughs> he, he he just walked right past me and i'm like well oh, okay <laughs> arm bands are a thing yeah right so trial by jury has long been a hallmark of civilization and a key component of democratic society being found guilty of a crime and punished potentially through imprisonment is such a serious infringement on our rights that it demands the consent of fellow citizens. For this reason, all rape and attempted rape trials in Scotland are currently decided by a jury of 15 people. Yes, Scottish juries are shit to start with, but at least they have them for now. Yet, under proposals backed by that slimy sack of crap, people could be found guilty of rape on the word of a single judge. These reforms first propose... blah 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 blah... Well, we've, this is just stuff we've read through, so skipping. Back in 2013, legal scholar Helen Reese tackled the assumption that rape myths are widespread and erroneously the influence juries head on. Oh, someone's actually done research. Uh, in her superb paper, Rape Myths is Elite Opinion Right and Popular Opinion Wrong, she argued we are in the process of creating myths about myths. 
She explains that right myths or right supportive attitudes are false beliefs, such as that rape is a violent attack carried out by a stranger, that rape only happens outside of the home, or that flirtation or asking someone back for copy implies consent and therefore rules out right. Reese convincingly argues that whilst people believe that these myths exist, there is little evidence that they hold such views themselves. Oh, what's that? The Scottish government's lying. Who would have thought? Who'd have just a tip for the ladies out there, but if you want to avoid being raped, you tell the guy no. Here's a tip hey, for the ladies hey. out there. If you want to avoid being raped, shoot the guy in the dick six times. No, no, guys. Remember what the Swedes did not. back in the day. They do that weird dance, you know? What? Hey, stop. Don't touch me there. This is my nose. Oh, oh fuck off. <laughs> I, was, I was tormenting Stormy's children with that for a while. <laughs> As well you should. Yes. Uh, that is a song we, we sing a lot in the kitchen because it's fun. For who? For us. <laughs> Base because State says, not all rapes happen outside the home. Some happen in your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You know, has any of you seen the game Pizza Tower? No. 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 I've just basically... <laughs> I've eaten a Pizza Tower. That's cool. I've eaten There's a pizza. Basically... At the, at the end of the game, there's basically the final boss pulls out every single boss of the game to give you a boss rush, which ends up with the main character just screaming out, going ape shit, and just beating the shit out of everyone. That's basically what I want to do. Hmm. So, actually, uh, Callum has a very important question for you, Trim. What? <laughs> Were you twerking? I weren't, but I do have a colleague who never fucking stops twerking. It's kind of annoying. Have you considered you throwing them it? overboard? Oh. Uh... <laughs> I I have considered it. I have offered it, but I was answered with, "If you do, you have to take over desserts." And I said, "Fuck no!" And said, "Okay, then no." So, so they didn't want you daggering because they didn't want to do desserts. <laughs> I don't know what daggering is, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Google because it. Because the thing How is, can Google it. Go the Google thing it right I have now. figured out with you, Bleach. Is when you ask me about a thing in that tone of voice, <laughs> it is something that will scar me to the core of my being. <laughs> He's not I'm welcome. Him. Yes, you are. Of course you are. Okay, anyway. Back to this article. Indeed, it's precisely because rape is no longer considered to be a crime that occurs only in violent circumstances outside the home that many more rape cases come to court. And jurors have to engage in the difficult task of differentiating rape from sex that was wrongly perceived to be consensual. That's right, the jury needs to determine the facts. Was there consent? Was there mens rea? Did the person reasonably believe there was consent? Such as you, you, the woman going, fuck me! <laughs> oh, apparently a woman stripping naked and yelling, fuck me, at the top of her voice isn't consent anymore. No. Has it ever Sadly, when women do that, it's, it's never ever... the kind of woman you'd want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bleach. Somebody had to get that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, let's see. As Reese argues, arriving at a judgment in such situations requires knowledge of human behavior and life experience, not necessarily legal expertise. One reason for low conviction rates in rape trials is that there are rarely witnesses or CCTV footage to provide proof. There's often one person's word against another. In such circumstances, a failure to prosecute might point to recognition of this ambiguity, not a reflection of sexist prejudices. In other words, juries are more sophisticated and less ignorant than Hamza Yusuf. Credits them. As well as taking the trauma of rape victims seriously, juries might also consider the harms of wrongful conviction. Trial by jury is an important safeguard against false imprisonment, yet the starting point for the Scottish government's reforms is a desire to drive up the rate of convictions, not to get closer to the truth or justice. Yep. Exactly. Uh, Prime Knight asks, do we need 
signed and notarized papers now to establish consent. Well, consent can be withdrawn at any time. So not only do you need a signed and notarized contract in triplicate, you also need a, a lawyer and two witnesses plus at least three video cameras. At that point, you might as well start a fucking porn company. <laughs> All right. I, I, I have to ask this question. Who's familiar with the movie Cherry 2000? And uh, nope. Oh, yeah. I think I've heard of it, but I'm not familiar. Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith. But do you remember the, the bar scene in, in mm, Cherry 2000? No. I wouldn't say I do. So. Oh, that's I'm, a movie I'm, I'm gonna... poster. <laughs> yeah. yeah so it, it it's um I'll, I'll put it here in our internal um uh, it's got dialogue and whatnot so I, it's probably not something you want to play but i'm gonna put it in chat as well because it's really worth and and this was 1988 i believe Actually, let me and... see if I can get up a transcript. Just trying. Oh, hey, Vice's stupid fucking article. <laughs> what? Oh, you, you mean as they burn out? Hmm. Oh, times. God, yes. Oh, I'm reminded. Vice is dying. Ding dong the bitch is dead. Oh, finally some good news. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Poorly written crap. No one device is dead. Actually, you know what? Would be nice to freaking... Oh, and, and, and this might be something where I'm, I'm going to have to see if there's some actual subtitles available. Right, here we go. So we've got a really weird, a really, really 90s website. Well, 2006, apparently. So Cherry 2000 is about a guy named Sam Treadwell who gets too hot and heavy with his perfect Andrew wife. Android wife. Not an Andrew wife, that's something different. While walling in soap suds. Unfortunately, Cherry 2000 doesn't take water well and gets fried. After trying his hand at Pokemon dating, Sam decides he needs a new body for his cherry chip. <laughs> so, the, the, the thing is, and this is going about the whole movie, but the dating scene, mm. and that's, that's what I popped in, yeah. is th there's a scene with Lawrence Fishburne yep. as a lawyer negotiating between uh, yeah, th this couple for a one-night stand. Yep. Um, so the only person who can actually act in the movie. So it's, in in a way, it's just like Demolition Man. It's, uh, surprisingly, uh, uh, prescient. prescient? Yes. Yeah. A yeah. And by a about ten years. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's, uh, what's really ironic is that when I was first starting university, uh, they were actually offering to print you a consent contract. Which is, again, is useless because consent can be withdrawn at any time. So yeah. you really do need a lawyer, two witnesses, and a, a bloody film crew. Yep. And then they'll turn around and go, oh, I was intimidated. There were too many people in the room. Yep. Mm. I, I, I have to perform because it's like, mm, no, you don't. Go oh, fuck yourself. Mm. Um. Here, you know, here's a suggestion. Quite a safer option Don't. at these, this point, Trent, going to fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, I might withdraw consent from myself. <laughs> yeah, you might Last have Last night to. I threw my hand down on the bed and I made sweet, sweet love to it. And I woke up this morning and charged me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I've got a little bit of a, the, the, uh, the transcript here for, for that scene. So, the transcript, yeah, uh, huh? Yeah. yeah so. Do you have a link? <laughs> I drew that out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah. Standard arrangement for a one-night contract. Complete sexual encounter with full penetration optional. Optional! 
and and one optional episode in the morning, and then the woman's like, "No, slow down. I I don't think I'm going to stay the night. My lawyer's got to read this over <laughs> because there's an oil clause. Oil clause. So uh, it it's a it's a good scene worth watching, but it's like it it's that level that we almost need to have in Scotland." Because without a jury trial, it's all going to hell fast. Yep. Ah, uh, dear. Oh, dear. We have some breaking news. What? Uh-oh. Uh, Britain Storm, this is from uh, Billy Bloggs, so I will uh, thank him for that. Apparently, Britain's storm shadow missiles are being blamed for Luhansk strikes within uh, Russian territory. Far behind Russian lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost as if we fucking called it. I got a link for you. What? Wow. I swear to God, if England fucking starts to say, if England is part of the cause of the fucking Third World War, they can go fuck themselves. Well, I mean, they were kind of the start of the first and second. (laughs) Well, I don't know, think they were the start of the first, but they sure jumped in with both fucking feet. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, not in a bobcat CSG says. That, that. There's a link. He wishes everyone a very pleasant World War Three. <laughs> mm. Thank you, yeah, bobcat. See you on the other side. I wish up. you the best as well. Uh. So from it's the, the snailograph, we know it. Russian installed officials in the East Ukrainian region of Luhansk accused Kiev of firing missiles at an industrial complex in the region's main city on Friday. The strikes are around 100 kilometers behind the front lines. This blah, blah, blah. Strike position is potential evidence. Ukraine now has access to long-distance weaponry. But we know they have access. The fucking Brits gave it to them. Yeah. Surprise Pikachu face? Earlier this week, the UK sent a batch of long-distance missiles to Ukraine. Yeah. Who could have fucking predicted that? It's like, what, you mean missiles, when they but s- don't use them. Yeah, like, what did you expect? Why couldn't it just give Ukraine the shitty, almost out of uh, date weapons? Or just because not give them any of our fucking weapons or, and, at all. We need to fight yeah. off China, not weaken ourselves until they get ideas. Yeah, well, they already have ideas. Yeah. Yeah. We, we should have done that in 1930. Let, you let, th- let the you Chinese have, roll over them. You have, you have to thank the, uh, the corpse in chief for mm-hmm. that one. Mm, no, I'm, th- this is longer than that with China. I'm, granted, on, I would Biden's say it goes... been dead for years. He can be blamed for it. Eh, I mean, he, he's been dead since the 90s, probably. Um, <laughs> but it, Bill Clinton gave the chi- Chinese basically their nuclear weapons technology. Oh, of course he The did. Chinese didn't have that on, until the mid-90s. And... But, oh, well, gee, how did these spies suddenly get in everywhere from China? Hmm. Mm. And granted, I personally would go back to blaming Nixon for opening China up for trade, but still, that's... Yeah. Yep. I mean, was it China, China, or wasn't it just a CCP? Because CCP, well, yeah, CCP isn't fucking China. Yeah. I mean, we Ch- we say China, China has... but we mean CCP. To be yeah. clear, yeah, I usually try to say Chicom so it's clear. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, so move, moving on because we've got a bunch of shit to get through. All right. I think I'm actually going to have to start cutting out things and just focusing on the proper fascism. Firstly, all the idiots whining about oh, spending all this money on the coronation, remember our stupid royal family waste of money. Firstly, firstly, the royal family brings in more money than they cost the government. Just in Tourism alone, the royal family, brings in more money than the UK government gives to them. Secondly, they bring in like four or six times that from the lands that uh, the crown has given the parliament right to use. Like CCP Grey did a video like nearly a decade ago. And it, it, they bring in like a hundred times more than they cost. So shut up. Secondly, oh, yeah, 
I'll, I'll just point out, you know, because I, I took a tour of Windsor Palace and the gift shops that they had, and people were just swarming all over them. I'm just like, gift shop, I'm staying away. But it was fascinating to see where it was all this basically royally branded stuff, and people were just buying the hell out of it. And it's like, well, this is basically you know, without a lot of markup because you know there's there was no value added tax. I think when I went in that day, but it was like, yeah. That all that money is basically going directly to the government or the House of Windsor in order to make sure that they're sustaining themselves. That's Sax Coburn Gotha. Don't ever let them get away with lying about being German. Yeah, <laughs> very true. <laughs> no. So, yes, the whole point of this, right, it is so they're complaining about all the money that was spent on the coronation. The entire cost, the cost of the entire coronation of his mediocrity, King Charles III would fund the NHS for, drumroll, five hours. Like an hour? Oh, five hours. But that is a, that is it. Well, that's cheap. Yeah. That, that's money well spent. The NHS wastes that much money in five hours. Yes. Well, Trim, <laughs> see, the, the NHS doesn't have, uh, the, the royal family doesn't have diversity officers. Yes. Correct. <laughs> they don't have a HR the NH- department is either. The NHS, is <laughs> yeah. the NHS responsible for, like, oh, thousands of deaths at this point because they refuse ah, to ah, fucking... Ah, 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 Sorry. Bad trim. Bad Sorry. trim. Bad, Sorry. bad. You're wrong, but you're bad. Yes. No, this was... Uh, no, 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 no. Stop nope, talking. No Stop. Didn't say anything. You're going to backpedal yourself ah. into the hole again. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem with backpedaling. You go straight back in the hole you just pedaled out of. Oh, yeah. Just, just, just tri- trim, all I can say is when you're thinking those thoughts, just say diversity. Yes. Yeah. Good. There we go. Well, that's diversity. The, well, that's it. They keep hiring the, the, diversity officers. Exactly. I'm going to say it when we get to Rumble. Steve Murphy says, maybe the NHS is inefficient and too expensive with quality of service offered. Yeah. God, I hate the NHS. Henry Bolton, allegedly, says, the salaries of your diversity managers would keep it going for a while too. (laughs) Another idiot who thinks that days of NHS spending is a fucking government account. Like, you midwits. Uh, also, yeah. I wonder how much money in tourism was generated by all the people staying in hotels in London. Do you think you could have found a fucking hotel room in London the day before the coronation? I mean, both both the people there to watch a coronation and the people there to protest the coronation ended up most yep. likely... Yep. Well, not only that, but you figure... Yeah, at at least an hour outside of London by by rail or by bus, or preferably driving if you're a real man. Um, yeah, but, parking in London yeah. on a good day, I don't think so. <laughs> I tried it once; it was amusing. Um, but yeah, it's like people. You know, so a community outside of that was probably flooded. Well, that's it. Because... For like an hour's plus train travel in every direction, you probably couldn't find a fucking... Actually, I would bet that that's probably significant enough that someone would have done a story on it. Coronation. No, I, I spelt that with three O's instead of an A because... <laughs> you want to put a comma in that, Bessie? Yes. <laughs> He's coming along on that. No, I was going to spell coronation with four eyes because I was thinking of another word that starts with the same set and then goes in a different direction at the third eye. Coronation. Yes, he's suddenly learning. uh... Uh, What was I looking at? Coronation hotels. Ah, fuck. There's a hot coronation. There's actual hotels called coronation hotel. That's not helpful. Hot coronations in your area. Charles. Is there any news? 
And now I don't care about the food. Oh, look, hotels hike prices by 60% as they exploit King Charles's coronation. <laughs> there we go. Why would they do that? That'll do. Yep, yep. And, and there's Market Watch, too. Just trying to... Ah, hotel, Sparks Hotel Demand. That That's the one. The UK yeah. led to a surge of bookings for accommodations in hotels, blah, 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 blah. Surge in visitors in London see, seeing a spike in demand for hotel room and other accommodations. <clears throat> While the Friday and Saturday of Coronation Weekend have already hit a peak for the month of May, we expect these figures to increase in the coming days as excitement grows. The cat is in the corner making lots of noise as he claws a piece of cardboard to non-existence. <laughs> I, I I was wondering if uh, Trim was doing something naughty in the background, or it was the cat. <laughs> Can you actually hear that? Yes. <laughs> Glorious. Geeky <laughs> little bugger. I'm drawing a cat. So now. that's a really poorly written article. But yeah, I, but I think it at least touches on the fact that yeah, sixty six percent spike in was it a 66 percent spike or is that's no that's occupancy occupancy well for for this uh, when this was written out done on the third of may yeah it was up from 58 percent to 67 percent and from 61 percent to 68 percent so just based off of this data collected by whoever, however, there was 10% increase in hotel occupancy already. And yep. how much mo making the surrounding economy shitloads of money that the government would then tax? I mean, it, honestly, it's a boon. Uh, an utter boon to these people. Uh, we'll cover the Bud Light bloodbath once we stop hanging out on YouTube, because we need to talk about why there's problems with Bud Light. You mean other than its lack of flavor and alcohol? Yeah, and other than it being not being, terrible? other than it tasting like horse piss rather than beer, yes. <laughs> yeah, one word, diversity. Hey, he figured out not just to yell it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have no I, idea I, I... how tempting it is. I, I hope we we're going to end up just like reprogramming Trim so he uses the word diversity as a slur. As it should be. Uh, okay. I don't need to be reprogrammed. <laughs> right. So here's an article that pissed Arden off to no end. <laughs> yeah, this will be entertaining. Victorian church torn down for fear of vandals. What the absolute On fuck? Exactly my response. That Why? was exactly my response. What cunts thought this was a good idea? Can, can what someone, absolute okay, what, where's fucking the logic morons. Here? Where's the logic in this? So, oh, I'm afraid of someone uh, vandalizing our church. Let's fucking tear it the fuck down. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A Victorian oh. church. Oh, it, it's worse than that. It's like 70 years old. It's like, oh, hey, look, there, there's vandalism. Well, we can't be outdone, so we're going to just tear it down. Yeah. A hundred and seventy years old church. Yes. St. John's Church in Werneth, Greater Manchester. Hey, built... get... what about this? What about you build a fucking wall around it? Walls are, just around it. Walls are racist, shrimp. Oh, sorry. I keep yeah, forgetting no it for the sake of diversity. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's like... <laughs> so, you know, uh... I can't say that on YouTube, demolished. Billy, but yes, you're right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Oldham Council cited concerns that it would be the target of vandalism and blight on the area. Can we scroll down and look at the community that it, it's in? We will in a moment. Uh, the, yes, the, Billy Blog. The church was Definitely. built in 1844 and consecrated in 1845. 
It's been unused since the early 19... Yeah, since the early 1980s, but the society claims that the landmark could have been repurposed rather than demolished. No shit. Yeah, the Victorian Society, a heritage group, criticised the wasteful decision and said that the font and stained... They didn't even pull out the font and stained glass. You fucking... Vandal. The vandals are the fucking council. They're cultural historical vandals. You pieces of shit. Putting aside all the Christian... Related problems. You absolute historical vandalous bastards. Yep. A hundred and seventy years of history just yep. torn down yep. because of you're afraid of vandals. You know that that's going to be a fucking petrol station by next week. Oh yeah, they just no, want no, the no, damn no, tax they're, money. They're yeah, they're going to put up uh, low income housing. Oh, yeah, Probably. there we go. More pods. But look pods look at the size of that church before it was knocked down. That's a huge open hole. You could have opened that to the public for heaps of stuff. In fact, the local society seems like they would have been willing to take it on if the council had let them. Think about it. You could have turned that in, you know, you deconsecrate it, and then you, what you do is, you, you know, you go in and it's like you turn it into like a community center or you know, you, you could do just about any damn thing. You with could that. have had a concert space in there. All yeah, sorts and, of yeah. things. Oh, think of the acoustics and something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that'd be glorious. That's what I was gonna say. Just just look at the arches, the galleries on the side there, mm-hmm. where the white mm-hmm. is on the on the middle of the picture. We we that could we could have filmed the Sultans acoustic. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, base type says that they put up a mosque in its place. He's going to prison. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have said that ahead yeah. of time. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, it's talking right. about the number of churches being torn down. Oh, the cost but... of the operation is unknown because of financial sensitivities. Right, oh, so that, bribery. That is such... Oh, my God. When somebody says that, that means this shit costs way too much. Offenders at... Uh, offenders. Officers. <laughs> same Close damn enough. thing. <laughs> An empty building could attract antisocial behavior and increase risk of vandalism. The cause of the building... People would have loved that building. That thing, Fuck if it had f- if it had fallen down. Like, we can still see the bloody thing. What do you mean unattractive? It's a moss-covered stone tower, you bastards. You talentless, cultureless, artless, tasteless. You know what, they're going to make a penis-shaped tower instead. Pretty much. Yes. That bloody oh, no, tower no, no. looks better than the stupid fucking steel monstrosity in the top right corner. Yeah, it's a building. I thought it was like a parking lot or something. No, yes, it, it, it's a fucking apartment complex. Like, yeah, oh, it's an apartment complex with just tin sheet iron fucking roofing, bastards. Fuck these guys. I I, mean, yeah, I I honestly could not believe that the font and the window and all that sort of stuff was just allowed. To... Yeah, they didn't even take the stained glass out for. I mean, even if they, it, you know, they could have sold that off at auction and raised money for whatever oh, yeah. the fucking retarded ass uh, uh, cause they wanted. Shit, to... are they trying to tell me that they couldn't have auctioned off the bloody church? Like, actually, Clearly next not. question, next question. Why the fuck didn't they auction off the land? Like, I'm sure there's a developer yeah. who would have brought it and then they would have paid to knock it down. But no, taxpayer money has been used to knock down a culturally significant building. You know what this is? This is fucking corruption because they're going to fucking sell it to a developer next week and so that the developer saves money because it's being paid for by the bloody taxpayer. Let me guess. And it's going to be a Chinese one too, isn't it? Oh, who even cares? Who Honestly, gives a shit? Who cares who they sell it to? We, we, we need to build a new church so we can fucking hang the council from the towers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, Kate Lane asks an important question. What's the what does the council look like? Let's find mm. out. Uh, Greater Manchester Oldham Council. Uh, well, they're f- they're fully brought into ESG. 
About the council. Let's have a look at the councillors, shall we? No, just show us the fucking councillors. Full council. Are we look Full council is there. What, where? Full council, yes, here we go. There. Right there, yeah. So, oh, for fuck's sake. So you've told us nothing. No. These people need to be they don't beaten. Want to show us because they're afraid. Well, of course not. They're fucking criminals. <laughs> for fuck's sake. When you go back, try, try find a councillor. That'll probably Try be the best Facebook. Way you know those retards like both by name, by political party, by ward, or by fuck off. Just show me everyone. <laughs> probably try uh, MPs. Would that be it? Well, that's members of parliament. That's not council. Oh, okay. Um, how about the well, mayor? Look, council, council political makeup is there in the corner. Oh, oh, we'll have a look that's at that in a moment. I'm going. I'm sure it's going to say something. The mayor. Nothing about the mayor. What's this? Oh, so we finally get oh, a name. Wow, she's red. Yep. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Look, look at the deputy mayor, too. Deputy mayor. Councillor Zahid, Zahid Chauhan. Deputy mayoress. Yeah. Mrs. Afshin Zahid Chauhan. Mayor's consorts. Oh, that be his <laughs> wife? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Council yeah, of Political just... Makeup. Yeah. Labour, 32. Oh, well, there we go. It's all fucking labor. Ten. Yeah. It's it's so it's just communists. Yeah. And the mayor is, is just a piece of shit. It, uh, Graham Shuttleworth. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, seriously. Shuttlecock. F select award. Well, uh, don't want to select awards. Well, let actually let's look at the we can search by fucking party. So let's look at the bloody labor councillors if it'll let us. Oh, look! Oh, look at how strengthened it, it is. It, it's fully... How diverse they are. Brown, brown, stupid old bent, stupid fat slob, dead, stupid what fat slob. What the fuck is that abomination? Whatever the... Gorlack the Destroyer, someone who shot died years ago, <laughs> pervert, Karen. Gorlack's brother. Old Karen. Brown, brown. Brown. Barbara looks like an actual troll. Wait, look at this. Condomed Brown. The same fucking name. Brown Karen. Yeah, Brown Karen. Brown, 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 uh, Browner. Should we go and rumble for this? No, sure. <laughs> oh. Dead for years. Moron. Also dead for years. Brown, also Brown, Brown. 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 Oh, no, he's not brown. brown. He's just dead. Brown and the other Karen. Jesus. Why are they all named Elaine all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking pathetic. Uh. Well, let, let, that's just the Labour. Let's have a look at the Conservatives. What Conservatives? Sure that's be oh, exactly. That's right. Conservative. Oh, look, they're still oh, brown. Look, brown. Brown, brown, brown. 50, 50. One, two, okay, three. Not the Lib Dems. Yeah. Please not the Lib Dems. Let, let, let's see the Lib Dems. No! I hate the Lib Dems. Soy, oh, soy, 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 more soy. Yep. Oh, yes, God. But, but look how soy, soy white they, they are. It's literally the party yeah. of soy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, we, but, we serve But it, it's no wonder they weren't concerned the world about world. knocking down a church, and I see your bloody one of them's Christian. Yep. No. Yeah, that was a bit. beautiful building too. Yeah. No. I. Oh, oh God. It had structural. It had structural problems. Fucking oh, fix them. The buildings oh, are fuck. 170 fucking years old. Look at the building. Look at, that. Look at the bloody building. The size of it. That's gorgeous. That fucking escalator's what, what? in the middle. It's huge. Yeah, but look at the building. What do they mean? Yeah. It must making the area look bad. It's gorgeous. For fuck's sake, go in there with a brush, take some of the moss off. It's pristine. Maybe send some dickhead up on the roof, fix the shingles. Done. It's a stone and, and building. Say, it will stand there for a thousand years if you don't fuck with it. And when they say structural problems, hmm, it's not like, say, the little shitty brick house down the way that will collapse as soon as it gets structural problems. This thing is repairable. Yes. Yep. But no, no, instead we've got to knock it down. I'm sure the last. Uh, that I'm sure that's Wait, going to turn inside for fuck's sake. You just know that that's going to turn into a fucking 
actually it's gonna be some fucking monstrosity it, of modern urbanity fucking bullshit cancers yeah uh, you just know that that's going Leonard. you just know that that's going to be turned into a fucking business someone's gonna minutes. tag a banana up <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm, can't say what i want to say yeah Abs diversity absolute bastards the state they destroy the anything of buildings that possess clear historic and architectural interest is harmful to the built environment and it's just so wasteful yes demolition is known to be a major contributor to the climate crisis Fuck the off. loss of a locally okay. significant building which could have been readily adapted and reused is to be regretted they can take their climate shit and oh. fuck right off with it but they're right about everything else a number of churches in Oldham have been torn down in recent years. St. Anne's Church in Green, oh, Green Aces, St. Mary's, and the Sacred Heart Catholic Church were approved. Jesus fucking Christ. History. But, we can't have yeah. history. So you know, St. Anne's ideology. Church in Green Aces. I want to see what that looked like. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know how we just checked the demographic makeup of the council? Well, I've got some okay. news about demographic makeups. Oh, jeez. White could British children could be minority in schools within 40 years. Yeah, that needs to be a rumble thing. Yeah. That one, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Maybe. But this is why we so should probably just do rumble. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, it is meant to be Green Acres, by the way, for St. Anne's Church. Yeah. And, oh, and, well, know, green well, acres. and of Green Acres. Like, and of Green Acres. And of Green Acres. No? No, that was Anne of Green Gables. I know, you yeah, fuckers. Yeah, Anne of Green Gables. Uh, Green I was Green hoping you'd get... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. If, if, if it was Zaza of Green Acres, then... If if we haven't moved past it, I have uh, posted a link to pictures of St. Anne's Church in the uh, church mm. chat. Yeah, so, yeah. So, they reckon... That around Aww. fifty to sixty percent of the overall British population would define themselves as white British by the year twenty sixty, meaning that pretty much in primary schools it's going to be not white British, so not British at all. Uh, so fucking ridiculous. Well, we we can excuse you, Arden, for some of this bullshit. Oh yeah, there's no excuse for a lot of this. Yeah. That's an awfully long time on there too, isn't it? Yeah, that was my first reaction. What do you mean forty years? <laughs> well, I suppose next year's within forty years. Yep. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, all of these long, really long timeline predictions. <sighs> yeah, I have a very difficult time putting any stock in them because I mean when I was a kid in the eighties they said that 40 years from now we'd be in an ice age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I remember that shit. I remember being told when I was a kid that we were still in the last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, like that's what I heard when I was in, when I was a kid. Of course, the, the temperature's getting hotter. The ice age is ending. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, but that's not Katie part of the climate no message. Oh, Remember no. the climber guy? The climate? Uh, shut up, old man. I'll go burn a tire. Mm. <laughs> Just don't necklace him. <laughs> I was going to say, can you burn it the African way? <laughs> no, no. You know, we, we'll no. have a monthly barbecue on the compound and we'll start it off by burning a few tires. <laughs> and probably no, not. That, that's right. We're doing to fight climate change. Yeah. <laughs> we probably best not to burn rubber. Where we breathe it. And it's we're burning every tire we find. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to win this we'll climate change fight thing. by God. <laughs> we'll make it an annual thing. Yeah. Right. So, well, annual? Let, no, you just have it burning at the uh, the entrance. Nobody comes in. So there we go. Let's go have a look at some at some Australian news that's going to get that's going to. Well, we're going to talk about a different t kind of demographic collapse and. So government financial mismanagement and how that's going to lead into demographic collapse. Okay. Let's fucking go, guys. Uh, so, the, uh, the, the so-called government of Australia has released their new budget. 
and they've decided to raise the unemployment rate by about 40 cents a day to fight inflation. Okay. 40 cents. Yes, yeah, so it's like $20 extra a week. So the shovel, which is mostly parody, the increase means recipients can now afford to rent an apartment in Sydney in 1994. <laughs> oh my God. What was that? Like an afford... You know, we recently had a strike in uh, in Norway that was recently cancelled, and we, like, my job, I'm gonna get a monthly extra 15,000 Norwegian kroner, which is like around $150 extra yeah. a month. So, I'm going to get a better article because these guys have fucked up everything. Those on Job Seeker, which is the unemployment, and we're going to ignore any talk about whether an unemployment payment should exist. So it's the payment has been increased by forty dollars per fortnight. Forty dollars a fortnight. That's gonna fucking help. It's already the lowest in the developed world. So they got I'm going to get an extra two dollars and eighty cents a day. Do you know what they go else they're going to do while they're giving the increase the tax? No, no. What else they're going to do while they're increasing the unemployment by forty dollars a fortnight? A whole forty dollars a fortnight. Uh, so they're probably going to let's see, do something to screw around with your value added tax. No, no, no. They're doing something stupid to do with the another part of the welfare system. I'm just seeing if it's on this page. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. 57,000 single parents will receive $176 more per fortnight in expansion of the parenting payment program. The cutoff for the payment will be raised from when the child turns eight to when they turn 14. The single oh. parent payment, the single parent payment cutoff will be raised from when the youngest child turns eight to when they turn 14. Do you know what you don't have to do on the single parent payment that you have to do while you're on the unemployment payment? Take a guess. Take a wild fucking guess at what single parents aren't required to do that the unemployed are. Yeah, I see. Look for a job. Look for a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. For 14 years, a single mother doesn't have to look for fucking work and gets paid tax pay money. You think the fucking having an unemployment system's bad? You think welfare's bad for fucking society? How about... Single mothers not having to look for work for 14 fucking years. How's that going? Mm. So basically, they're making women unemployable. Yes. Wow. Well, what they're doing is they're turning men back into the people who support women, but now they're just doing it through the taxes rather than marriage. What do you mean now? No, fair. It's been like this since the fucking 70s. But no. An extra six years that single parents don't have to look for work. And that's per child, correct? So if some woman just started becoming a baby factory. Yes. If 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 if, if, a, if, a, 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 if a woman popped out a child every thirteen years, she'd never be required to look for work, and she would be on not just this nine hundred twenty-two dollars a fortnight payment. They'd also be on the additional family payment plus an additional payment for rental assistance. Single mothers with two children are on two thousand dollars a fortnight. Actually, let me see if I can bring that up. Four thousand dollars a month. $4,000 a month to do what exactly? Not look for work for 14 years, apparently. Jesus H. Mm. 14 Billy pissing Fox years. Get it, your system is fucked. Yeah, Billy, everybody's yeah. system is fucked. So if you hate welfare for the unemployed, how about welfare for the single mothers for 14 fucking years? I can't describe in words how much I hate this. 
Brian How about to... <laughs> Damn it, Arden, you beat me to it. Sorry, I didn't hear him. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't hear it. I said try interpretive dance. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but I don't hate myself enough for that shit. Yeah. Jesus. Yes, but we do. <laughs> I know, but it's not worth it. Pay me, bitch. <laughs> I, I will. At gunpoint. <laughs> It won't be loaded, but you'll never know. Uh, oh, if it's between that or pull the trigger, it's between that and getting shot, I say pull the fucking trigger, bitch. Yeah. No, no. Dance for me, Norwegian boy. No. Tell us your pain. Dance, ice monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and your suit. <laughs> you know, Arden was mean to me. Oh, shit, he's in blackface again. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm double checking and just to be make sure I'm hundred percent right. So apparently there are mutual obligation requirements for single parents on the payment you jump through. Huh. See, here's the thing. That's gonna just be looking for f like four jobs a month. Looking for. But there is nothing in here and if their income's too low, uh, don't worry. Still get paid to that for the rest of your life. Basic, when I hear this, why do I keep hearing the voice of a woman yelling, who gonna pay for my kids? The government, apparently, by stealing it from working men. Taxation is theft. Hmm. Well, taxation is earned robbery. Yes. Yes. So let's see. Mutual obligation requirements for principal carers. So... Do, 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 do. To meet your requirements, you must report your income, if you have any. You must accept any offer of suitable paid work. So, is this the German hooker thing again? Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's blah, 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 blah. But don't worry, you're exempt from that if you've got a large family. So if you have five kids, you're exempt. Oh, great. But, I mean, you, yeah, you, it makes me want to go to Australia, find a woman who wants to be on welfare just keep knocking her up well fuck it why not hey, go see because because even if you were living with her because you're not an australian citizen and have no right to work in australia they would continue to treat her as single exactly hmm. yeah that's how it is how that works i used to work for the family assistance office so the ones that pay these people if your partner not. is not eligible to work in Australia, you can be treated as single. Fuck. What the absolute fuck? It's too bad you don't like warm weather bleach. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, well, I, he can, I, just, I can, he can just move to same. Tasmania. He'll be fine. I'm sure he... Yeah. I don't know. Do they, do they get enough snow down there? Yes. I, <laughs> How much is enough in, in your book? Actual ski resorts. Yeah, I mean, we're, are, are we talking uh, like, you know, a foot of snow or so? Or? I have no idea. I've never seen snow in my life. <laughs> let me let me put let me put this question yeah. differently. How willing are you to give up your gun collection, Bleach? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's, he'd never do that. Who, 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 who said I would stay there permanently? I'm just going down there to collect some binnies and go back home. <laughs> <laughs> Just knock her up every five years. I mean, yeah, it's a great vacation. Yeah, go go down there, get sex. Maybe she gets pregnant. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Keep trying until she does. Get yeah. some benefits and go home. But even at the bare minimum, even at the bare minimum, parents don't have to look for work at all. There's no requirements of them whatsoever until the youngest child turns six. So if you pump out a kid every five years, you never have to look for work. But it's a welfare for the unemployed that's bad. You know, we gotta yeah. put it like this. Thoughts are gonna have gonna have a wonderful time. Oh, they've been having a great I'm... time already. But there's absolutely no requirements whatsoever for thoughts to look for work. The the, the biggest problem is will they have to report their only fans? Hmm. Technically, yes. In practice, yeah. <laughs> patrol those thoughts, boys. Always call the text 
for everyone yes. if you have to pay taxes too. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. While we've got no money to increase the unemployment, we're going to spend $10 million helping Indigenous people cope with mental health issues over the debate about giving them more privileges than white people. Because we're, sti nice. we're still going to pay a bloody fortune to have a referendum on whether we give the, uh, uh, and give them an Indigenous voice department. Look, it's quite simple. If you're Australian, you already have one. It's the same one I do. And if you aren't Australian, there's solutions to that. I'm, I'm willing... Go the fuck home. Yeah. Well, this is the, indi the Indigenous. But oh. I, I, I'm willing to cordon off a patch of dirt in the middle of nowhere and go, this is indigenous land. Thump. Oh. By the way, border checkpoint, get a passport. <laughs> do they have uh, you know, a reservation system like they do here in the US or? No, we just no. give them land. Well, I mean, we did too. Well, No, no, we didn't stop. Stop fighting them over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just last year, they gave them hundreds of thousands of acres of land for no particular fucking reason. I think I think it was for something like either nat traditional land management or traditional hunting or something. If it's traditional hunting, please leave the four-wheel drive and the rifle at home. Yep. yep. You're out there with a oh. pointy stick. Hey, if, if, they, if, they, if, if, they, if they demanded the right to hunt traditionally... I'd be all for it. But they're not hunting traditionally. They're using white man weapons. Damn you, whitey. And your hey, guns. Hey, hey, We all know that the blacks made the guns before us whites. But oh. it's us through our evil. And well, well, is that we stole the technology from our betters. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Have you heard about Afrocentrism before? That, yeah. That's, yeah. Some yeah. that's some all trippy right. fucking shit. So while all this all is right. going... I live it every day. Yeah. Well, so while all this is going on, they want the former Queensland Police Commissioner wants to keep door open on GPS trackers for youth offenders. You know, instead of like putting them in prison. GPS trackers? Yes. Yeah. I mean, part of me is like, well, okay, but what were the, you know, what crimes are they allowing is the question. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, that's not that's never a good sign. Uh, that's not a good yes. Say <laughs> say so, so the problem is ever... the problem is we don't even have a revolving door on youth crime. It, 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 it it's more like a it's more like a drive past wave. <laughs> <laughs> but no no, we need more laws because god forbid we fire any judge that refuses to actually enforce the laws we've already got. No, clearly the you need the Scottish or... solution and just there have we'll public go. reviews all the time. Mm-hmm. Clearly. It's it's like with the firearms. Oh, some criminal got a firearm illegally. We need more laws on the law abiding gun owners. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, a guy came for... to our country and shot up a church. My, we have to steal the guns from everyone who owns. Or in now. Australia, it's more like a cop shot another cop. Therefore, we need more restrictions on civilian gun owners. <laughs> Your country is retarded, uh, basically. Like, yes, before, yes, it I is. Keep saying it. it. It's quite possibly the dumbest country on earth. Just the way our politicians like it. You know, I, you, you definitely have. Uh suffered since 1945 population wise well actually i'd say even vietnam well i i'm convinced that the entire point of australia getting involved in vietnam was to send all the smart men to die yeah no i think you're right the, <sighs> the dumb and lucky ones are the only ones that came back now, speaking of the dumb ones what be goldberg's doing a thing <laughs> oh, God. If, if this is the fucking superhero yes comic, it is I'll yep eat my Yes. You yes. Gotta be kidding. You know how she gained her fucking superpowers? Having a fucking shit while being on her period. And suddenly she controls fire. It's oh. goddamn retarded. So she's also, so she's got health? chlamydia. Trim has... Yeah, it's menopause with chlamydia. Trim has a strong oh opinion about this. Uh, yes, we... This... 
We won't. We have lost. Fuck off, the you stupid video. Fucking heroes. Yeah. Yes. We, we have lost a classic story and heroes for this. I mean, Trim. This is this is what you get. No, this is yes. not what I get. This is not what I want. If you fuck right now, go away. I I didn't want this. I don't want this. Well, I never wanted this. I'm gonna have to mute him so, in a moment so I can that... read the description at him. Sorry. <laughs> Because of her lifelong love for comic books, Goldberg decided it was time to create a new kind of superhero. One who might be a little older, whose body might be a little thicker, and whose breasts may or may not be the same size. <laughs> the comic distributor, once known for good content, said she's also smack in the middle of menopause, which, along with chills and hot flashes, also gave her some unexpected superpowers. I'm sorry, but a thing that happens to millions of women every day doesn't a superhero make. Spider-Man was bitten by a radioactive spider. Batman is smart, capable, and rich. Oh, she's not even menopausal. Iron Man is a genius. <laughs> but she's not even but actually this. menopausal. A woman who spent her life as a wife, mother, and grandmother. A life she feels isn't like all she had hoped for. With a husband who's grown in another direction. A college graduate with a degree in science. She's an amazing gamer who plays with people all over the country. I... Pre press, press, press the whole damn D-pad to doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Smash head Sorry, against keyboard to, to doubt. Hey guys, I need to go to GameStop and get a new controller. I broke mine. <laughs> trim, trim. <laughs> Put the controller the down. No, don't tie it around the roof. <laughs> the rafters. No, oh, he, trim, trim. No, pushed. take it off. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. This is too much bullshit. I don't want to stay here anymore. It's not worth it, Trim. The book won't sell. It's okay. <laughs> you promised? No. Yes. yes, it's okay, Trim. With the help and of her comic-loving grandson and irreverent best friend, she must learn to control her abilities and embrace her new identity as the change. And there's the dumbest <laughs> fucking name! <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't the flow. No, no, no. Oh, no, if no. she had water powers, it would be the flow, but this, no, no, this is no, the no. change, guys. No, no, Trim, Trim, Trim. She's the flow. She, she, she's stopped oh, going God. so heavy. Well, well no, she's, she's not too. the flow, apparently, and that's the problem. But I, I've got some questions, and <laughs> I, if, if any of the, and if any of the ladies are still hanging around, maybe they can explain this to me. But can you please explain how a woman who is old enough to have a grandchild that he likes comic books, is menopausal and not post-menopausal. Uh, like, how fucking sorry. old is this woman? And how fucking young was she when she had a kid? And why the fuck was her kid 14 when they had a kid? Um, I mean, it is Whoopi Goldberg. It is, it's true, she's probably black. That would explain why she can have a grandkid at 30. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> fact, did you know that Whoopi Goldberg's name is because she's just having a go one, she uh, she was called Whoopi because she farted a lot. Second, Goldberg because she wanted a name that sounded Jewish. Yes, because Hollywood's not run by the Jews, which is why Whoopi wanted a name that sounded Jewish. Right? Yes. Yeah, her actual name is Karen Johnson. If I remember. Of course, right. she's a Karen. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, she's definitely a Karen. This. Oh, the comic is available now for pre-order. Oh, we got any one of you thing. fucking pre-ordered oh, this. All right, I I'm gotta find this you. thing. So yeah. it, this is a challenge. I'm not pre-ordering it. I just want to find a picture. This of is it. a challenge to chat. The the book is. We need to donate enough <laughs> so we can send Trim a copy of this, and he gets to read it live <laughs> on air. Oh, you <laughs> cruel bastard! Bleach. <laughs> There are not enough firearms. Oh my god! Here and the oh, fucking 1911 fuck. age to save you yeah, from I'm, me. I'm posting it in show chat. Oh no! And I'm going to go put it in live shows. Um, so, bounding into comics writer don't care, said it's a self-insert character of Whoopi, no shit. The book is built as a serious book and not a parody, <laughs> with a heroic Whoopi portrayed on the cover with blue and purple energy rising from her hand like a flame. Holy fuck, that's hideous. <laughs> and I was right, isn't it? That's post-menopausal. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
What the fuck is that? She she is the black that done cracked. <laughs> uh, oh well, no, she do crack all right. <laughs> oh my god! Look at one of the names is Hi. Uh, I guess that's Jamie or Jaime Paglia. I wonder if that's any relation to Camille Paglia. <laughs> well, apparently it's some talentless <laughs> hack that's done a lot of dumb shit before. What the <laughs> fuck <laughs> is wrong with people? This is hideous. It's just hideous. <laughs> Throw water on her, she'll melt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Take away her air conditioning, she'll melt. <laughs> oh. oh my God. She, she's a, oh, it's a, it, it's a black woman. Just get a really powerful leaf blower and her hair will fall off. I, I just realized she, her battle cry is going to be, by the smell of tuna, I compel you. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> How fucking pathetic could you possibly get, though? And, and, of course, they won't make this, you know, real-world accurate where occasionally women who are menopausal go absolutely apeshit for no reason. Oh, they probably will. Oh, no, no, no take a look at her. You just, look you just know that she's going to be the type that just turns around and punches people for no good fucking oh, reason. Yeah. I, I wonder if there's, like, a couple of preview pages floating around out no. there. No. Mm. Yes. God, yes. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Kristen I Armstrong will. asks, how many variant covers are there for issue number one? Well, there's <laughs> the blood red one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Here's a challenge for our chat. Turn into a white woman. Baking. No, no, give better. Her, give her the, her give her the reverse Little Mermaid treatment. <laughs> Turn her into a ginger. Right. So, moving on for there from this, let's look at something that's also hideous. Yes. Peter Pan and Wendy. Because for some. Okay, that's my cue. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> no, you're staying. You're not stuck for this. <laughs> no. Because I have a I barbecue to, to the attend. Damn you. You're staying for this. Because for some no, reason, going... for some reason, Peter Pan is now a poorly dressed, bad haircut Indian kid, and Tinkerbell's a fucking black chick? Yes, we've got oh, to take those yeah. good old traditional it's English world, stories right. and remove the English people from them. It, it's Except for Wendy, now. because, you know, you have to subvert the white woman. Yes. Oh, also, anyway, gentlemen, I do have to go. So you guys have a good yeah. stream. I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Well, unless you get this. banned. Unless I get banned. Which could happen, I, I suppose. If that happens, though, I'm going to send Trim a bunch of images from that change comic book. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Yeah. Bye. So first question, why the fuck is Peter Pan so young? Uh, Peter Pan's not that young. No, he's not traditionally. No. Do you think of like you know his? In fact, in f also Wendy's not that old. I mean, she looks like she's seventeen. Yes. Actually, let, let's see if we can find out how old she is, because she's way too old for Peter Pan and Wendy. Because they're supposed to be visually the same age, and then you discover that Peter Pan's like a hundred. Never age in Never Neverland. <laughs> I like the audience score. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So apparently the th four-year-old looking Peter Pan is sixteen, and Wendy is fifteen. How? Th okay. So they're both too old. <laughs> but he looks like he's six. Yep. How? What the fuck is wrong with them? He also, he's hideous. But that's beside the point. But they, the way they've done her, the way they've done Wendy up in this picture, she looks like she's nearly eighteen. Wendy's not that old. That's kind of the point. Yeah, because um, I thought they were supposed to basically be at roughly you know, the same age. Well, that that, that, that was my understand. And... That's my understanding. I thought that was why Wendy was supposed to crush on him because they were supposed to look the same age. Actually, and I, I thought that was also part of the development where she was supposed to realize that, you know, hey, yeah, she's maturing. She's got these, you know, ambitions in life, and remaining a child forever would hinder 
a meaningful life. Yeah. Right. It's basically a tale about growing up. Exactly. Where the fuck is that animated movie? I don't like Peter Pan. Is that really from... Fuck me, Dad, that's from 1953. Yeah. The, the, the original one, and then... I mean, hell, they did a live-action one with the 70s where, you know, it's like Mary Martin played Peter Pan because it was a musical. Boom, there we go. Peter Pan and Wendy in the in the same picture. Oh, look, here's another one. Look at that shit. That's, that's when Disney made fucking... Oh, Disney here's a good one. Yes, because Peter Pan's supposed to look like he's four, is he? What? Uh... Well, let's see what... They're supposed to look the same age. That's kind of the entire point of her being there. Yeah. It, that's literally the point of it. He's a hundred year old in a twelve hundred plus year old in like a fourteen year old's body, and she he's supposed to essentially seduce her. Isn't uh, isn't there a sequel or sort of an unofficial sequel to this called Hook, where Robbie I think it's, it's oh Robbie. Robin Williams H Hook's a yeah, brilliant I mean, movie. It was a spin off movie. H Hook's a brilliant oh, movie. <laughs> it's fucking great. I like I liked Hook when I saw it. Boo boo box. Yeah. Um, to dun, to dun, to dun, to box dun. and throw scorpions in. Which do? Yeah. Um. Let's see. I'm I'm just looking at the Wikipedia version. Um. Uh, uh, Wikipedia reckons Peter that. that the novel mentions that he still has all his baby teeth. In other ways, the character appears to be about 12 to 13. Yep. But, crucially, Wendy Darling is supposed to be the same age. Wendy Darling, yeah, yes we know, J.M. Barry, when? What age? How old is she? Uh, da, 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 da. Apparently, Barry does not give any description of Wendy because, God forbid. I remember having seen a animated series about Peter Pan too. Uh, I think Hook was was voiced by Tim Cummins. Uh, which version? Oh, look, here we go. Um, although the uh, uh, Hook had a white wig. Yes. Anyway, moving on <laughs> from that. <I'm>, <laughs> Stop. We're still talking about the age here, Jim. Or I'm trying to, anyway. To right, her exact age is not specified in the original play or novel by Barry, though it is implied she's about 12 to 13 years old or possibly younger, as she is just Peter's size. A girl on the verge of adulthood. Yep. And yeah, they're supposed to be the same, they're supposed to be the same age, because otherwise, why would she be have a crush on him. I don't last time I checked, twelve year olds don't have crushes on five year olds. Even that uh, is something pretty terribly wrong. Yeah, it's it's like it may be vaguely, but it's usually like, yeah, that's a pedo. They need to go be treated now. Yes, they need treatment now before they do something that can't be undone. And yeah, because you know, a, a big part of the story, from what I remember from you know, the only version that really exists, is that yeah, it, it was a, a story of growing up and maturing. And when Peter visits yeah, uh, Wendy's what, children, yeah, why why not a woman who's on the verge, uh, a girl who's on the verge of be starting to become a woman, and a boy who refuses to grow up? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Possibly, yeah. That, yeah. that... and and yeah, it was like the the big the big like moment was if I remember correctly, Peter didn't really remember Wendy, but she remembered him mm. and asked him not to, yeah, take the kids, and it's kind of like that moment of almost recognition, but not. Mm. Yeah, look there, right there. The fuck's going on there exactly that you think can be done by a. Whatever the fuck that is. 
I mean, and that's not even talking about whatever the fuck's going on with Tinkerbell. Yeah, ardent Peter pansexual. Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's probably oh, closer to the truth. Actually. I mean, we all know that pansexual is just another word. No, no. These days. Well, yes, no, but no, we're talking about actually... moron. Trim. <laughs> Here's the thing: Peter Pan is fi. Peter Pan's part of the fi. Pansexual is probably actually pretty close to accurate. Wait, Peter is an actual fake? I'm pretty sure he's it, he's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, he's not. It depends it's, on it, it's like... it depends on your version, I think, possibly. Yeah, I I, I think it, it was one of those. He was taken in by the Fey and kind of became one. Yes, that, that's Tinkerbell. the one I've heard. And he he was has been there for so long that he oh, basically okay. crossed over and become yeah, one. No, that that's not. Yeah. Right. He's not actually a fae, but he acts like one. Yes. Oh. That, that, my bad. Yeah, that that's why you know, the happy thoughts can make him fly and shit like the that. The flute and pipes. Traditionally yeah, fae ish. It, he was supposed to be portraying Pan as in the Pan flute. Yeah. yeah. Pan. Yes, so that's Peter Pan first appeared as a character in Little White Bird in nineteen oh two. Interesting. In uh, chapters 13 to 18, titled Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens, Peter is a seven-day-old baby and has flown from his nursery to Kensington Gardens in London, where the fairies... Fairies! Yes, well, the fairies are definitely around. And the boys told him to fly. He's described as a betwixt and between a boy and a bird. I return to the character of Peter Pan, putting him at the center stage of this... At the center of his stage... Wait, Barry? Hold on. Damn, Barry was actually a dude. Fair enough. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why for the life of me I thought that J.M. Barry was a chick. Maybe because most people who go by just their initials usually are. C JK Rowland. Uh he's described uh, a stage play, Peter Pan or the Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up. Premiered in nineteen oh four. Yeah. And da, 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 blah 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 eventually made it a novel. Da, da, da. I have based the character, may have based the character Peter Pan on his older brother who died in an ice skating accident the day before his 14th birthday. His mother and brother thought of him as forever a boy. Yeah. And I mean, he, he, there, there's a very strong fey influence in the whole thing, especially because you literally have fairies. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, it's, and it's one of those. It's like it just makes it that kind of level of weird. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, the magic clearly comes from a fae inspired mindset. It's nineteen hundreds English dude. He yeah. has exactly two <laughs> types of fantasy to draw on: <laughs> English folk tale, and I think the Lord of the Rings might have just squeaked out by then, or. <laughs> Actually, uh, or no, is that later? No, there, there was someone he was. He, they were writing around them. What am I thinking of? That would have written by nineteen oh four. I've probably got everyone who wrote in like the thirties confused. Wasn't it the Hobbit? No. 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 Tolkien. When did his books come out? Uh, I thought Stoker? Tolkien. No, Tolkien oh. came out like thirties. Yeah, no, he oh, would. Yeah. He would have been writing in. The 1800s, because he was H. born in Wells. 1892. H.G. Wells is completely irrelevant. That's oh, sci-fi. Yeah, because he didn't write about fantasy. Uh, it, oh, gosh. Um, shit, who was the yeah, other one I, then that I'm probably getting confused with? I mean, Conan Doyle was there with the spiritualist movement, hmm. but he didn't really write about anything supernatural outside of the Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, Any stories uh, we can think of? There we go. That's the arsehole. No, apparently. C.S. Cooper. I see. C.S. Lewis, on the other hand, C.S. Lewis, who was, was again way later than I thought. I'll be damned. Damn it. So, so, so you shall. Yeah. So, I sentence you to Australia. No. Fight worse than death. <laughs> okay, so if he didn't even have Tolkien to draw on, then it was clearly inspired by English folklore. Which is a has very strong fae traditions. 
I'm, I, I always kind of thought of Peter Pan as kind of like a, a almost a changeling story. Kind of. Well, he is. He's not a changeling per se, but he acts exactly, almost exactly like one. He takes the child to Neverland, and then they become one of the Lost Boys, or whatever it is. Yep. Yeah, and that, that's why, to me, it's like, it just clicks in my brain. It's like, ah, yes. It's... Uh, I see why I got oh, why I... I got confused earlier. Peter Pan is a free spirit, and I clearly I read spirit, and got confused but yeah like, i mean you look at a picture and that's clearly fire inspired yeah i mean 1907 illustration i mean well that that that's clearly older than that guy other kid looks but is there some myths where the fae ran off with kids and the kids became fae as well he just said change that's the change line <laughs> No, aren't changelings the ones who are born from a mortal and fey union? No, no that's something no? else. Okay, Ch changelings in well, in well, it depends. It depends English. on what you're referring to as a changeling, because there's two ways you can look at it. It's either the kid that was taken, or the fey that was left behind. Yeah, oh. and and that's what I was wanted to explain to Trim was yeah, the changeling. Oh, that's is it. Peter Peter the Pan is, remains. But... Peter Pan, yeah, mate. It, Peter Pan does seem would act like a lot like the kid left behind. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Traditionally, the character has been played on stage by a petite adult woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Mary Martin was the the most famous to to portray Peter Pan because I think she did. Shit, I can't remember. Well, it would it would make sense. Smaller talks in a feminine voice. Mm-hmm. Um da, 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 da. Yeah, unending youth, flies. N -n -n. Peter has an effect on the whole of Neverland as inhabitants when he's there. Ray states that although Neverland appears different to every child, the island wakes up when Peter returns from his trip to London. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Peter's hmm. skilled swordsman. Yep, he's very old, we know this. In Peter and Wendy, whatever that is, Barry, oh, Barry states that the Peter Pan legend Mrs. Darling has a child was that when children died, he accompanied them part of the way to their destination so they would not be frightened. So he's a psychopomp. Uh, yeah. Which, <laughs> some psychopomp. Oh. <laughs> I, I, clearly I've read too much of that kind of fiction. I'm going to have to get up a probably a better explanation than I can manage. Can you, like, describe what a psychopomp is? Because I haven't heard that word before. I'm about to. Good. A psychopomp, coming from the Greek word psychopompus, literally meaning the guide of souls, a creature, spirits, angels, demons, or deities in many religions whose responsibility is to escort newly deceased souls from Earth to the afterlife. Oh. So kind of a fetch. Yes. Kind of. In fact, that's probably one of the things it's going to refer to. You may also have seen it such as the dude with the sickle and dogs, ravens, especially ravens. You'd know Valkyries. all about ravens. Well, Val yeah. Valkyries are a type of psychopomp, to, but then they don't, they, yeah. if they're taking them to Valhalla, but there's also other ones that would drag them to hell. Yeah. Uh, classic examples include Anubis, Mercury, Norse Valkyries, Charon. Uh, the Greek ferryman. Wait, wait. I know you said Charon, but it's like, oh, it's Karen. <laughs> Karen is, is Oh, you, you poor bugger. Know. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's getting too real, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of psychopomps, uh, Terry Pratchett books. One of these days I've got to read them, but apparently the psychopomp in that, who's death, is apparently one of the best depictions, or one of the most loved depictions of the thing. I mean, he is voiced by Christopher Lee. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily an angel of death, depending on your definition of angel of death, because the question is whether they take the life or just carry the soul. 
And I think that's the difference because at least the way I read it, traditionally psychopomps don't actually take, kill the person. Right, they're just the guide. They're the guide. If I, yeah, yeah. which so that they so generally they're not depicted as killing the person, but they're there. But again, where you get from like your Reaper Man stuff and your sickly guy, death with a sickle. Uh, kind of. Uh, what about the what about banshees? Well, Doesn't I mean no, ba- wait, ba- they, banshees no, no, aren't they, psychopaths. They, they, herald, they, signal death. Death. they signal yeah, they death. herald death. They herald death. No, so, so, so a psychopomp is specifically one that takes them, the soul, guides the soul to the afterlife. And yes, Valkyries are a type of psychopomp. Though generally psychopomps more take all the souls. Valkyries, I think, are specific to the heroic dead. Yeah, they're, they only take the worthy to Valhalla. Yes. But you'd, Norse mythology does have a hell. For the unworthy dead, and they got to get there somehow. So, God knows. It's... Oh, they're just being they. They are just being dragged down as it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Norse hell. Norse hell is Niflheim. And apparently, oh, oh, also a female being. So, sometimes I thought Niflheim was uh, pronounced I, I, Oslo. I thought Niflheim was just was another actually another level. Uh, Niflheim is one of the three original existences. It was Niflheim, the uh, the world of frost and poison, and then you had uh, Muspelheim, the world yes. of fire. Uh, hell is... Oh, it doesn't say. Buried with items that you facilitate their journey, yeah, blah 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 blah. Oh, Brynhildr's trip to hell after her death is described. Yes, tell me how they get there. Yeah, many trips to hell. Visited by a woman bearing stalks of hemlock. Pulls him into the ground and they vanish. Well, that would... Yep. But... Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to tell us too greatly, but yes. There's there's two different kinds of way when you... Because it isn't just dying in battle that is brings you sort of to the, the heaven, Valhall. There are technically three forms of afterlife, and I don't remember the good part because there are those people who have been living a virtuous life, a good life, but has not died in battle. They go to a more uh, less battle-focused heaven. They they go to an afterlife which represents how they've lived their life. There we go. So Death in North paganism. Uh, and, and I will point out, violence in his life has got some insight into in this in chat. There we go. That that'd be the one. Hell, Valhalla, and Folkvanger, or Folkvanger, something like that. Yeah. Trim, pronounce it. Folkvang. Oh fucking Jesus! That. <laughs> Folkvang. Folkvang. So so Vang. so the R's silent. Yes. Valhalla. And, and the L's Folk apparently Vang. an R. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you add R's to every everything. Because it's got an R in the bloody word. <laughs> yeah, that's something you fuckers have added. <laughs> Not by choice. Uh huh. If you want to blame anyone, Basically, blame the, the French. Many of the words you say if you want to blame anyone, blame or... the French, because they were the ones who translated a lot of the Norse literature. <laughs> that made oui. a lot of sense. Folkvang. Afterlife yeah, field Folkvang. ruled over by Freya. He chooses half of those who die in battle to reside with her there. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yes, there are basically two camps when you go to Valhalla. One, one is the regular Einherjaren who go to Valhalla, and then you have the ones who go to Folkvang. When Ragnarok arrives, she kits them in basically a super lynx co- co- a cloak, which turns them into these massive fucking lynxes that go around and rips things apart in the battlefield. Yeah, so blah, okay. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, a bunch of afterlives. It's yeah. all very vague. But yeah, psychopomps yeah. are just people, someone who carries the soul of the dead. Yes. And I don't think traditionally they take lives. No. Not, not from my understanding. 
Yeah, and then there's Jungian psychology, which can just burn in a fire. <laughs> Are you saying you're not young at heart? No. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't see anything else particularly relevant there, so... Sadly, we haven't even finished talking about the left half of this picture. Uh, ew. Uh, so firstly, those wings look like crap. Um, that that looks like a inner city cosplay, stage play kind of thing. Yes. Basically. And she doesn't even, she doesn't even glow. Fairies glow, but she doesn't because she's... No, fairies sparkle. You know, how vampires don't. <laughs> One point nine stars on Google. <laughs> Four point one out of ten on IMDb, and Ron Tomatoes is a fucker, but we knew that. Well, I mean, ah, here we go. This... Oh, you know, we're getting paid to to review so, things, so we got to. Well, as usual, oh, reviewers God. are idiots. <laughs> Twelve percent audience score. Half a star. <laughs> wow. I I I do kind of want to read one of one or two of the reviews. What we, what, what, what the ones? Hell of it. What ones? Audience or uh, critic? One of each. Let's 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 do at least one of each. Just let's do the paid chills first. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, wow. The, even with pirates, a fairy Native American princess, and a man-eating crocodile, it's oddly unimaginative. <laughs> <laughs> all, all talk, no crocodile bite. <laughs> well, there, there's a positive one. Uh, Peter Pan and Wendy is a refreshingly and welcome adaptation of this story with strong performances all around and fantastic camera work. <laughs> oh, fuck no. off. What do you mean strong performances? So, so, sorry, that anything that thing can do a strong performance. I don't think so. I don't think I don't it's think that diversity. Could, it it couldn't even take a strong shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not with all the curry he's eating. <laughs> uh, no, no wonder it's death. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, only in sweatshops, Callum. This idiot's like, Peter Pan and Wendy is purposely crafted with cat bullshit and thoughtfulness bullshit. And while it's season of saying the ideas of Wendy Hook and Tiger Lily, it's like, oh god, we have to look at Tiger Lily and Peter Pan and Wendy. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be so fucking bad. I'm, I, I'm really curious at how they fucked her oh, up. For fuck's sake, you stupid piece of shit website. Let me go grab the fucking text so I can stick it in Google again. <laughs> Violence. It reads like a chat GPT response. Okay, so NPR, the useless sacks of shit. Tiger Lily has chat. Oh my good lord. Oh god. I'm trying to figure out what tribe she's supposed to be. Cree, apparently. The Babachi? Uh, I can kind of see that. It's a little overdone but yeah hey by the way i figured out the other uh, i found out the other two afterlives uh, aside from uh valhall and uh, fort Gwang. hell well it's hellheim where people who haven't died in battle go to which is is not a place for punishment but just it's more cold and... it's cold therefore no. it's hell <laughs> it's not just hellheim is the only place which isn't a cold hell Helheim is in Niflheim. Niflheim is the large, empty frost realm where the bad people go to. Yes, so basically, it's cold. Yes, it's cold as fuck. In Helheim, yes, it's basically exactly. the only place with a decent fucking furnace and oven. No, y yeah, but you're a Norwegian. I'm not interested in your opinion of what a good temperature is. <laughs> Dude, the only way you could be happy in Norse mythology is if you lived in fucking Muspelheim. And that's a country that is just tire. 
Yes, correct. That, that sounds about right for, for a degenerate who likes heat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Fuck me, it's 20, it's fucking 22 degrees here. It's fucking, ugh. Oh, oh. 22 degrees, that sounds lovely and cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, 22 degrees. Um, what do we need next? Oh, good. Vance is here. She can tell us all about... She, I, I'm a, I look forward to hearing her reaction to this article. I regret having children. It has stripped my life of meaning. Huh? Huh? Excuse me? Well, I mean, Be Bezik, you shouldn't have gone for that uh, uterus edition. <laughs> it has... Strip my life of meaning. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. No! Come back. Get, get back here, Norse boy. He actually muted himself. He might have actually fucked off for a phone call. That's still not acceptable. <laughs> Everything that made my life what has been burnt to ash, and I know other women feel the same, says 35-year-old failure. Sorry, Laura. I'm really bad at reading these names. Uh, no, you're not. You're, you're just a little too accurate. Yeah. The child free movement. Uh, so the pa Fuck the pathetic lo the pathetic self interested losers who have ne who've never this is exactly the problem with society. People who've never served a nut any anyone but themselves. Selfish, arrogant, self centered. Losers. They're wastes of space. Yeah. They're, they're absolute wastes of space. Yeah. And you know what? What really pisses me off is. You get people like this, you know, this Laura or Flavia or whatever the fuck her name is. Flavia. And that too. And uh, it, it's like, she, she hates being a mother. And I know dozens of women who, if they're, they're married, they want kids. And they can't conceive because of biology. And we're talking like women that are in their most probable right. years so can't i'm thinking and this bitch is like i'm thinking we put this yeah. bitch and violence in a cage match <laughs> i wouldn't be fair i mean violence would have to you know clean up her hands after pummeling this bitch to yeah, <laughs> yeah violence says what the meaning of life is to fight for sustenance so that one can reproduce and protect your offspring so they can reproduce exactly yes violence you can use your axe uh, Bicep says it's exactly what you'd expect from the type of woman who, who writes about herself as a news story. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Chard free movement. Look, you, you stop basing your identity around bullshit people. If you don't want to have kids, fine. I understand. Kids are nasty, smelly, and disgusting. But don't carry on like it's something virtuous. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, the thing that pisses me off is, you know, I, I would have much rather been a yeah, young married father in my early 20s than where I am now. And it's like, that, seeing people like this is like, well, that's why I can't get where I want in life, because they're manipulating and brainwashing others into like, yeah, no, this is, yeah, this is the way to live, career first. And it's like, that's no way to live. You're not living. You're just not fucking living. Mm -hmm. They're not even trying to live. No, they're existing. At least have the decency to admit you're being selfish. You're not child free. Yeah. You're selfish. I, I'm not going to complain if you're going. Look, I, I've got no interest. I'm not drawn to having kids, and I want to bathe myself in luxury. Fine, fuck it. Go have fun. Don't come whine to me when you're sixty and childless, like. But if you end up sixty and happy. Good for you. Still don't care. Guess it, but you're being you. Are, it is being selfish, and there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. Like I'll, and the the you know, the yeah, it's like if they want to do that, fine. But don't make it seem like this grand, glorious lifestyle because you're trying to fill an empty void in your yeah, life. Well, th this is why these idiots keep falling for the ESG bullshit. Oh, got to reduce the population. I'm doing my part, says the weak, pathetic loser. Yeah. It's like the people who go around and basically say, like, hey, guess what? I, I just went and I sterilized myself. Cheer for me. It's like, fuck you. Fuck you. 
fuck the planet because I would rather live in a planet that is burnt to a crisp and has a happy and thriving family life than this zombie existence we currently have. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just completely checked out of modern sensibilities. Yeah. For God's sake, having kids it is the default mo uh, it having kids indicates success. In fact, yes. your kids having kids is the true indicator of success as a animal. Biologically, if you don't have kids, you failed. Your gen your genetic expression ceases to be because evolution has determined that you are not fit to survive. Well, I don't know if I would consider that evolution this day and age. Well, no, it's not. It, speaking, yeah, not this necessarily, but evolu from an evolutionary standpoint, if you do not breed, you are not fit for survival. Problem is, yep. what is the evolutionary pressure? Because the evolutionary pressure seems yep. to be going in the wrong direction. The evolutionary pressure seems to be for stupid people to breed and for sm actual smart people to be too busy doing smart people things to have kids. This is, and, see, and, well, see the documentary Idiocracy. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not sure I'd even necessarily say smart people in, in the sense of, you know, intellectual. Oh, things, yeah, I'm not talking yeah, about like, yeah, IQ. Too... I'm talking about yeah. people who are capable of doing other things with a level of creativity and intellect. Your local mechanic counts as far for this because they're, yeah. they're useful yeah, and productive. Good. And they're not so single-minded as these people do for a hedonistic life. No. And if you just want to live a hedonistic life, fine. Just stop whining about it and stop pretending it's virtuous. Yeah. Just fuck off over there and die out faster. And and if if you uh, have to go to Canada to help yourself get there faster, well, that's on you. Yep. Base type says people have a duty to reproduce. Not doing so makes you not only a parasite taken from society and not doing your part, but also the enemy of societies you've decided to actively destroy. Especially that last one. Because people who don't want children have no incentive to preserve society. I was going to say people who don't have kids, but that would exclude people who want them. People who want kids also want to preserve society, a society that would be worth bringing kids into. Hell, in fact, yep. they might be more inclined to preserve, to do something good for society, because if they're waiting on society to be better, hopefully they're actively working towards it. Hey, yo, I'm back. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> that was God. legit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was actually legit, huh? What was legit? Your your call. Yes, my call was legit. We, was we were speculating that you were just being a coward. Oh no 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 no! I'm uh, dude. With what I've gone through, I if I've done that shit, I would have done it during the fucking change. Yeah. Uh, Christ. <laughs> uh, violence. You might be. Yeah. Uh, you need all. You need live chat, not top chat, to see all the good stuff. I, I, I wish they disabled that feature. It should just be everything. I wish, I wish we could turn it up ourselves. Mm. You know, the streamer could decide. Yes, disable top chat for everybody. Yeah. Oh, Lord, so what else? Yeah, I'm not surprised it keeps switching back because it's YouTube and they're evil. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. The idea of my two kids not existing is traumatic. Right, so you're an idiot. If, so you think that... So you'd be traumatized if you didn't have your kids, but you're whining that if there was some sort of time machine that would also raise my knowledge of them, I would absolutely go child for it. Right, you're whining that having kids is hard. Yes, everything worth having is difficult. Exactly. It, anything that can be accomplished without effort is a scam. It's 
it just makes what? it also seem like this person believes that after I've had my kids, I'll go back to the way I was when I was a kid. Yes. Newsflash, you don't. Yeah. No, I, nor, nor should you want to return to the way things yeah. were. Anything that requires no effort is a scam, and whether that's a scam by the global elitists at the WEF, or by the shady scum fuck around the corner who wants to steal your credit card, makes no real difference. And yeah, a scam is a scam. Anything uh, easy or isn't worth robbing having. yourself. Yeah. Exactly. I was always on the fence when it came to having kids. I used to side be child free, yet I also felt the pressure of everyone telling me I'd change my mind. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, you have no principles and you can't stand behind them anyway. Yep. Pretty much. And then, let's see, the next paragraph. Everyone talks about this incredible love you'll feel for your kids. My mother said, uh, you won't know what love is until you have kids. It's hard work, but worth it. And that having kids will bring your life meaning. I'm sure this is true for some people, but I've never felt this way. Because you're a soulless bitch. Yes. Also, maybe yeah. lay off the SSRIs while you're pregnant. Yeah. Oh, but it, it's like she's then like, oh, I'll, I love my kids, and yes, I'll do anything for them. But it's this all-consuming love that feels like nothing I've known before has brought my life new meaning. No. Well, then you're doing it wrong. Well, stop being a hedonistic shithead, and actually love your kids. It's not that fucking difficult. Yeah. I, like I, most people love their cats. Like, like, at least the kid's got, actually yours and will be around for longer. You I, unfortunately, I think this woman would hate caring for plants. It does seem that way. She or, doesn't or like caring for anything. Dear, dear, she only cares about herself. Dear crazy cat ladies, your cats won't look after you when you get old. They'll just eat you. I mean, well, that's kind of why I like the cats, because at least they'll eat them. <laughs> yes. Do something useful with the corpse. Well, the cats will need something to eat for the six for the three months it takes until someone notices the cat lady dripping from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you have no idea how often that has happened in Norwegian. Oh, Norwegian. I bet I do. I, I, it's really common for odd people to die having nothing because they've either not had kids or they've treated them so poorly they have nothing to do with them. Yeah. Yep. I mean, in Norway, old people tend to be... On that note, on that night, on that night, everyone, if you like your parents, call your fucking mother right now. Leave the stream, go call your fucking mother. Isn't... That's actually Long what happened. My in, mom in, called me. Yeah. International calls are free. There's no fucking excuse to not be in touch with your parents if you like them. Go call them, yeah. now. They don't care if you're waking them up at three in the morning. I'll probably still be happy to hear from you yeah, after I get over the heart attack. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, Mommy. <laughs> oh, God, what, what's happened? Have you murdered someone again, Trim? No, the, uh... the, 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 these, the weird angry man on the internet yelled at me and told me to call you. <laughs> <laughs> he has an Australian accent. He keeps calling me a cunt. <laughs> yeah. Me Major, I, I'm, I'm hearing you on that. Yeah, start. He, yeah, he's saying... Yeah, starting to wish I had kids at this point in my life. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I tell you, as, as a man who is uh, yeah, currently single and the, you know, no kids or anything like that, and definitely getting up there, I fucking hate it. I, I, I actively hate that part of my life. It's like, I, I do all sorts of other meaningful things in my life, and it's not like I'm not active and out and social and things like that. But it's like, there's just that void and I, I feel it more and more the older I get and it's like why am I doing all this? Why am I, you know, fighting and suffering every day through, you know, the bullshit of other people when what am I advocating for? Mm -hmm. And and that bothers me deeply. Well, 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 there you go. Well, there's, well, there's well, that's, bitch of the day. I, that kind of relates back to what I was talking about. If you have if you have no investment in the world thirty years from now, what the fuck's the motivation to improve things? Why not just let it all fucking burn? Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I look around and it's like, why, why am I fighting to preserve anything in my current society? And part of me is like, well, it's for my friend's kids. But why do, do I, you know, why do you, why do you think, for, but... why do you think that I am so willing to just drop my entire life and move to America? What do you think would, if, 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 
I had a legitimate, actual, real offer of permanent residency in the United States tomorrow, plane leaving in the fucking morning. Do you think there'd be anything other than shoving the cat into the cargo hold, pressurized and reheated, that would slow me down? Yeah, I, you know, maybe what, you know, what family connections you've got, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's like, well, it's not your future. It's where you are now, but you can't always hold on to that future the way, you know, well, you can't hold on to the present like you can cling to the future yes. and the hope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sorry for the most depressing segment of the Sultans. Of well, Canada. hopefully everyone missed that because they were off calling their mothers. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, though, you you say it's it isn't depressing. It's more realistic, and it's not over until it's fucking over. You still have a chance, dude. I mean, I have friends who. I, I would like to introduce you to the concept of Australia. Qualified. Yes. But Vesic, you're still alive and you're still going to get out of there eventually. We just need to, you know, everybody <laughs> donate to Souls of Chatelet for his trans Texanism. <laughs> yes. Uh, speak, hopefully that executive order expires soon. Stupid fucking government. <laughs> just, 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 you know, go, go Title 40 to it. You know, get, get a good tan. <laughs> go up, you know. Learn a couple words in Spanish, like no, no habla anglais. Is that the trick? The Come over is, the I... southern border, then trick a woman into having a kid and go, look, anchor baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh... And, you know, Vi Violence is asking, uh, can you weld or operate a fork truck? Are you forklift certified? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my, a little bit and no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh Lord above. The Major can. Yeah, Major can. So. Yeah, give Ma give Major a call. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da, yep. what else did we need? And, uh, at, at least Major points out it's sobering more than depressing, and you got to grapple with your demons. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I I I just the, the I, I just wish I couldn't name my demons. <laughs> we don't need you pointing to the government of Australia again. <laughs> well, 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 I was also going to start listing the heads of state of every other failed Western country. <laughs> oh, that, that, we don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, see the last 97 episodes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, da 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 da. Right, so. Th our worthless sack of crap says that she feels endless guilt for knowing the answer to the question. If you go back in time, would you change your mind about kids? <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Un unimaginable to boo to talk about regret. So everyone gives you the answer. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so you're pathetic. You're mentally unstable. And because all you... <laughs> Have you tried actually raising your kids? D does she actually spend time with her kids? Or is she a working mother? Do you honestly think she fucking does when she writes shit like this? Try spend try spending 16 plus hours a day with your kid. I hear it's good for the hormones. Uh, Marku says he's a professional welder, but he, and he needs and he needs connections in America to get a job. <laughs> hey. Hmm. I mean Newport News shipyards always hiring welders. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. So, what next? Which one of these thousand pathetic articles do I need to see next? Oh, who knows? Um, I'm terrified. Some old bullshit and some other old bullshit. Oh, good. It's uh, time. Marku, I don't know if they do, but I, I would heavily you know, suggest at least looking into them. They're, I mean, it's one of the biggest shipyards in North America. Right. So. so we are definitely at time to go to Rumble because we've already probably rubbed up and down that line, the, the YouTube line, in such a way that we're going to get a joyless rape trial. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Hamza. <laughs> yep. So we're going to go over to 
Rumble exclusively now. So I'm just going to start popping the link in chat. Bleach is going to go pee. Hopefully he isn't taking us with him this time. So jump. Aim for the bowl, Bleach. <laughs> Aim for the bowl. Yeah. So jump on over to Rumble, everybody. Okay, so we're just going to jump over to Rumble. Everyone, head on over there, and we'll end the YouTube stream. I'm trying to find there. Yeah. Hooray! The gang is here. So, who do we have? Yep, yeah. the suspicious cat-like fellas here. Yep, Marcus. But I swear he's not a bobcat, though. Yes, the basest of apes. The um, GTA Grand Theft Auto Marcus is here. Yep. So we're going to end the broadcast on YouTube, and hopefully that doesn't kill Rumble. Yeah. Hey, look, we have a carnal conservative. Ooh. Didger. Right, so ending YouTube now.